Patreon. Thank you for the subscription. Each gifted subscription is like a gift to me for my birthday. This is my birthday stream. Every subscription is like the best gift that you could give me as a human being. And I appreciate you, gift givers of America. For my birthday, I would like this hype train to get to level, uh, a level that we've never seen before, like seven. Holy moly, Paragon Creed, our greatest simp. Thank you. Jobbert Van Dam, thank you for the gift subscription. We're going to have a lot of new viewers in here, so make sure they're all subscribed and bound to us like a pact with a demon. Sponed, thank you for the gift subscription. I'm trying to get the links out and then I will start the stream. I promise. Thank you for resubscribing Paragon Creed as if there were any doubts. Okay, I got the link out. Now let me do it on Instagram so that we can maximize our male viewers. Just a reminder as the hype train slows down that it is my birthday and that for my birthday all I really want is for this hype train to get to level 7. Jay Bodian, thank you for the gift subscription getting us ever closer to that patented that much desired what is patent i'm tired man it's been a long couple of days i was in poland yesterday it's crazy dr ryan thank you for all of the gift subs B Dog, thank you for the gift sub. Holy moly, I'm feeling this love on my birthday, on this, my day of birth. Uh, 
All right, I got my final link out. If we could just get this uh, hype train to level six, we're so close. Then I will begin the stream. I am not stalling, I promise. I promise you I'm not stalling. I'm very confident that all of my friends are here with me right now in this Discord call, ready to give a great performance for you all <laughs> on my birthday. Jump it down! Van Jobinator. Paragon Creedinator. It's my birthday, Nader! Alright, keep the hype train going, but I'm gonna play the OP, okay? Oh, we're almost at level 7, baby! Turtles, thank you for the subscriptions! We did it! Oh, wait, is level 7 when you beat it? Do we have to complete level 7? We're on level 7. Really brings forth a question. Don't skip the intro on my birthday. It's my gosh darn birthday, and we're going to watch the intro infinite times because I'm not stalling. Nobody's pooping. Everybody is punctual and on time for my birthday stream. It's my birthday, and for my birthday, Mansoor couldn't even show up on time for my birthday stream with our biggest star guest of all time. guys what's what's going on it's it's your boy it's me the birthday boy the the birthday the 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 guy with the birthday brennan it's my birthday and uh you know how much i love streaming alone so i didn't i'm actually streaming with all my friends um as as advertised please don't leave please don't leave i promise um uh, Mansoor, everyone clap. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, uh, of course, uh, my, my former tag team partner and still close friend. Thank you, James Allen, for the subscriptions. Uh, uh, my former tag team partner and, uh, close personal friend, uh, Swerve Strickland. Everybody clap. Yay! Whoa! A special surprise for the special birthday boy. I'm actually surprised. I've come, Brennan, I've come many times, but today is the most special time I've come because this is a shoot surprise for Brennan's birthday. I have come to, in person, live, sing happy birthday to you. I got swerved. Or I was going to. Instead, I think I'll give that honor to someone I know very well. Lawrence, thank you for the subscriptions! Skirt, skirt, skirt!
some foldable chairs. All right. I held my pee for no, you. Where do I go? Why'd you gotta pee? Wait, hold on. Before you pee, <laughs> what? What? let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hold on. Brennan, yeah. on let's get on our yeah, knees so that they can see our faces for this. On your knees. Everybody on your knees. Shades of Jack Swagger's yeah. theme song. <laughs> Everybody, come over here. Are we praying? Yeah, we're praying. Oh. <laughs> 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 so everybody can see. We're praying. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now, chat. Everybody sing along with us. We're going to sing happy birthday to... Oh, what? What? It's a grab! Oh! Subs. It's the kiddies. <laughs> Paragon Creed, thank you for the gifted subs. Let me check out Brad's kids. Make sure to, to subscribe. Yeah, she gets <laughs> it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Make sure to subscribe. Girls, sing happy birthday to your dad. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Set time, yeah. 26 miles. Yeah, that's absurd. You think it's like going to be longer or shorter than other marathons? <laughs> thought this marathon was going to be special. A marathon is a specific amount of miles? Yeah. 26 miles. Really? You gotta be over a certain. Based on the Greeks. Oh, you gotta be over like 24. No shit. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Yeah. I'm gonna move this. Oh. Great bunch of lights. Great bunch of lights. We can do a diagonal. Yeah, a diagonal shot. We got a diagonal shot. Oh. Let's get everything. Dutch, 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 Dutch angles. <laughs> Dutch Shades angles, of uh, Quentin yeah. Tarantino. Yeah, Dutch angles, uh, framing. All right, oh, I think we just need to make sure the microphone is right in the, in the middle of this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Should I get the fuck in the middle so people can watch this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't leave. Am I a draw? Yes. We, yes. Yeah, we need, we need them to know. And what? I get the comfy chair now. <laughs> what, we this got is a level a nine high trip. <laughs> Holy this is a real swerve. This high train is going crazy. <laughs> Let me turn on the lights. I had it like dim for. Sir, do you want to see our? Uh, I want to see everything. Our wrestling observer award for worst gimmick. Ah, <laughs> seriously. Ah, show the people the worst gimmick. Good work. And Good kept work. It, I mean, of course. <laughs> I like I that they, they actually send it to you. That's, yeah, that's yeah. So yeah. Hand deliver, actually, he came over and hand delivered it. <laughs> it was like... Because he obviously knew where you lived. Said, uh, you know um, this it is, was like, uh, this guys, is for guys, you. 2022. Oh, that was, a, that was an interesting year. Guys, you are uh, absolutely the, uh, I just worst, got the, the I just, worst team. I just got the uh, best individual promo. I did see what? that. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, now, out of all the years you've known me, who would have thought I would have got a best promo? What about ever? you? Look at oh, 
But like from like like that's I'm like that's no wild. you know you know what my favorite thing was me talking what you know my my favorite thing was you is for the, rest, <laughs> yeah, for the rest for the rest of I'm time was uh, Nana got best manager right yes so I thought it was funny that the guy who got best promo needed a manager still has a manager, <laughs> <laughs> a manager. but my but he, I talk way more than my manager. Yeah, it's, it's purely for the dance. He's yeah. got an incredible dance. dance. He's a good, he's, but he's a good like uh, 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 he's a good piece to connect the dots of like why is Swerve not there? He speaks for me. Yeah, and those pieces for because you're because you're like you're like the rock. Yeah, well, no, 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 no. I like the <laughs> I, 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 I don't get that many dislikes. So. <laughs> <laughs> and that's an insult. <laughs> that's not a, a good thing. Speaking Shout out a shooter there. Uh, thank you, Dwayne, for getting me um, my next mortgage payment with that tweet about you. The amount of likes oh, I got really? now that yeah. I have Twitter blue is yeah. going to pay for my engagements. Yes, exactly. Did you, exactly. Do you know about this? If you have Twitter blue, yeah, yeah, I get then, it. Li- then likes are just dollars. They pay for yeah. that shit. Yeah. So, I, I got so, $12 the other day. Yeah, so when, I pan- when I'm pandering about my butt cheeks on Twitter, know that those likes are putting my kids through college. <laughs> I've been liking So, oh, yeah. You've been liking I've been liking <laughs> Thank you. I'm like. Uh, thank you yeah, for the two cents yeah. you gave us. Yeah. <laughs> we should run a racket. Paragon right? Crate, thank you for the subscription. We should just get as many wrestlers as possible to, to all like each yes, other's tweets. Like bots. That's what we should be doing. Well, that yeah. is Good a thing. God. Yeah, that Come is on. a thing people like, do. Exactly. Like, like your brothers, man. Sisters. Like brothers and sisters support each other. Each other right? Generation yeah. Chill Reunion. You're absolutely right. I'm joined here today by Damo, my favorite tag team partner, and Mansoor. <laughs> <laughs> my hair's gotten longer since then. Yeah, no, it's so long. Ooh. Ooh. It's, like, it's like as long as mine. Yeah. No, no way. And how many pounds Where's of muscle pounds? have you put on? Yeah, no, that's the real. Okay, so when I tra- when I was like uh, tagging with Brennan, I was like a good 193. Holy 193. shit. Maybe, maybe on a good day, 197, 195. I am approximately 218, 220 right now. So what you're saying is tagging with me is the equivalent of uh, the gas. Because that's everybody true. I've tagged uh, yeah, with yeah. got shredded afterwards. Well, no. See, when I when, well, when I tagged with him, fat. when I tagged with him, <laughs> when I tagged with him, compared to now, that was the shot in the butt I really needed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get jokes. Yeah. I get jokes. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody does get bigger when they tag with you. It's well, Dijak well, got smaller but looked better. I was jealous of you. You got you. Dijak got jealous of me. You're yeah. got angrier. No, like the, you were like a hoss on tail television. I so uh, don't, put him, don't put him over. That's not what <laughs> yeah, this is don't for. Tell him that. That's not what this is for. Jeez. <laughs> so, somebody needs to put somebody him over. Somebody. Uh, so, it, it, so one Ruined night, it, Swerve. You were 198 when you were tagging Brennan. I would have dreamed to be 198. No, no you I were was like 170, 175. Yeah. Really? I was. No, he was he was so much lighter that we had tag moves that we did before. Yeah. That we can't do anymore can't do because anymore. he's oh. actually too like he's too big. Like he used to do things where he'd throw me and lift me. And like I can't do that anymore. Absolutely yeah. cannot do that anymore. But you're also too tall for that too. Uh, I, I think size. Don't say. Don't say. Did he say all? <laughs> he had I like swerving. <laughs> I like swerving. We should have him on more often. You're putting him over way too much. This, this, so we're freaking us. All right, all right. Somebody clue me in on the gimmick here. Whatever. The thing. gimmick is all they right. fucking bury me because they yeah, can. Okay. Got it. We yeah, have a group it. chat. Yes. With fucking them, Dijak and uh, Shane Hayes. Well, Dijak's just sad. Oh, I mean, it's <laughs> just <laughs> Well, no, actually. Yeah. He's sad on TV, too. Man. No, he's, he's happy sad. now because he, won, he, he got the win. He just won his first ever. I saw. Basically, his first ever match that matters. Yeah. But um, it was a gimmick match, too. I'm like, he's actually a good wrestler. Why do you got to put him over in a gimmick match? Put him, put him over some really good he'll singles. Do, he'll do grappling. Stu- he'll do stupid shit. Yeah. He will. He will do that. He'll bump for you. Didn't he, didn't he do a Rikishi? Right. He did a shooting did star. Rikishi for yes, you! He did a, not even a Rikishi! The shooting star at 195! Swerve. Swerve is 195, gives Dijak a clothesline, and he goes inside out! It was fucking, yeah. Damo, thoughts? Well, the first thing Dijak would do would make fun of anybody else for doing that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's true. Fantastic work, as, as we know from right Dijak's fantasy booking on TEW, his philosophy about good wrestling versus what he actually does is completely yeah. different. Do we, do we have to, uh, do we have to like, kick uh, Dijak off the board of TEW directors now? Oh, because his whole show is canceled now? <laughs> yeah. I, I, heard, I heard that Vince Vaughn will be taking over the role. Vince of, uh, Vaughn! Vaughn taking over, that's right. We'll get, um, who's a famous guy named Brock? Um... <laughs> 
Mm. Rock. Oh, shit. Uh, Anderson, Arn's kid. We'll get Rock. We'll get Rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Johnny S will be played by John Leguizamo. Oh, my God, Johnny so, yeah. His whole rock. Okay, so uh, right, catch Swerve up on oh, the uh, team. Put me in. We I'm play, lost. We play a fantasy booking. Like, remember SmackDown vs. Raw General Manager? <laughs> yes. Manager mode? So we basically play General Manager mode, yes. but way more in depth. Like Ooh. fantasy booking game. Ooh, yeah. And Dijak's Barack whole fucking Obama. roster? <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Barack Obama. His whole roster is like Vince, Brock. Uh, no, you have Brock. I've got Brock. He's got Johnny Ace. Johnny Ace. Yeah. Oh boy. So anytime But he books like Vince did in like two because the year is two thousand six. It's two thousand six. So oh, he's it's like oh, it's Braun Panties matches. Yep. And now my now wrestling. We know. Do we, Vince yeah. Vaughn was pretty over. Thank you for subscribing, yeah. Swagger Off Fools. I think maybe he should pivot into like becoming a 2006 Ring of Honor, <laughs> and just focus completely on work rate and like work rate, respect the, ja the Japanese. Yes. <laughs> the, work rate, the, <laughs> the work rate, the Japanese. The work rate, the Japanese. All the things you need. He's gonna to poach all of my guys. So I'm I'm WCW, right? Oh. Yeah. But Which because uh, it's 2006, so we brought back. We brought, we, it, we back. brought it back from oh, the dead. Oh. But 2004, 2004. there's too many companies in uh, in America. <laughs> yes. So I took WCW and we went to Japan. <laughs> so WCW is just a Japanese com and I company. And not, he runs Manami Toyota versus Aja Kong every, every fucking week. It is the best <laughs> women's wrestling in the world. They're, they're so sore. Except for Dijak's <laughs> so much pain. women's division, which is just brawn panties matches. Yeah. And it gets better ratings. <laughs> but we can't do that anymore. We can't do it anymore. We can't do it anymore. We have Dijak's new uh, specialty match is the Respect Wil Women match. Yes. Absolutely. We've got Cri Crippler Chris Rock in, uh, in ECW. <laughs> That's the so first time we've out and said it. <laughs> <laughs> He's an incredible worker, but a terrible promo. Damo, so, so we, very obviously, because it's 2005 or whatever, right. Damo wanted the best wrestler in the world in 2005, and we said you cannot have fucking him on your show. You can't have <laughs> yeah, who? You can't have you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, okay. So yeah. he said, "Well, fuck that, then I don't want to pay." So <laughs> <laughs> that's quite accurate. So actually. I said, "Tell you what, if I can't offend, I don't want to be in it." In as many words, <laughs> tell you what, I'll take the character and all the stats he has, and I'll just change his last name to Rock. And I'll put the picture of Chris Rock over there, and we'll just call him Chris Rock. But, but the first thing we did was we had Chris Rock go out and cut a 15-minute He does stand-up special on Damo's pay-per-view. And it was like, Bomb! to suck. It was rated like a 25. And then, and then he goes match. out and has a 15-minute match, and it's amazing. He has a Kabashi? Yeah. Yeah. Like, we're going to take the mic away. Yeah, <laughs> we don't talk anymore. Yes. yes. We, we do, you do not do the talking. But, yeah, that's what we do, and we haven't done it because we've been so fucking busy now. Yeah, we've been uh, busy. We've actually, been working. Yeah, yeah. We I work. Work. These are for working, though. Yeah. For working. Yeah, we're working. working. We, we flew in from Poland this morning at, uh, at like, 1 a.m. And uh, how do you feel? You, you tired? I feel like shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like shit. I feel okay sleep-wise. I'm achy, and it might just be because I'm 33 now. But like my thirty three. So thoughts I think it's on thirty three and he's achy. I don't know. Thoughts on being um, Jesus' age when he died. Uh, shout out to the top G. Um, if I oh, outlive him. I thought it was spelled J. No, it's Jesus. Oh, it's <laughs> Jesus. 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 Uh, yeah, shout out to him. Um, I'm not saying that you know I'm I'm not trying to top him by. Making You're not trying to top who? I'm not trying to top <laughs> who? the top G. Oh, okay. Um, you know, if I, I I plan on making it to next year. My mm -hmm. sister said, uh, "Congratulations on your resurrection year." And I was like, "Are you implying that I'm gonna get killed this year?" Um, <laughs> spiritually, we kind of did get killed. We did. <laughs> yeah. So no, it actually like premonition. It put like, it put like, like a don't go to the bus stop. Yeah, no, it put like a good like thought in my head where I was like, "Huh, oh, what if it is like my resurrection?" Wait a minute, I just had a thought. Your All best. these people here got fired! Yeah! Let's go! Yeah! Fuck the fed! Fuck the fed! <laughs> Unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. <laughs> to be fair. To be fair. Don't show them that anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like it came back like a G. Yeah. To be fair. That was resurrection. <laughs> yeah. This <laughs> is your resurrection. Go ahead, go, 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 go. It's been incredibly inspiring yes, seeing yeah. our close personal friends yes, yeah. who had the same fate as us go on to become incredibly successful after the fact. Especially when we, as guys who didn't have a lot of history before WWE, and you know, I had a cup of coffee in the Indies, 
Brennan had a cup of coffee in one promotion ever. <laughs> I had an illustrious independent career. I don't know what you're talking Your about. Your main roster run was longer than mine, I tell you that. We, well, that's, that's, we, we stuck it. We always, we always say we don't get to call ourselves cockroaches anymore. No, because we were supposed to survive. Like, you keep surviving. You survive for a long time. We survived time. for so long. I wanted a fucking JTG run yeah. where I wanted to survive eras in that company. But actually, in much we, we actually I no, we existed for multiple. JTG only existed in one era. Well, two thousand and like six. We we to existed. We existed in the first Vince era, Black and the Hunter era, the the second Vince era, <laughs> the, the second Hunter, the era. second Hunter era. I know they moved so fast. Generations. It was like fucking. It was like three eras in one year. Yeah. But there yeah. is sort of a feeling that I had, which was like when you were there, when we were in there rather, and me and Brendan knew we were on the downswing. It was like, do we try to survive and coast? Or should oh, we just yeah. fucking go and try to make as much of ourselves as we possibly can? Right, right. So I think in retrospect, fucking good. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? good. Because like, for, for, it's so weird because you think when you're in the biggest wrestling company in the world, the most reach, yeah. that it's going to be everything you fucking want and that when we stream, it's going to be like, oh, everybody's going to watch us. We're WWE superstars. We, we got, got way more, more streamers when we got yeah, fired. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's funny how that works. Like, like, like my like social media account went up more away from it. Right. Yeah. You, you know. Yeah. One hundred percent. And yeah. then you're. Do you feel like you're in more control over the stuff that you get to put I out? Control everything. I exactly. Say. Everything I do. Well, especially. Yeah, but like also, it's, 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 it's almost like the same system. It works both ways in like both companies. Yeah. It's like you know. The big companies, big companies. Right, right, but they're both like you still got to earn the trust and the relationship between like the higher ups and all that, and then they're like, oh, Swerve's not going to do that. Yeah, go ahead, do it. Yeah. you know. So like they, they trust me to go on streams and like say what whatever I want on like whatever interview. I'm like, hey, can I go make a song and do a video? And they're yeah. like, oh yeah, he never has any issues. So yeah, so you still got to just like the other places, you still got to earn that kind of trust to be able to be able to do that. But like where I'm at now, bell, bell to bell. B- it's on you. Bell to bell is on yeah, you. Yeah. You know, and it can massive like, difference. <laughs> it, but it can take you, or it can flunk you, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, plummet you. But I have a lot more rope here. <laughs> I, I would say that's the only. That's, that's one of the big differences. I would say. I even, totally even discussions about your character. Obviously, yeah. Like, under NXT, it was very different. But when you go yeah. to the main roster, it's literally it's whole, here's what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. This is what you are now. Yeah. Enjoy it. Whereas yeah. when you go to AEW, you can actually have the conversation. I'm sure mm-hmm. that that's helped a lot. Sure. Yeah. Like. Yeah, it's, like I said, discussions back and forth, yeah. and you meet in the middle, and you still have a boss, but like, like, hey, I'm going to start doing this with my hair. Oh, I'm wearing this now. I'm wearing this. Yeah, because you because yeah. in WWE you got to ask if you get a haircut. Exactly, you got to ask for tattoos. You I asked ask for two for, years to shave bald, and they said no. So yeah, they were like, hold like, on, hold on. There to was that, one brother. figure gonna, of me. <laughs> they were like, it's gonna, it's gonna make a comeback. Yeah. It was never coming back. Yeah, like I never been, been like I got a microphone. I wrote my own promo and it was like an eight minute long promo, which is a long time on live television. That's long, you know? And I was like, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I'm like, okay. So, Oh wow. That's cool. I don't think, I I don't think I told you this. Um, but when I watched your, you know, your epic match against uh, hangman, right? It was a fantastic match. Yeah. Oh, thank you. But, uh, when I was watching it, I felt like your mom, (laughs) <laughs> like oh, oh baby, I was sitting. No, I was sitting there. I was like, oh, I thought he was out of this. I thought we, I thought we didn't have to do this anymore. I swear, why? Yeah. I was sitting there watching it, like, and it was awesome. Yeah, obviously, and everybody yeah. loved it. And one but, of the grossest moments I've ever seen. Yes, okay. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, Other than that, it was fantastic. But it was like, but for me, it was like, uh, okay, how do I put my identity in this? That's what, match? yeah, you know, like well, people uh, forget that you did fucking death matches. Yes. Oh yeah. Like, like a lot of people didn't know that part of your career. And that's, but that's another thing. It's like, okay, I can still refresh and like freshen that up too. Mm-hmm. Cause like that's a whole nother audience. Cause you've that learned, and you've learned a lot since then. You, yeah. You're a completely different performer. But I also know how to be like point. safe in the. Yeah. Like, right. I'm like like if you look in that match, there's not too much risk we're really taking. It's just the idea that just sounds gruesome. Like yes. Like paper cut spots. Oh, geez, you're not yeah, taking yeah. any risk doing that. It just but sucks. it's just it just it, the idea <laughs> of it makes you cringe <laughs> because we've all had it. Like you know, everybody that knows 100%, that pain. And that's why like, when yeah. people like shit on, oh, why the fuck? Why is Lego? Being used as a thing. Because it's so Have shit. you ever stepped on a Lego? Exactly. Oh, step, it's it's, like, oh, you wake up at four in the morning and climb over your fucking knees. And that's why, you're like, ah, Jesus. And that's why people will pop more for like a chop than a fucking like, I don't know. Because like, everybody's been five. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's, exactly. 
everybody's yeah. been brothered yeah. and like, exactly. stuff like that. That's why I, like uh, the staple gun works so well because there's two, there's like three. I kind of like count my story elements in one spot. So like there's one story element that's like, okay, I've done some really horrible things and crossed the boundary with this man, and he's itching to get me back. He has me now. I don't want to just hurt you. I want to savor it. So I want to clip, 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 clip. I don't want to just like. I, I can easily just beat you over the head with a lot of blunt objects, but no, I want to. I want to get this back, and then at the end, I want you to taste it because this is my child's. Well, thing and that's the, and that's the difference. Yeah. That's so the there's difference like multiple between, story beats with that. That's probably the difference between the kind of death matches you were having, what Way, eight years ago, uh, where yeah, twenty having the occasional 18, 18, cold, 18 was my last one. cold was, death yeah. match where yeah where you're just you know where you're cold death matches from... where you fucking murder the other guy you staple shit on his face and then afterwards you shake hands you say, <laughs> like, please, please come back please, please come, come back. back like oh he's fight forever he, he's, he has a narrative yeah <laughs> no it's like you're using it as a as a, as a tool in a story which is right. a completely different thing yeah than like a cold death match yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's like, but that's, it's like, that's what happened though a lot of time in the That's why I love, I love deathmatch tournaments because it's so proper and official to have a tournament. <laughs> oh, this person replaced this person. And it's like, oh, very nice to meet you. <laughs> ah, but, but, but there's a, even, Here's my story elements to that. Yeah. Even like going to like a, a tournament of death, there's other story elements to that because like, okay, like this deathmatch isn't the same as the next round. Next round, we're taking the ropes off and now it's just barbed bar, wire bar, 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 ropes. Yeah, it's escalating. And all, that's all you can yeah. use. Then the first round was like just light tubes around. Then the next round is like, okay, yeah. we're moving the canvas off. So, you, like, but you don't use the same things in each tournament. Each round just gets a little bit more interesting and intricate. So you actually have to think and put psychology in those elements too. We had uh, a match at Big Gay Brunch two weeks ago. And uh, the it match was sort of the us. equivalent of, of a hardcore. Spot. It was it was <laughs> it was as hardcore as I've ever been. That's yeah. for sure. But before our match, Old um, Subreddit is gone. <laughs> which was the main event, by the way. Um, before, <laughs> before our main event match, um, the match before us, we saw them go out, and we were like, "Oh, it was two girls. They went out and they had a a, a match." And uh, we were calling our match at the time, and they came back as we were getting ready to go out, and we didn't see their match. And I heard it was great, but. When they came back, <laughs> covered in blood, <laughs> like the the whole ring is bloody. One of the girls had an alligator with blood just dripping out of the mouth of it, and I was like, I, I didn't know that that was that kind of match. <laughs> like you came out with in floaties. Yeah. Well, yeah. Why are you bleeding? I was yeah. like, all right, let's. Uh, and then we had to follow it. Let's go. Let's go follow that with a walk off. Completely fucking different. Oh yeah. yeah, shout out Lindsay Snow. She is great. She yes. Lindsay Snow actually did this tattoo. Did she really? Oh, yeah. She was Can't talking about doing tattoo, tattoos yeah. uh, at the this show. This was a cover up of my ex fiance. <laughs> you got Sarah? Yeah. You got Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Lindsay came through, did a house call. Ha uh-huh. ha. And uh, freaking uh, covered up this. Uh, thing. That's so, wicked. That's uh, Lindsey. She was saying that she, uh, that Lindsay. she awesome. tattoos better drunk. Did she do it drunk? No, no, she was clean as a whistle. No. Oh, as far as so I you could have gotten a better tattoo then if she was drunk. <laughs> like, uh, I didn't really put everything in. <laughs> sorry, sorry, you got this sober, this sober tattoo. I feel like so for me the blood spot in your hanger match. Oh yeah. I loved it because I because you guys get we all get tested. Who gives a fuck, right? I literally got it's tested. like porn. It's like it's. Just, well, I, I literally got tested two days before. That. <laughs> right. So it's like if there's no risk for any sort of. Uh, so so all you, all you veterans are saying like oh you can catch something in the STD. I'm like well, we're a multi million dollar. Also, company. You, don't, we don't also you don't know if Hangman isn't a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on one goddamn second because fucking veterans will talk shit about that, but. <laughs> Not veterans. <laughs> <laughs> Mansoor shoots hard on the veterans. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Vets who shoot I'd like you to know I was in the Navy. <laughs> it's the same fucking guys who have fucking blade scars because every goddamn night they were cutting open their forehead. And yeah. it was absolutely. And they definitely were. And y'all them. weren't even showering. Y'all no. driving to the next town. Absolutely. How many crushed it over? How many of them Terry Taylor stories? Are like, oh man. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And drive to the next town. And um, mm, yeah. fucking let's uh, the fact that fucking Undertaker almost got Hep C because um, yeah. uh, Cowboy um, Bob, right? Yeah, and Cowboy that was Bob. and that's like as long as and the standard and level of cleanliness or rather the medical standard has changed tremendously. We get fucking tested all the time in WWE. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have actually, to get tested to work in Missouri in a couple right. of weeks. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That is so true. Actually, yeah. it's um, it's like so what? I mean, uh, my we, my first year, my first year at WWE, I get tested. Nine months in a row for steroids, just in case they thought I was a uh, I was gassing up or something. 
Or and else, the dot? Or maybe I was maybe I was there to keep the you know the numbers up. That oh, was yeah. always oh. that was always my job. That was always it's like my nine job. Nine months well, in it's a row. supposed to be random, right? It's, it's, supposed, be random, it's, it's supposed to be random. You got tested. I got on the dot. tested nine months in a row. Yeah, yeah. God, it's, it's, it's supposed to be random. Oh God, and it's like the three, same company yeah. that used to test. Uh, I was like, one ninety three. Nobody believed. <laughs> He's on the gas. Well, you'd be surprised. Three hundred and thirty points. Yeah, I'm, I'm testing. I'm testing. I'm testing. I'm testing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I remember people getting popped. Who I was like, really you? But it's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife. My wife. They're doing it wrong. My wife popped for poppy for, seeds. For a poppy seed. Yeah. And so did Axel, right? And because Axel was vegan, they were like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. But Nikki got the full fucking third degree. We had to go f- go and find a receipt that we had bought what? the poppy seed bagel for real. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, she's from Scotland, you know, heroin. You I, know. Like to, I like to imagine <laughs> Nikki the... strung out on heroin. <laughs> she's already strung out all the yeah. time. Her, her gimmick at the time was a bit oh, nuts. So she's maybe. strung out on coffee. Well, what is uh, I don't know. On I've, what? I've never. What? What? On coffee. Oh, there's a coffee. That is actually true. What was that? Did Oxy? <laughs> I remember, like, what was the, the deal about, like, uh, the list of stuff, like, if you're doing, like, uh, pre-workout and all this other yes. stuff. Your stuff like your sediments, you could, you, there's supplements you couldn't even use. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember like, well, yeah. they had the, um, the barcode scanner and it could, it would scan it yeah. and then it would tell you if it had, if it contained anything that would, would get you popped on the test that they're doing. But, uh, cause we, we were tested to, um, College collegiate standard, I think that's what yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. because it was the same company that used to do my uh, uh, drug testing when I was in college and in the NFL, right. and those were definitely not random because I also got tested all the time <laughs> because to get the the average job, <laughs> they're like, well, if we throw Brennan ass. in there, he's not taking anything, so it's okay. Does it actually matter the average? Do they actually look at the? I, I think they would. I think the school it, might it looks good if, if randomly tested. Well, not only that, well, that month. But if if they if they know if they know that I'm not gonna pop, yeah. then they don't have to worry about somebody else that would have popped. Because ah, you tell worry about the guy with yeah. all the back knee, and yeah. the, the angry. Oh, oh, was, oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! It was. It was. Some people get back knee naturally. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well into their thirties. Yes, I understand. Well, not it's yet for me, but soon. Well, it's, it's subscribed. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's prescribed. So. I remember when I got called up and um. I was actually told I had to use makeup to cover my acne because it was so Whoa. bad. Yeah, I, so it was. I had just gotten the virtual reality. Uh, oh Steve, my yes, God. yeah. And I was like putting it on and playing it for like three hours every night, and I was sweating. Oh. I was doing a boxing game. I remember that he said every night, and he's about to say that he was using a boxing game. He was definitely using his arms. There were for other. Something. No, absolutely he not. He was <laughs> using his arms for something. Absolutely not. It definitely I was not. Boxing. He, was, he was boxing. I so he, was boxing. Yeah, he, he was doing some level of I boxing. Yeah, of absolutely not. Were you, were you working on your iron defense? I, he had were great biceps. First you, of all, he that's very generous. Were you vertical or horizontal? Oh, sorry. This. The fact that you were using two hands is a huge compliment to me. This is this is Maddie. What am I pulling a fucking ribbon out of my mouth like a magician? Yeah, I'm not saying are you like a gym, gym class rope climb. Anyway, I was sweating a lot in my forehead because you put the thing on, and all that sweat was yep. was getting. I got that on my ears from headphones. I had a yeah, shoot, yeah. Man, that's fucking nasty. It's I, awful. Oof. Anyway, I had like a bunch of acne on my head, and I'd be doing these backstage segments, and you know they didn't tell me personally. But of course, oh my, my wrestling dad, uh, Ali, pulls me inside and says, once again, he pulls me inside because I got heat. But this time it wasn't heat, it was, hey, the writer just told me, you gotta tell that kid to cover up those pimples because <laughs> it looks I love, really it, I love that they don't actually talk to you in person. Why, well, yeah, why would they? They get, they get your father to do it for you. It's you know because, I mean? like, there is, like, a line now where you can't really talk about people's appearances too much. You can, it's a TV show. Um, yeah, but. Yeah, at the same try, time, try doing that with the ladies, man. You, it's well, you different. Can't, you it's can't, different. You can't in any way. It is. Yeah. It's different because now it's more sensitive. Like back in the day, they'd say, "Well, they did tell me to put on twenty pounds of muscle." They said I was too skinny. Yeah. But I don't there's know. way you can do that by March. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> My monster did try to do this eating Nutella at night. I, yeah, that was well, a strap. Okay, hold on. Not just a great Nutella. choice. And he was that like, was, "It's a dirty bulk. That it's a dirty excellent bulk. choice." To be fair, it was Nutella sandwiches, so there was carbs, not just fat, and I was trying to gain weight. And sandwiches. I got to two hundred pounds. I just had love handles out. <laughs> uh, I weigh more than that now, but it's because I eat just protein and, and not Nutella. And, and you started working out. That, that and I started yeah, working out. Well, yeah. before that, I had never written down sets, weights, reps, ever. Oh, really? I just did whatever at the gym. Whatever, whatever the wind called you to do. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pick this up eight he goes, times. He, he, walks in, he walks into the gym and goes, <laughs> Ah, kettlebell. I actually, I actually pick up a rock and I look where the moss is. <laughs> so like, it's telling me 
incline today. <laughs> no, fuck that. I never do incline. Absolutely not. I mostly just did dumbbell curls and maybe bench press. But oh God, I'm eventually, I shit. actually did get on a fucking format where every day I did whatever and whatever, and I wrote it down and I upped my weights, and it actually worked. Who would have thought? Actually, care all those years of us telling you what to do. I know. Then you eventually like ignored us. For a good four years. We bullied well, we bully. <laughs> you. can't listen to your parents. You're going to do what you're we, going to do. We, 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 we bullied you so hard that you actually got advice elsewhere. <laughs> Dude, I, got, I, have, I have like this personal trainer. Like, like, I, I did the old school, old brother way of like, oh, I'll get you some training. And you, you train me type arrangement going on. And he's pushing me to like limits, man. I have like... I had I, I did 500 bicep curls in one arm. Ugh. Like It's With like what that way? Like on the machine, like oh, the, yeah. like to put the plates on yeah. and stuff, and I get up to like, and it will go up the weight. Like I, it, it got to like three forty five plates on one arm. I'm like, <laughs> and then like, and then we start going down, dropping them, drop sets. I'm like, all right, fifty. That's oh why, god, that's, why, that's why you're the same size as me now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been unreal. I just, it's, it's muscle fatigue, right? You're yeah. Trying to get your fucking. Uh, yeah, my, I don't get tired now at the end of these workouts. I, this has been going on for like since like last. Uh, March almost, almost last February. And did you have to eat like a whole? Because like Manny eats like I had a, a pint of ice cream every uh, before I go to bed. Ice cream? Yeah. Why, why cream. didn't my mom <laughs> tell me to do more than? Mentor, I saw his like. Can I get the name of your trainer? I saw his heart break in real time. What the fuck? I was like <laughs> Ralph Wiggum just. Uh, <laughs> oh, contrary, I've never trained with Brian Cage. I don't know why everybody says, like, you got with Brian, all of a sudden you got big. I'm like, no, I've never, me and Brian never been to the gym together. Uh, like, Brian fucking bites your neck and you become jacked. <laughs> a, a jacked vampire? Well, uh, you ever like, remember the Incredible Hulk movie? with uh, <laughs> it, it fell on my soda. So I just, I drink. Oh, yeah, I freaking. <laughs> Lee's Incredible Hulk? Hulk? No, no, no. no, no the, um, uh, uh, She-Hulk. Uh, uh, Edward Norton one. Uh, yeah. Well, That's how She-Hulk yeah. does. That's in the MCU. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Edward right. yeah. yeah. Norton. And then Edward Norton didn't come back because he's a crazy... He's so insane. He's a yeah. he's like, I'm going to do Birdman. He's a psycho. <laughs> Which was a great movie. It was a good movie. He was right. Which was a great movie. Oh, yeah, that was a good choice. That well, was, was he right, though? Because like, I feel like when you get into the MCU, it's kind of like getting booked... The, 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 MC, the, MC, <laughs> the MCU is WWE. It basically is. No, like, it's, it's WCW, right? Because, you know, you end up getting, you know, the big on. contract and stuff like that. <laughs> and then when everything goes wrong, you still get paid. So, you know, it seems to work. So. I feel like that's DC, no? Well, or is maybe, DC maybe more like DC. ECW? Because no, they no. promise you you're going to get movies <laughs> and pay you, and then you get cut. Oh, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll, I'll take you to Japan if it was WCW, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well MCU is now, like, there's, like, the there's main roster, and there's, like, main There is development. They have developmental MCU right now. Like, oh, we're, that good news, we got you on MCU booking. Yeah! <laughs> on Echo. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> God damn it. That's how I felt. I felt like a pure smart mark, like NXT, NXT, when I was like, they should put Daredevil in a movie. <laughs> like, where's Daredevil in their first place? Oh, Daredevil, oh, no. Daredevil's no. a dimeless they bitch. Need, they need Daredevil's call, never going to draw They need to call up Daredevil. <laughs> they need to call up Daredevil. Oh, no, we'll put you with Daredevil. Yes, finally, the Defenders. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> Who's that fucking Luke Cage, Daredevil? Oh, uh, yeah, all them suckers. Jessica Jones. It was all the Jessica Netflix Jones. shows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was, she was, I, she I love she Jessica Jones. I don't amazing. like her with them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get away from them. The Jessica Jones uh, TV show was pretty good. It was good. I loved it. I watched all of them. David Tennant as a villain was fucking incredible. Was he, wasn't he supposed to be a purple guy? Yeah, yeah, he was the purple. Was he purple? He's the, the purple man. Is he legit purple? In Kill, the show? Killgrave? No chance. They paid. What did they? No, he was just in a purple suit. Yeah, he was purple suit. Boo! Fucking half it's the like, it was like oh, you were talking about my uh, my suit when we were uh, at that uh, event that we were at that we can't talk about. Um, you said I look like uh, Killer Croc in a uh, CW. Version. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so like, you know how you know how, like the Flash or uh, fucking Green Arrow is on CW. And it's like a low budget uh, superhero. I like show. the first th- four seasons of that. And they'll be like, okay, we need Killer Croc, but we don't have the budget for like. We can't do a full makeup. So on we're it. gonna have him in a fucking crocodile like suit. We're gonna have him like a we'll, pat. Give we'll him have a patch one of patch of reptile like <laughs> reptilian scales. And that'll be enough. It'll be like a big black guy with one patch of eczema on so his face. I don't watch. Killer Croc. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch the. I didn't watch the Flash, but. I know that there's like a time travel thing in that show, and I saw a clip Constantly. of uh, Gorilla Grodd is one of the villains. Oh, oh when he goes yeah. to kill uh, Barack Obama. He goes Obama. back in time to kill Barack Obama when he's in college. So it's this big fucking gorilla who can talk, and he goes that's back in time. That's slightly racist. I, that's not what I meant. I disavow. I disavow. He's canceled. But he goes back in time, and he goes to Obama's college, and he's like, he's like, I'm going to kill you, Barack. And Barack's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> But the but the like 
they put like a bunch of money into the special effects for this one scene, but it's not movie level special effects. It's, it's yeah. So he like put like the the CG monkey punches through the wall and the wall like explodes in real time and Brock's like, uh, let me be clear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me be clear. We're not supposed to talk. It's it's so funny. Like they crap on like the Flash movie. CGI and oh, babies. Yeah. And all the baby like, show was like, awesome. baby. The ba- no. That was fucking the highlight I, of the movie. I, I, yeah, I went I went to see it like the uh, early release premiere thing yeah. like a couple weeks prior. But I'm like, okay, um, this isn't that bad. I've been used to watching the shows, yeah. bad yeah, CGI right. for like eight seasons now. And y'all complained about a, a baby? The baby scene was fucking awesome. Like, so I think the most, the most cringe part is where he just does this for no reason. No, and no. Then, yeah, no, before you're about to ice skate. skate. And I'm like... <laughs> He could literally just start walking, and uh, he would still be able to run. No, I love the uh, speed skating. Just, yeah, pose. yeah, the that's speed skating her. pose. That's the shadow of the hedgehog. Oh, uh, 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 plot hole in the movie. Who stabbed his mom? It's reverse flash. Yeah, it's sure. Reverse they flash. never told me that. Oh. I know. Who, I yeah, know. we know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> they never like, say. Somebody who goes in and does a well, flash. I'll, who stabbed his mom? My brain turned off. Right. With the multi yeah. shit. Because, like, okay, tomatoes, cans back. Cool. Mom's still dead. Yeah. Who did it? It reminded me a little bit of the time machine. You know the the. The movie Guy Ritchie was in years ago. Was it Guy Ritchie? No, it's the Australian actor, whatever his name is. But like, it's like this bubble, and like this is this bubble as it goes through time or something like that. And I was oh, like, like, I'm pretty sure I've fucking seen this before. Like, that's oh, like that's really. Like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's true. No shit. Like him, like it looked like he was just running was on a treadmill. Oh movie? yeah, because he was like, <laughs> he's running on a treadmill. Australian like. actor who was in uh, Memento. Uh, huge Jackman. No, no, no. Um, that's the that only was Australian actor. Thinking of Wolverine. For me. I know exactly. Oh, what you're, you're thinking about. of Wolverine. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Chat, what's this it. movie? What's the movie, chat? It's not Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie. They're arguing. They're arguing about Supergirl. Who gives a fuck? You want you want to watch Dune because you want to get that popcorn bucket, you sick freak. Is that the blowjob one? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> oh my god. Guy Sorry. Pierce. Guy Pierce. Thank you. Guy yeah, Pierce. Yeah, that's right. Okay. It was called the Time Machine. Uh, what a horrible, uncreative speaking name. Speaking of um, oh, speaking of Shadow of the Hedgehog, did you see that they uh, they signed uh, a young white girl for that movie, and they haven't said what her role is? Maria. Maria. Yep, yep. That girl's gonna get riddled with bullets. So, in, space. <laughs> in case you don't know, Swerve, you know Sonic the Hedgehog. No spoilers. I I, I know. And do you know are his? You, are you uh, familiar with his work? His. What's your the favorite? Game, not the movies. What's your favorite uh, Sonic Hayes, the Hedgehog? He hates the movies. Yeah, Shane Hayes hates yeah, those. Why is that? I, I, I watched the first one with, the, with my kids. Uh, the second one, I was like, I can't do it without, like, if I don't have, like, my kids around or my niece and nephew, I'm not watching it. Um, we saw it together. <laughs> 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 He's like, whoa! Because we're, we're Idris Elba fans. Yeah. You know I, mean? so, I, just, I, I was wanted, happy that they made yeah, Knuckles but I canonically see black. <laughs> I wanted to support Knuckles. You know what I didn't want? I didn't want them to sign Knuckles and then have the have we'll it draw a bad rating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, they like, hey, hey. You could have even brought your kids, but we were like, no, no, we're not no, bringing your no, kids. No, I don't need my kids. I, I, would, I, would, I really kids. want to be in a room with them, like, creative. And they're like, hey, Knuckles, could you be a little more, you know, <laughs> urban? You know how Dennis you know Beat? You know, his you know how the kid is. is. You know, you, got, you know, you got to, you got to, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Knuckles, what do you think if we got you a chain that said Knuckles? <laughs> <laughs> is, is Victor the Alligator is canonically black? Tips? He feels black. He feels black to me. Or is he... Well, because Knuckles, Knuckles started off, he was supposed to be Jamaican. Like, they wanted to give oh, him a Jamaican accent, which really? is why he's got, like, dreads. dreads. Right. But the Very echidnas... Expensive. And, and there's, like, but the there's no like, like, like tropical trees. No, there's no, no, like, no, like, no echidnas in Well, no, the echidnas, like, as a species, became, like, these uh, Mayans. Like, oh, all of their... They have, like, pyramids, and, like, that's their their thing. Kofi the echidna? No. That's racist. He's He's from Ghana. You fool. Looks like there's West Africa. Kofi told us, because we were talking about um, how long people spend in developmental now. Years, right? Um, mm. Sometimes up to like five or six. And uh, Which or, guy's or, still or, there from or, whatever we started. How long was Gary there? Oh, oh my seven gosh. Years. Seven years. Seven, seven years. So seven he years. had the longest tenure, him and Aaliyah. Uh, fucking yeah, right, uh, right. Gary, uh, uh, what the fuck is his work name? Dawkins. Dawkins. Oh, Dawkins. Oh, Dawkins. Angelo Dawkins. I just call him Gary because it's such a great name. Gary. I've never, Gary. I've never known anyone named Gary in my life. So. It's a very Irish name, Gary. Yeah. So I know a lot of Gary. So, know a lot of so Dawkins was there for seven years and he... Basically to the point where he was signed like right out of college. Yes, yeah. he like, signed very young. I know that. Thank you for the bitch, Shreen. Uh, hey, uh, Shreen, you're back. Shreen, sorry. Congrats on completing the story. <laughs> but he was like, we don't say that anymore. We don't. Chad, we, 
Brendan got a lot of fucking heat. So it was. I, I put out a tweet when we uh, when we, we won Poland. the Polish yeah. tag team championship. Did you use the Polish hammer to win? No, Fuck there was no, no Polish yeah. hammers on the show. Yeah, you missed. Hell no. you we missed. Didn't want to put him over. You whiffed. We were heels. So we did lots of Irish whips in Ireland. I <laughs> quote tweeted. I quote tweeted Mansoor's post <laughs> saying that we won, yep. and I said we finished the story. And I'm not thinking. I didn't realize that everybody was shoot sensitive about it, Very and they sad. were actually like their like their like their dog was actually murdered in front of them. Yeah, because people were actually mad. Very so I was mad like, at you. I don't want I don't want you to be actually like I'll, I was just trying to be a silly. I didn't want. I'm just a silly guy. Y'all, y'all don't get my comments on Twitter no more. <laughs> y'all, y'all, I don't, I don't let y'all. Get my I can't imagine what your comments are. I, I need... I'm Lamar Jackson right now. I gotta be. Ugh. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah. Does it be on the ice. Oh, we know that feel. We know that feeling. Oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah. When we were when we first max maximum male model segment, we couldn't look. Yeah. Which one? The first maximum when male model. We debuted as the models. Because oh, yeah. there was we no, just knew that nobody liked it. Yeah. We we I, knew I, that I, nobody I, liked and it. And you could see, you, and like ah, I get it. I, I, I think I, I don't was, get it, but yeah. There was a subsection of fans, I think, who appreciated the absurdity of it. Yeah. In the sense that uh, people like David Lynch movies, <laughs> where people's eyeballs explode and then a ghost comes out of the eyeball and says, nish, nerf, nish, nish. Right? So when people see a segment on a wrestling show, a two hour live primetime wrestling show on free television, on cable TV, or is that the opposite? I don't know. I don't fucking know. It's the opposite. Watch. Of it's free the network television. Yeah, network television. television right? Right? Network. On Fox. And they see two guys come out and just stand there for an entire fucking segment, <laughs> commercial break to commercial break. I think there were some people who were like, <laughs> you know, like there is something to be said about how stupid that is. To the point where people were like, it's kind of funny. I kind of dig it. And then there are people who, who went like, these guys should fucking die. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for them to die. <laughs> If, if I come back from that break and they're not dead, let, let, alone, <laughs> let alone the people, let alone the people of our respective races. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh god! I was called Buck Broken. Doctor Umar was mad Doctor, at me. You're attacking Doctor Umar. <laughs> Doctor, hey, Doctor Umar, look at it. Guh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, well, because you know, in wrestling, there has to be one type of black. Yes. yes. If, you're the, if you're any type of black, any other black. Gotta be a tough aggressor. Ah! Yeah. Yep. Look at our culture. Well, right. people still shit. Like, <laughs> people still shit on New Day for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. You know. You know what would be cool if um if they just like took all of them. <laughs> oh Jesus. What if? And they go and they, on. And they put them and I they put them I together. <laughs> they put them together. What if we put a place for everything? A place for everything <laughs> and everything. What if? What if every group? Was just one race. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what people they, they think they're genius fans. It's like, hey, let's uh, let's put Bianca and Jay Cargill in a in a tag team, cause uh, they 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 like they 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 like. <laughs> to be fair, this, to be fair, this man is booking the future of WWE. <laughs> <laughs> to be uh, fair, you guys don't get it. We're to, joking about it, but to this be is honest, the reality. To of, be, of, to of be honest, this already. might be better. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly what they did in like 96, 97 with the nation and the fucking. Um, yes, but at that point they were just saying it. Boricuas these are the Black Panthers. These are the cartel. Yeah, and then there was the white biker gang. Yeah. Like, no, the original nation of domination though was like. How do I guy? All these mixed guys. races, That's and then right. they all separated into multiple like Oz prison drama I, style. I like, genuinely groups, believe you know? that they put white people in the nation the first time. Because they were like, we can't get away with this. <laughs> and then eventually they were like, nah, you know what? Any we better if they were just all black guys. We can get away with this. Because yep. they used to have that guy who would dress up his own heart, right? Remember? Yeah. I am not a nugget. <laughs> a nugget. Jason Sensation. Easy. Jason Sensation. That's right. That's right. And they had a, um, didn't they have like a white rapper involved? In the nation? Which was very progressive at the time. Yeah. Perhaps. I don't Perhaps. know. I wasn't alive. Perhaps. So I don't know. I only know my Attitude Era content from the best of DVD. All right, Swerve, uh, off the top of your head, best top five uh, wrestling rappers. Wrestling rappers. Wow. Wrestling rappers. Dylon, Dylon, Dylon. No, okay, I can't do that. Dylon, um, Dylon. Wrestling Dylon. rappers. Yeah. The Rock. Oh, it's my pride. pride. It's, it's my power. power. We stay hungry. We, we devour. devour. Put in the work. Put in the hours. And take, take what's ours. ours. WrestleMania main event. <laughs> take it. I'm, I was so sorry. I was like, he didn't write that. <laughs> it's, 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 it's written exactly like a... Joey's, what do you mean? 
mean? Uh, what's his name? You think Brian Gerwitz wrote it? No, I think yes, <laughs> yes, I think yes. I think Immortal <laughs> Technique wrote it with some Immortal Technique with some notes from The Rock. I'll tell you what. Make sure uh, to talk about Terminator. Like, like, hey, Arch, uh, Ron Killings. Like, yeah, his music. Oh was, yeah, his music is actually, really actually took it like another step up. Great you know? take. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, shout out to him. Shout out to him in general for yeah. just generally just, being the most just entertaining reinventing guy for. And, but, like, but, he's, but he's still person. been our truth for like the last. He's still our truth, yeah. But there's so many different twists and el- el- uh, evolutions to him, and all these different avenues he takes, and he always finds a way to just like. And he's still like spin it. He's still like, presented as the same guy. Like, like I said, he he's been the he same. Doesn't look yeah. different. He wears the same no, gear. But but he's completely different from little Jimmy, our truth, or like. Uh, yeah. Remember my favorite, our truth. Smoking our truth. When he lit up a cigarette. <laughs> My God. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. Wait, in the middle of the match, drinks some water. <laughs> that was fucking sick. Do you remember when he walked out in like a Confederate army outfit? What the fuck was that about? What was the story? Because nobody's going to bat an eye at our truth doing it. No. no he could do his, he is his in the safest Zeppelin. zone there is. Anonymous Thank you, Anonymous Gifter. Gifter. Thank you. I think a lot of people are worried with the changeover that uh, he would struggle for television yeah. and no. he's had you, so much more television no, it's awesome no way he's man well, I, I heard that, the uh, sweetest man I heard uh, that's so awesome sweet. man. I heard Priest was like really pushing for it I mean that's just what I heard I don't know if that's true but uh, I heard I buy that like, yeah because I mean, it's, it's, it's giving them a wrinkle 100%. you know they've got Judgment Day is on the show probably well, on the show that's like on two, right three now times of probably about eight night. segments yeah. yeah two or three times so night. you've probably seen Judgment Day it's been two hours, like four times by now. Yeah. Oh, oh, for sure. But like, and that's before you get to Rhea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then there's Rhea. <laughs> so you you know you know it's it's pro- it's hard to be different in four different segments yeah, when you want to get you know yeah. certain things across. And you need to tell a story. And usually in wrestling, when you're in a group, the only story you can tell is. Will they break up? Are there cracks? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, really especially with the more people you add into it. It, then it becomes like, oh, is he's going to drive a wedge between them and yeah. this part. And, and, and that's always the yeah. story, which and is kind of... And, and, like, and, and those guys aren't like... Um, they're not like the bloodline where like they, they have all this written out for like the this this pay-per-view, that pay-per-view. No, these guys are like, okay, we got this whole show. Boom, 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 boom. These Hit these beats. Yeah, that, boom, boom, boom. Next week, start from scratch all yeah. over again. Yeah. <laughs> beat, 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 beat. Next week, start from scratch again. I'm like, that's not easy to do. No. And they hit it. They nail it. In a fucking three-hour show. Yeah. So, like, that's the, like, that's the shit that, like, nobody really talks about and gets credit for or credits. So, I've never had to do... I, I assume everybody here, except for me and Brennan, have had to do this. But I have never had to have, like, a segment-long promo where I had to learn a bunch of fucking lines and then have, like, a two- to three-segment match... I where I have to learn a bunch of fucking spots. Yeah, imagine being out on TV for or like even 30 worse, minutes. Or even I'm worse. I'm going to do it after my match. And, I, and that's exactly <laughs> that, what I'm I always, I'll always, always see somebody cut saying. a promo after a match and I'm like, I, after a match, I usually go back and go sit down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, the idea of like, having to cut, because I, I did this in Saudi and it is fucking hard because you want to have the, as best of a match as you can and remember all your shit. And then you got to cut this fucking long ass promo where, especially in WWE, you better fucking hit your lines. Yeah. Especially as a new young wrestler, where you're not really given the fucking freedom to do that. Even with us, because we, uh, especially when we were models, we would cut a promo before, and it it helped because we would cut the same promo over and over again. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. But you got your template. Yeah, we, yeah. we had the template, and we you know plug stuff in. Yeah. Really. But like when we put together the match, and then uh, like right before we go out, we'd be like, all right, what are we doing for the promo? And then it would like take me out of the match mindset yes. for a second, uh, and it's like two different lanes almost. Right. So I couldn't yeah. imagine having to long promo match segment afterwards. I think match first is worse. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, it's harder. It's um, especially if you're like banged up and you're worried about something, or your knee, or your hip, and like so you're not even thinking about what you're saying. You're worried about your damn body. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. uh, I sure there's hope that. I can work next oh, week. Yeah. So like, there's that. But like, I had like. Uh, who, yeah, yeah, I had to. I wrestled Jeff Hardy, and I had to. I had two minutes to a live promo in the back, so I had to go up the ramp. Boom! Breathe, breathe, breathe. I couldn't even say it. Like, I was like, oh, 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 what are we saying? All right, that, that I've done. I've yeah. had a match and then had to run backstage to do a live promo backstage. Yeah, which yeah. was also bad because they didn't know where they were going to do it. 
and it's like somebody, like a producer, is like hurting you, and you're they're like telling you what you're gonna say, and it's like the best and then part, to go the best live. Part about that is you've been there for ten hours, and you easily could have filmed that beforehand. You sure could have at any point. In fact, the intention was to film it. Yep. Beforehand, and then they're like, "Now nah, we'll just do it." Live. I've had so many promos that they're <laughs> like, "Yeah, we'll film it. Uh, we'll film it uh, live to tape," and then they're like, "Okay." And then it gets to it. Sometimes well, I like... Here's, okay, so I see, like, I remember Brody, Brody Lee cut a promo after the match with the AW. He was out of breath, didn't make a ton of sense. I was, it was awesome. Reminded me of Shaq getting interviewed. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's here's the difference between, like, like this. Like, even if, like, uh, rest in peace, Brody, but, like, even if it didn't make sense or whatever, he's not going to go to the back and get killed by Tony. <laughs> like, right. That's the difference. Right. Like, he could, he could make... It was like, that was awesome. That was cool. Like, it, it felt real. Like, not like... You didn't do anything I directed you to. You didn't do this, and there's no like. What do you like, not know your for, mind's for a about? company that wanted things to be like real sports, it's weird that none of them watch real sports. <laughs> True, yeah. <laughs> it, it is something that it, yeah. like, it always bothered me. Like you know, they want the legitimacy of. Like, did I ever? Uh, did I ever tell you about? Never watch it once. Did yeah. I ever tell you about the draft in Vince? Oh God. So uh, please. So um, there was a minute when I was on commentary. I was in the production meeting, and the uh, the writers were trying to convince Vince to. Uh, do the draft as a special. So to do like a live show that was just going to be the WWE draft, we'd get like a banquet hall or like a, a hotel lo uh, lobby. And then uh, we'd have the general managers come up and make the individual draft picks, have everybody in the audience yeah. do it like the NFL draft. And uh, Vince, here's this idea. And I'm like, wow, that's a great idea. Vince was like, who would watch that? <laughs> <laughs> One of the most watched things in every sport. And I was like, like well, and, that, and it goes to, uh, what did he call basketball? Round ball? Round ball? <laughs> yes. When, uh, when uh, Iva, or, uh, the Vikings and Street Profits had uh, their little feud. The, the back and forth. The back and forth yeah, where they were that, doing yeah. all the different the segments. Stuff. Um, uh, I think Toddy told me that he was like, yeah, Vince didn't know what basketball was. He didn't know it back. He said, uh, I really like the segment where you guys had to play the, the round ball. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just a complete alien. <laughs> Vince, you've been to basketball games. Has he? Was he? Yeah, he's been to Madison Square Garden like, yes. for a basketball game. He he's has been to been basketball games. He, know, he knows they exist. They just yeah, don't, it's, it's they a, don't exist in his It was a round ball. It was, the ball was round. The ball so was I remember round. when, uh, when uh, Qatar got awarded the FIFA World Cup, right? Saudi wanted to do something par with that okay so Vince's idea was to have the World Cup of Wrestling yeah that's why he did that fucking thing oh, oh yeah I remember oh, that and then right. put eight Americans yeah like LL Cool J my favorite round ball player round ball player. <laughs> are you talking about rollerball <laughs> <laughs> I, in my mind Vince is like why wouldn't eight Americans be in the World Cup we're the best we're in the best country <laughs> Which I found out, uh, apparently... We're not even the best at basketball right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, come on. Spin and Lucky Manny and everything. Jeez. The friggin' Jeez. Looney Tunes are rolling over in their graves right now. <laughs> and Space I Jam. Hold it all for yeah. Space Jam would have some Eastern European <laughs> charisma-less giant. Did, did anyone watch the sequel? I didn't. I didn't. No. I, I had to. I, saw I felt it. like I had to. I saw it. It was... Uh, it, for my culture, I had to do it. <laughs> it was... Um, Round ball players? In, in 1995, when the first one came out, I went with my basketball team to watch Whoa! it. Me too. I went, I went on a field trip to watch it. Yeah. I went on a field trip. I remember I went to a field trip to watch that and Holes. Oh, shit. Oh, Shia, Shia LaBeouf fans. Yeah. Yeah. You got to go <laughs> and dig them holes. Yeah. yeah. Fucking, yeah I saw that, that on Disney movie. Channel. Great movie. I still watch... Space Jam watched... was amazing, though. Man. Space Jam was incredible. Space, Space Jam was fucking rolled. I, I watched it on VHS. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it right now. Space Jam, without a Space Jam, you don't have an Avengers. Whoa, Whoa. slow down. Okay, hold, hold on. Let's hear him out. No, no, let, let, him let's hear him out. let him cook. He's cooking. Let He's him cook. Cooking. That was the first time you're seeing all these different characters, like these universes kind of coincide and work like on screen together. Okay. Like we didn't see, I know, I don't think I was ever going to see a live action like like a, a, a Iron Man with a Black Panther. With I, I, see, I see you. I disagree. I see you, but I raise I, I will you. Say, I will say that Space, Space Jam walked so that Super Smash Bros. could this. run. Super Smash, Bros. Super Smash Bros. could run. I would actually give that honor <laughs> to Roger Rabbit. To who framed Roger, Roger Rabbit. Rabbit. Ah, that's all that true. was the first movie because that's that actually true. had properties that were different. Yes. Like, oh, different that, IP that, had, that had Bugs Bunny and Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse in the same But they didn't have Michael freaking Jordan. They didn't have Michael Jordan. Like, that like 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 there's still a lot of people that don't know who framed Roger Rabbit. That's still like very 
Like, That's probably cult true. classic. They show you at the end of but, the movie. But yeah. <laughs> there's still a lot of that. But like, you put Michael Jordan, the biggest athlete on the planet Earth, and, and uh, put so, that in the front. So what that I, makes it mainstream. So I will still stand by Space Jam. What I, what I love about Space Jam. Console. What I love about Space Jam. I think he's playing baseball at that point too. He was. And he, was. he let them make that. How about that? Yeah. And he, he yeah. Who who would do that now? Nobody. Nobody. What, what was that? What was that? They let them make fun of him. Oh, he he let them baseball. make fun of his yeah. baseball career. Which yeah. Is like, he was he's striking out in a movie. I'm like, you let them write that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Space Jam. What a terrible idea. Couldn't happen again. There was no way Space Jam Two could have been good, because Space Jam One happened at the perfect time where basketball was the coolest basketball ever will be or was ever. Um, you can book you can book Charles Barkley. Yes, you can get, you, all of the, you all can't of those amazing freaking yeah Olympian basketball players that Mugsy. were in that movie, and and, and just oh, basketball Mugsy. was cool. Oh, basketball yeah. was cool at the time, and then you have the Looney Tunes, which are obviously a staple in freaking American culture. And everybody more in Venice Beach was wearing the Tasmanian Devil with the shirt. Yeah, yeah, the, the freaking airbrush. Joint, yeah. And then on top of that, hip hop was just starting to become cool. And that was a hip hop movie because yeah. it was a bunch of it had a whole rap soundtrack and R and B soundtrack. We can't mention the artist's name, but that we was can't. Like, but the, the <laughs> that's oh, probably yeah! like the biggest songs that. ever yes. in the world One of at the, the time. The biggest songs ever ever was like the freaking like the. It, like, it literally was the biggest song in the world, and we can and, never yeah. talk about him again. And that was yeah. that was all so that was all going for it so much like that Roger the Rabbit movie didn't, didn't have to be good. No, no. <laughs> oh, Roger Rabbit. No, Roger Rabbit didn't have all those elements like at the time. I wouldn't before, say Roger like Rabbit this, was like as culturally thing. important as Space Jam, not no. at all. But I would say it did break the ground in the sense that it was. A I'm pretty sure Roger Rabbit people. was before Space it Jam. It was. It was having it was. real people with cartoons from different. Ideas. I think they had Strange to figure World that too. out in that. Wait what? Strange, remember Strange, Strange World. World. I remember Strange World. That, too. The guy that was a little bit in, more mature. Yeah, the guy falls in love with a. It's basically if uh, Roger Rabbit was about the uh, about the cop sex. having sex with the with the yeah. uh, banging the cartoon Jessica with Rabbit? With Jessica Rabbit. Yes. Banging the rabbits. Yeah. That's that happens yeah. in Strange World. Strange World is about a guy who basically falls in love and has sex with a uh, cartoon. He's like a detective, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking cool world, for cool world, cool world, world, cool world. Yeah, yeah cool no, world. No. That's right. Uh, this uh, this stream will be ending uh, momentarily uh, when guys. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> So he'll be busting out his uh, goggles tonight for yep. the first time. I don't need that acne on my head. He's going to have that acne on his forehead. You can eat. Back next day. Hey, guys. <laughs> I was up all night. <laughs> so was she. Oh. Two and a half. It's Brad Pitt? It was Brad yes. Pitt. Oh yeah. Cool oh, hello. Yeah. Look at that thing. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> auga, auga. They don't make cartoons like that anymore. It's like that chick from the... Um, you know that video game they have in arcades where it's just like a quick time event? The Dragon's Lair? Or oh, yeah. The um, Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Where the guy it? turns into a skeleton. Yep, yep. Yeah. God damn. The Mask, though? Yeah, I watched The Mask with my kids recently. The Mask, does Classic. that really count? Not really. I mean, it doesn't count. They're just, uh, I think they're just naming good movies. It was, a, it was a property. See, Because that was CGI. Not uh, 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 Howard the Duck, too, was like one of the Marvel parts. That was the first, that was one of the first the Marvel animatronic so funny. ones. What they used to make movies about from Marvel, knowing what we know now yes. about what is popular. True. They saw the fact Iron that they Man, had the Captain America, fucking Thor. Howard the freaking duck. They picked That's, Howard the yeah. duck to make a fucking and movie. Blade. Well, yeah, well Blade. if it wasn't for Blade, the MCU wouldn't exist. Yeah, Nothing. Yeah, for sure. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, no, 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 for real. For real. That, That's a hundred percent true. It's well, no, it's they a combination made money of money to buy back their own rights. It's a combination of uh, X Men doing well. And Blade uh, and Spider Man. Yeah. Spider Man. Toby took yeah. it over the freaking. Wait. Oh yeah, yeah. he took it over. X Men was owned by Fox. X Men was. Spider Man was owned by Sony. But in terms Blade of making was, superhero Blade movies was, at all, was Marvel. It was. It was the only Marvel. That movie. was a Marvel Studios. Oh, Marvel's yep. first proper. Well, no, no, Howard the Duck. Sorry. But then Howard the Duck. Yeah. Then yeah. Howard the Duck. Then Blade with the two. Why the Marvel fuck did movies. they do Howard the Duck? Because what's the well, it was hot. 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 No, it was a long time. It was not hot. Howard the Duck was not who. Oh, I was talking about Blade. But yeah, Blade was Howard the Duck. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Punisher '89, yeah, that. But yeah. was that the one with Kevin Nash or no? No, no. no Punisher '89 was, was the one with uh, Punisher '2. That's Kevin Thomas Jane. Yeah, Thomas Jane, the one you're talking about. That's, there was the another Punisher. That was '89, yeah. I remember that one. Yeah, that was Kane's yeah, song. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the Punisher with with Kevin Nash, where he gets stabbed <laughs> for shooting. Yeah, that's right. Have you heard about this? 
Say that again? It's, uh, Kevin oh, Nash yeah. got shoot stabbed yeah, in that movie and he said, and keep you know going. What? Yep. You know what he did? Because he's a boss. He didn't sue because he's a mark. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, you're supposed to be on money to Miles and you didn't take the fucking $20 million payout of getting stabbed on set? What the fuck? You're betraying your gimmick. You're betraying everything you've taught us. <laughs> He's like, oh, but Thomas Jane is cool. <laughs> he probably, yeah, I think he's, he's like, just, oh, but John Travolta. Uh. He probably just wanted like the cred, you know. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I got right. stabbed. I mean, he would still have the cred if he sued. No, not really. Like, okay. Would they take him out it's of the movie? Okay, so this is what this. It's almost exactly the same thing that happened to me, right? <laughs> I'm what? comparing myself to Kevin Nash and Punisher. Yeah, that's why I, I was in an don't, indie show. Don't do that. And uh, the promoter was like, "Hey, we want you to do a spell of fire, where he breathes fire in your face." And I was you like, should be the fire breather. I was making twenty bucks on the show, and I said, "Hey, I'll, I'm a little concerned about the safety of that, but I'll do it for another 20. And he said, "No." And I was like, <laughs> "Okay, I'll do it." <laughs> we do the spot, but we do it in a way where the idea is he blows fire in my face, but I hold up a cookie sheet. So it deflects back into him. Okay. Obviously, that is not how fucking uh, fire fireworks. Works. Instead, <laughs> but it heated up the cookie sheet and burned my fingers. What did you Our, think it was? Cartoon it lightning? Seemed, yes. <laughs> I thought it was like Dragon Ball Z. I thought I could deflect the blast. So, um, no, but I, I didn't bitch about it because I wanted to be yeah. like, I'm a tough wrestler guy trying to make it in the business. This is I, great. This is a great uh, Kevin Nash booking story I heard. It was like uh, this dude was trying to like get book uh, Kevin Nash for like to do a spot on a show and he was already assigned doing a signing so like hey Ke- hey Nash uh, what's, how much do you want to, to do this running or whatever on this spot or whatever he's like 7,000 he's like right, what, what about, hey I got this stack of beer you want that 2,000 <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking awesome I respect him so much more <laughs> I respect him so much more right now I, but I, that's I legit and this is much nerdier and lamer than a fucking case of beer but if somebody came up to me and was like hey will you work my show I have a copy of like the original fucking um, Silent Hill <laughs> oh, I, I, thought thought like, I have this uh, this uh, this porn key, key, er, key pass so that you can oh, browser subscription, yeah, browser subscription. <laughs> I'll let you have my browser's login <laughs> it's, only, it's only good for a month like, you got me for the rest of my life I'll, I'll, you like, I'll be here forever <laughs> I'll never leave there's certain things where I'd be like oh, if you throw that in there maybe I'll do it we haven't really had to do that yet where somebody's throwing in like a I don't know like a little it's, compensation a little extra yeah, yeah. Some on the side. Exactly. But we're not really enticed by much. No. Me and you. We're not very really. simple, simple men. Whereas I feel like a bottle of Jack goes a long way with the previous generation. <laughs> a bottle of Jack? Yeah. Yeah, if you give me an anime figurine, I'll probably be all right. If it's rare. Hey, could you get color in this next match? I'm like, nah, man, I'm not feeling it. Hey, is that a half open bottle of Jack? Right <laughs> <laughs> For you? Okay. You want to finish funny. that? You want to finish that bar over here? <laughs> 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 so, yeah, it's actually quite ac- accurate what you're saying. <laughs> speaking of it drinking, speaks to me quite a lot. Actually. Speaking yeah. of drinking, yeah, guess cool. who we met in Poland? Oh yeah! Fucking sorry about your, your damn luck. luck. <laughs> <laughs> Our only regret is that we didn't actually get a pic. We, we wanted everybody to. wanted pictures with us because we were the we were the hot commodities wow, in yeah. Poland. Yeah. But we wanted a picture with the guy boy James Storm. Did he yeah. know who you were? No, no. Oh, that's even better. No. Oh. Cause see the next time he meets you, he's gonna be your best friend. Really? Cause he's gonna figure out who you were. No. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. At all, yeah. And he's yeah, gonna think fun. you can get him work. Well, <laughs> I where? <laughs> we'll have you on stream. He's, yeah, he's, 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 he's a fantastic guy to meet, but uh, he's uh, he's a bit cringe. He was really cool to us. A bit cringe. Well, we we had a two hour car ride with him from the airport. Yeah. Right? So oh did we, he tell you like how awesome he was throughout the, the two hours? Yes, but we also think he is. We awesome. think he's <laughs> awesome. So <laughs> he's fine. In fairness, correct. <laughs> who's, one, who's one of the most uh, interesting like guy like the interesting guys that's followed you recently that you just like oh. Oh, oh, a cool like follow. I marked yeah. out the most. Well, not a cool follow. They're, they're going to give you comic uh, book writers and stuff. Stop it, man. Oh, should. that's cool. We should be asking you this question, not, not the other way. I marked, <laughs> out, I marked out when, uh, I don't even know if she... Martin Schmidt followed follow me. Like, who? <laughs> like, oh, you know who actually followed Brennan that I marked out for? It oh, didn't follow me, but Mar- I followed Brennan. Who? Uh, Kira Noir. Is your name? I love her. I love her. (laughs) The culture, damn it. We're. That's right. I'm Uh, friends with. Maybe uh, a valet. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not familiar with her work, but Dijak has has sung her praises. Says that she she hits her spots. 
Absolutely. Um, said that I've, um, I've, uh, uh, and, and a rare good de- promo in her industry. Good promo. And I heard um, I heard her gimmick with Mandingo is really good. Uh, where she leads people to him. Like a, like oh, a, yeah. Like a, some sort of temptress. <laughs> guess, what, guess what I talked to the other day? Uh, J- Jada Stevens. Good friend of mine. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, good friend of mine. You see what happened to Lisa Ann? I did. What I'm like, Lisa, fuck? what the fuck? <laughs> what happened? Lisa's on my wall, literally she, in my podcast room. She's been a guest. She oh, went shit. to, she went, to, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, she Lisa's went to, cool. she went to one wrestling show and then she, she's lost. <laughs> <laughs> Infection. Uh, yeah. It's yeah, like, uh. Demi Sutra followed me recently too. Oh, I'm not familiar with good. her work. What's, uh, what's her best match? What's her best match? Oh, uh, she just did the dread scene. You know, dread. <laughs> good lord. Get your goggles. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got some right there. We can just, just take some notes, oh, money for later. It's fine. <laughs> and, oh, shout out Phoenix Marie too. She probably <laughs> somebody so. said arresting Lisa during Black History Month. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> Should I do a live review right now? <laughs> <laughs> I can. And should I be like, yeah. Uh, Good spots. They have good spots. They were four, four and four and a half stars. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, watch you out for me. The Dave Meltzer of porn. Oh, oh, the Dave. You need to become the Dave, Dave Meltzer of porn. Oh, oh, fuck, here. that'd be a good gimmick. What, we need to do a podcast where you just like, you? Uh, Manny. What do you think about this uh, Lisa Ann uh, Mandingo spot? Uh, redundant. It was a little redundant. Yeah. Uh, redundant. Uh, redundant. Well, they did the same spots they did in their last match. They didn't expand upon their spots. I hate those. Uh, they didn't tell a story. I hate those. They didn't tell a story. Like, no story. I was like, so. Oh my god. Every all the formulas. <laughs> Blowjob, cunnilingus, missionary, doggy, cowgirl, finish uh, on the face. And call it a day. I'm like, come that. on. Like, you got 38 minutes. <laughs> you have to long and you can't tell a story. Come on. Oh, fucking rest, rest positions. Now, now, let, me, now let me tell you about oh, this. Okada gave me more than this. Come on. Let me tell you about this hour-long Japanese match. I saw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Joshi are much better. You need to check out Joshi. Because they work fucking hard. hard. And you should see them in the battle royals they do. Good <laughs> lord. The uh, fucking handicap matches they have. Oh my goodness. There's nothing like this, I guess, Japanese thing better. We actually wouldn't need Dijak for that though. Because he is the most Dijak is, yeah. clinical, calculating person about porn we have ever known. <laughs> to the point where he cares about the dude. Yeah, the, the penis needs like, to be a certain <laughs> shape, size, and everything else. Nope. Or he is not hopping. Like, uh, my issue is, if, there's, if they show too much guy face, I'm like... That's a, I'm like, Next. For me, it's guy noise. Guy, guy noise. <laughs> no, but if, it, but if he's, <laughs> no, no, but if he's like, if, if if there's a gimmick with it where like there's some dialogue with it, I'm like, oh, that's go fine. off. But that's I'm, I'm, go off. Go, that's hey, fine. Run, I, I need bars. What I can't stand, what I can't stand, is the shot. That this is the worst fucking shot. It's it's the guy's exposed asshole. And he's like, <laughs> kill time, and all you see is like the. No, anyway. no, remember those old school ones? Like, like I'm talking about like 90s and vintage shit. Vintage shit. Vintage shit. Mm-hmm. They would just shoot the guy's face. They yeah. don't do it. They, <laughs> oh don't, like, they don't do like, that oh, when they need a reaction shot. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then sometimes it'd be on loop. I'm like, that's the same fucking thing. Well, <laughs> whereas now, in, in, in 2024, I couldn't tell you what one of them looked like. Couldn't tell. No, no. I have no idea. I have no idea. That means he doesn't. No he, that's like a. So you're saying that, that the man's job That means he's good at what he does. Like, yeah, I don't know who he's like. He's like a job like a referee. He's a referee. I don't want to know the ref. That's right. Like now, now you're just have, now you're going don't to bury business. your guy. Don't yeah. bury your guy. You have male porn stars who try to get themselves over with gimmicks. <laughs> yeah, the guy with the boots. Like now I know you. Like exactly. <laughs> well, actually, back in the day, male porn stars used to be more famous. You had Ron Jeremy. You had uh, uh, Kieran Pete, uh, Kieran Pete, Lee. Kieran Lee. Peter North. Peter North. Yeah, now North. I feel like the only famous porn stars are just the black guys because. Well, Jason Love is like. Tell us why, Mouser. Because of giant penises. <laughs> and, the, and the fact that they do gimmick matches. Work gimmick right. Matches. Where the fucking gimmick is that it's a black guy. Like, that's the... I w- no, like, uh, if you uh, listen to uh, uh, my interview with Lisa, she explains all that. And it's awesome. She's like, she's like, she's like well, there's something really m- magical and sexy about the skin complexion. And so I'm like, oh, that's why the black guys are getting work right now. <laughs> is is that that contrast? Is that she, I'm not even kidding. To like, me, that yeah, sounds like cold. That sounds like cold. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> It's like that listen. explains all five of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, this reminds me of listening to Mansur tell you why Christian's the best wrestler ever. How <laughs> oh, is that the same thing? Because you cope most of the time. Oh, you talk about First of all, <laughs> there's something there's why? something magical about how he hooks how he hooks the. <laughs> The Bring up Johnny Sins is like 2004. <laughs> Stop. Moving on. Yeah. Stop his John, name. Johnny Sins' run is over. It's okay? over. Let it go. Stop it. 
Demo Cope and Christian he doesn't even have kids <laughs> are different guys, first I, of all. I How understand. You compare them? I understand. Uh, they're in a huge <laughs> right now. I'll have you know. I don't Cope! Know how we got in this conversation. But. J Mac is still on a good run. Go ahead, J Mac. <laughs> um, there's a European guy I know. I don't know him personally. I'm like, I'm like oh! I know of his work. God, oh, you Chad, Chad, who's the European guy who. <laughs> what this is, is it? horrible. Brit- I shouldn't say is this. Is it Brit porn? No, it's, it's not British. He's he's like Eastern European. I really shouldn't say this. So just say, say it. it. Just say it. You're not fired. We're, so we're all fired. There's a scene where he is doing anal on a girl, and and usually anal is a huge turn off for me. I'll turn off the video. Okay. But someone told me watch this, and of okay. course I'll always take a recommendation. <laughs> Claudio. 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 <laughs> <laughs> And don't, and, and don't anybody give me shit about talking about porn. I just saw a fucking Malachi Black talking about glory holes on his show. That's I don't true. With Justin Wang. I don't hear it. Justin Wang did a spot with uh, Mensor right. in New York. I did a show yeah. in uh, New York City. I did a no ring, uh, not a death match because we had rubber mallets and shit. We did a Looney Tunes match. <laughs> so he's the hardcore one. Yeah, room. and uh, we had I did a photo shoot with Justin Wang. Shout out Justin We had Justin cool. Wang in the crowd and we did a spot where he fucking, I hold, held the guy, Justin chopped him. Okay. I was like, yeah, fuck it, high five. I think our other brother turned around on me, held me, Justin chopped me. Yeah. Curse fucking back elbow. I said, what the fuck, Justin? We're supposed to be friends. <laughs> you, you fucking carny YouTube piece of shit. I'm unsubscribing for your bitch ass. I throw a super, he catched it, threw it, super kicked me for a fucking uh, near fall. So hopefully that goes viral when that comes out. But anyway, as I was saying, the scene, yeah, he's he's oh, yeah. doing anal on a, on, a, on a fine gentlewoman, mm-hmm. a, a, a lady of the night. And um, he pulls out, and then he's like, he's like and now he wants a blowjob. And she, <laughs> she comes up to his, you know, member. Asked him out. And she, you, you fine, see her, you see her go close and go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this dude, <laughs> this dude says, no, no. <laughs> say it, say it. He says, it's only smells. Oh yeah, <laughs> only smells. <laughs> okay, only well. smells. It's only smells. <laughs> Smells.com. I didn't. This. I didn't. Uh, I watched this because it was uh, recommended to me. Right? It was not something I looked ish, for. Ish only smells. Let's change the subject. Um, okay. Was he fucking gold member? No, is he? <laughs> no. My, my <laughs> generic. Oh my, my generic. He was fucking uh, Lana Rhodes. No, my, my generic yeah. European is yeah, uh, is Bjork. It's Bjork. Yeah, okay, just, that makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. Yes. Well, she's eff- effectively the Japanese of Europe. Yes, yes, exactly. The Scandinavians or the Japanese? <laughs> Finland, Finland. Finland. Finland, sorry, I don't mean to be... They have very odd, like, very odd Japanese-style names. Well, very so odd. I... Very odd. I thought Bjork was Asian. Exactly. Well, she's, uh, she's, uh, conned. She got conned? She got conned. Not Tony. Genghis. Genghis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I think I think a lot of Icelandic people uh, have, have a little bit of, uh, of Mongolia. Yeah, yeah, a little no, Mongolian DNA in there. Like she was Finland. Yeah. No, she's Iceland. Iceland. I am from. I am Bjork. I am from Iceland. No kid. Yeah, Bjork is not Asian. She's just. It, 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 if you see her, if you see her parents, they're both like more white looking than her. Oh really? Yeah. Interesting. So that it was the recessive. <laughs> Yeah, like, like, like the, I'm not Asian. <laughs> like the like the devil gene. <laughs> uh, Bubba, Hangman's going over Wednesday after this. <laughs> <laughs> you being in the same conversation as me talking about smelly poop. <laughs> I said no, no, no. more over. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. If anything, it's gonna get you more it's over. It's true. I'm like, uh, you didn't realize I'm working with AEW, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, it's, that's not how it works. The, the nasty gets over. Yeah. The Genghis Khan gimmick would be great in porn. Speak on that. I, I don't. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't. I hope you don't mean what I think. Is this? Are you saying uh, Mpreg? Yeah. You feel betrayed because Bjork is not Asian. I, I, <laughs> now I you don't like her. You, what do you mean? I assure you, it was not her intention to betray you. <laughs> by being yeah. That's that's pure Bjork stalker behavior right now. Bjork stalker. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to him. No, he's no shout out to him. We disavow. <laughs> you don't I mean, need he's to. Dead, he's but, dead. Uh, whatever, he's right? gone. We don't, don't want to uh, glorify any of that behavior. Unless it's to us, because that'd be funny. <laughs> you, what you, okay. what would you do? I'd, I'd put it on Twitter. <laughs> if you tape a fucking video of yourself, uh, like, singing, or I guess, uh, reenacting our matches while you're naked and covered in face paint. <laughs> Send that shit to us and we'll put it online. We'll put you over. I, I want to reenact y'all the photo, the meme of you drinking the milk. 
Oh, oh shit! Yeah. 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 I have that saved in my phone. <laughs> that is, sorry. That's that is like I send that to a lot of people. That was actually at <laughs> Maxine's that house. That was at Maxine's house. And her uh, boyfriend was there, just watching me like <laughs> the whole time. We're in speedos. We're, we're, in speedos. My <laughs> whole, we're like, we're like, hey, uh, do you I'm have any sitting milk? on his couch. I tell, I tell, I walk up to him like, hey, do you have like a? Bl- I don't want to put my whole bare ass on your couch. I think that must have been so. Re- like he must I have been so what, relieved. No, no, that's what made him a wrestling fan. He must have been so relieved. Like, to be you like, know oh, what? I was a little reluctant to like before. Like, no, no. Dorks. But could you imagine like <laughs> oh, I'm all in. my girls traveling with these yeah, two wrestlers? Yeah, yeah, imagine that. And then we come to his house with speedos holding each other like this, drinking milk out of white. Like, like, oh good, you know, babe, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta check in with me. Go, yeah, go, take her with you. Take her with you. It's okay. It is, it is ready to go. Matter of fact, if you're watching this now, I'm going to heart this and say oh, it as my favorites. Favorite yes, the, the, I have sweet. another one that's like, I, I don't know if it's one of my favorites, but I've saved one. I love that all of our best work was stuff we did on our own for YouTube. My mom, like, begged me to have that video taken down. <laughs> that she, one? Yeah, the one where we where were She was talking. actually disappointing. She was, she was like, you need, to, you need to ask them to delete that because... We're gonna want to go to Saudi Arabia soon. <laughs> I was like, ah, I'll be fine. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go to fucking. Uh, after I got fired, she said this. I was like, am I really gonna text them to take down this video? Like, absolutely not. No, I they would not do that. Even though they begged us to. I'm stop surprised they didn't. I'm surprised they didn't delete them all. I already. almost think maybe they would. Yeah. Uh, almost as quickly as they took down our merch. <laughs> like the moment. Yeah. That our they our did. merch. You know, okay, so get this, get this. They have so a new button ready. My kids, my kids love the Maximum Male Models theme song. They used to have it. They used to have it on their phone. They used to love it because they love Daddy, obviously, and they love Manny. And they th- thought it was so funny that this song was Daddy and Manny's song. So they used to listen to it all the time. Every day on loop. Maximum oh, over and over again. Uh, we got fired. They're still listening to it. And it's kind of eating at me Wait, a little bit. Is it off Spotify? Well, no. It was it was off everything after like three weeks. Because one day they're like, Daddy, why is the, did you take the maximum male model? Because they, so they thought I was sad. They thought yeah. I was like upset because I was like, because you're not maximum male models anymore. And I was like, no, I didn't take it off. So I go and look. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> they thought you were so sad. Then that I took, took it off, it the off their phone. <laughs> you, can't, you can't listen to this shit anymore. But I was like, I was heartbroken because they were like, Daddy, we wanted to listen to Maximum Amount Models, but it's not there. And I was like, oh. They weren't jamming. Well, you can listen to Ryback's theme song. I'm what? Sure. It's on there? It's still on no there. No fucking way. It's on there. I Are promise you serious? You. Yeah, it's on Wait, there. Wait, hold up. This in swerve. I don't like that. What? In swerve. Oh, because we're the insiders. Oh, because we're insiders. No, you're not inside me. We're in swerve. Oh my god. Not yet. Not yet. Meet on the table. Pause, homie. Here it is. Get money's goggles going in my happen. Still there. Is that what he did? Yeah. He did this. He he did the fucking bushwhacker. No, he used to he used to come out and he go. What did he do? Oh yeah, he did. Oh yeah, yeah. And then he had the invisible pyro. Yeah. What is this? With a bang. Because it was a concussive blast, yeah. I hate they, they, they have They call them concussives, and they're uh, the no, no lights. Yeah, I'm like, why it's do you just want a noise? Pow! Yeah, like, just make a... Does it really have song. that? I think so. Yeah, because yeah, he goes, the pow! I'm yeah. like... Yeah, but like, Austin Theory has it. I'm like... For that what? That, like, when the lights come on after the thing, it, it just goes pow. pow! I'm like, that's so unnecessary. Yeah, it was just so Kevin Dunn could do this with the camera. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Shut up. Well, no shut up. I don't no shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, don't know. I, have no I think he left at a good time. That's all I need to say. Oh, shit. I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Hmm. What did he Homer know? Homer Simpson mean. <laughs> <laughs> what did they know? Perhaps uh, he was wise. <laughs> <laughs> As the Icelandic elves <laughs> whispered in his ear. <laughs> the elves, they whisper to me. <laughs> It is time for you to find it. Can somebody who watches WWE tell us, have they changed the camera style at all? Yeah, yeah, cool? that's a good question. Nothing has changed. I, nothing? Because, nothing. I, I think, think all y'all placebo would have tried to say, who, who, actually they raised the camera. No, nothing's changed. Nothing's all changed. Of everybody tells me, or everybody used to I watch everybody. everything. I'm the, they're all still here in Kevin in the rear, even though he's not wow. there anymore. Okay. They, so they, going, they, are, <laughs> they, they are the same cameramen that they yeah. had yeah, for like four years. Nothing's going to change. 
Someone's saying yes, it has slightly. No, that's cool. That's so probably not, there's not. Like, that, that's that's cool. Being there's like, not a million cuts, and there's no like like if somebody's doing a giant swing, like when Cesaro would do it, they'd go. <laughs> I like that one though. Adding yeah. something to something that's already the same is not changing yeah, it. That's no. they're just adding more. They there's should, about, just nothing's put, changed. Like Jeremy Borash in charge of all that stuff for a while. Yeah. And it would be so pissed. Mm-hmm. It would be so And I still real. watch because I still have friends there. I want to watch my friends. Yeah. But like, yeah, I, I still watch the product. I, I did. Watch I stopped watching watch it. I stopped watching it two years ago when I was still working. <laughs> 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 I think I intentionally don't watch because it leaves Dijak by himself in our group chat. We yeah. all have it's a right. He watches everything. Just rant about shit we are not watching. None of us bro. are watching it. We're not watching little bro. We don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> we, we have told him, like, so many times that we're not watching, but yeah, we get a full running commentary of everything. Dijak happens. will be like, "This match is awful," and we're like, "Little bro, we don't, we don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> we call him little bro. Now. Okay, so we call Dijak little bro now because he's a coward, and he had the opportunity to fucking ratio the rock before <laughs> before, before it was cool. Before it was yeah, cool. I think I see. I think I know where you're going. But go ahead. He we he had the opportunity live on stream. The rock came back on SmackDown. And I was like, Dijak, you need to reply to that tweet. Because he's been back. ratioing everybody. So. The whole gimmick was that he was like, I bet I can ratio the official NXT Twitter account. And he would ratio. <laughs> so I was like, you need to reply to The Rock's tweet right now saying I'm back. And be like, hold this people's ratio, little bro. <laughs> and he was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Dijak, I promise you will win. You will win this fight if you and just he may, submit it. He may not have ratioed The Rock then. That, that would have been retweeted to fuck right now. He may now have lost the battle God. then. But it would have come back. He would have won the oh, hundred. Because I would have retweeted it this week. Oh, and now fans are ratioing The Rock. Fans are ratioing. Literal the rock. who's are ratioing The Rock. And no, it's not putting anybody over it's that. It's not putting anyone over. That John 666 is People ratioing People who don't watch wrestling are saying poor Cody. That's how bad it is. I have seen that as well. It's true. I'm like you. I'm sure he's devastated. You know that his paycheck has changed That's you know, <laughs> significantly. And, you know he's never going to be on television again, and wow. he'll never have a big match in his yeah, life. I'm so sure sad. I'm really he's, upset. He's for so him. sad taking a helicopter back to his hotel. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking so sad. But I love. I love it though. This might get the Daniel Bryan. Hold on. Wait a minute. Though, you know what I, mean? I think he is sad. Well, Cody's, a pri- Cody's a prideful man. Because he cares a lot. Yeah. Cody's he's a prideful man. That's what, that's I've watched the segment. He introduces The Rock, so obviously it's okay. That's a good point. <laughs> that's a good point. Oh, and today he goes, <laughs> guys, don't boo The Rock, please. That's, that's, that's Did he really? I don't know. Surely that's what the WWE creative process that was. That would be when, fucking When they funny thought though. this through, they were like, oh, he, surely he, it'll be he fine. He watched him walk off. He watched the whole if, thing. If I did this, if I did that, um, if I was booking this, right? <laughs> okay. And th- my storyline was to get Cody over and, and get him do sympathy. them. Yeah. yeah. I would have had, uh, I would have won, handed out signs in the crowd to make sure everybody No, was... but wouldn't that make it too obvious? I'm no, because I would have I'm starting to see that, okay, that there might not be I don't think you need to have... That. I don't think you need to hand out signs. I think people are going to bring them on their own. I think, well, I think you I could think just, you could have somebody who looks like a fan handing it out. These are psychological geniuses. I, I, I think, I think people understand. are vastly overestimating Twitter compared to real life. Yeah. I think 20,000 people are going to lose their mind when they see The Rock every time it comes up. I think when he's not there, they will boo. Yeah, sure. But once yeah, his music hits, they're, 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 they're like, oh, 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 I loved you this whole time. <laughs> when, his, when his face comes up on a graphic and he's not there, boo. Yes, yes exactly. Boo. But, but I would also... Yes, ah! <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wasn't booing. Now, you were booing? Who was booing? Who was booing, who was booing? Who was booing who was, on this line? Who was booing? I was saying booing. I would take the shit out of anybody who was booing. <laughs> I was saying Burns. <laughs> I was saying Barack. <laughs> but Barack. But Dwayne comes through the crowd like Roman over Roman this time. Like, say something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say something. Say another motherfucking word over here. And I would have Cody come out first and okay. say, and act like <laughs> he's reading a promo, <laughs> reading a teleprompter. Guys, it was like, my decision. Guys, it was my decision. <laughs> he's like, there's a gun to his head. Someone's off screen. No, it's not uh, No, I would have a red dot. A red dot on his <laughs> Guys. Guys, I There's need a, you guys. He's, he's backstage. He's reading from a piece of paper. There's a WWE flag behind him. <laughs> it says, he goes, they have Pharaoh, please. Just <laughs> tear the rock. Why is Cody on his knees with his arms tied behind his back? <laughs> what an interesting pose. There's an opportunity to tell a very good story. Like, okay. I love the decisions they are making me. Please, nobody get it! <laughs> <laughs> like my, the peak of my fandom was the Daniel Bryan WrestleMania 30 story. Mm-hmm. Here we are 10 yeah. years later. It's still going to work. And they have the opportunity to do the exact same thing. And, it's uh, it's going to work. I mean, I don't know. Triple threat. It's a tradition almost now. Every 10 Every manias, 10 years. Every 10 manias, they do a triple ah, threat. Ah, that's right. Not the first 10, or not like WrestleMania 10, 
But every 10 years, they have an underdog win the big one, right? Brett, Chris, Chris Rock. Rock. Yep, yep. Chris Rock. <laughs> Dan O'Brien. Yep. And then if it was just Rock Roman, that would certainly be big breaking. I'm sure it was accidental. I'm sure it's not an a, Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think. I don't think, think. I don't think they decided. It's uh, pretty tenuous. Yeah. We're going to have uh, some guy that I don't want to push. With. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, except for Brett. Vince loved Brett. But, um... Vince Vaughn, of course. Vince yeah, Vince, Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn, <laughs> massive fan of Brett Hitman. Okay. But, like, knowing Hunter, I... Well, I guess it depends on who has the power. I don't even know who Vince... Tr- I don't know Hunter right now. Because yeah. so if it was Vince... It's up in the air. If it was Vince, he would do whatever he wanted. But now that it's a public... Who do, you know, yeah. there's a committee and shit. There's all kinds it's, of... It's a TV so, show. like, who do, who do we blame? And I think that's why Twitter's up in an uproar. Like, who right. do we blame? Yeah, that's I'm going to point the finger at somebody. you it's a committee? So that means Tony Khan's going to be Booker of the Year every year, then. You know what I mean? so. <laughs> because you can't award ten people. <laughs> you can't award the Netflix can't be, you sport can't be the, you can't ten, be the more years. <laughs> ten more years. Ten more years. Actually, the year. he's guaranteed to win because now Rossi's gone. Oh wow! So yeah, nobody's going to go. vote for Stardom. He's like, going to start his own thing, though. So. Oh yeah. I thought Iron was going to WWE, but maybe that's wrong. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Well, stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck knows? Because we signed it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rossi is exclusive to it's the insiders. <laughs> He's going to get us uh, my like, Can you imagine him sitting here, like, just being <laughs> so awkward? <laughs> in his fedora? <laughs> He'd fit right in. My favorite pictures are the ones of, like, Western girls going to Japan, taking a picture with Rossi, and he's just, like, <laughs> looking like E.T. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are like, <laughs> Sponsor. Yep, yep. DPW Bookers of the Year. Yeah. We're not allowed to name them, though. Yeah, they cannot be name. named. So you, Swerve, this is such a fucking cold pivot. <laughs> yeah, we really should interview Swerve here, but they're yeah, not, no. really good idea. Can we you, go back to talking about porn? You do Defy. <laughs> you do Defy. Would you say that's like, because you're from, yeah. from Washington. Yeah, yeah. So that's like your home. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's wicked. Were there any other indie pro- like promotions you wanted to do or like are compelled to do or do you feel like fuck it I'm just gonna work TV now I'm at a stage uh, and all that. I'm at a stage yeah I don't want to like be on a plane more than I have to I'm already on the plane a lot. It's well a now with collision do you yeah. have any bull shows? No no okay. no um, uh, but like if so what what is what is your what does your travel week look like in Asia? Oh uh, sometimes I'm uh, I leave Wednesday show up day of yeah day of. no shit I, I do a lot of day of but nice. if I'm like but like um. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> especially West Coast. Yeah, but, for life. yeah, but um, and then get home Thursday. But I have a lot of other business shit that I have going on, like music and studio, and, and like I get I'm booking acting gigs now. I just Ooh. read for a part and for an audition for General Hospital. General <laughs> Hospital. I, I submitted the audition. Are you allowed to say what role you were trying to get? Yes. I can't. No. But um, so I submitted for that, and because like um, I'm working with the Lucas Brothers. They're doing like this documentary thing. On uh, like me and Flash, Flash is like uncle's like um, uh, Love Buck Starsky, who's like created the word hip hop. Yeah, and wow. he has all this lineage. His, his like Godfather is like uh, LL Cool J and stuff. So he has a big story. And he was he wrote on um, Donda with Kanye West when they were in like the Mercedes Benz arena when he rented that out. So my producer. Oh, with the house in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we did it. So they, he worked on that whole project. So he that's a documentary. But he got let go from the Kanye West uh, circle of writers and project. Probably the same the time, Probably Probably like, I got I got fired. Oh, the really? It was the same time I got let go. So we were in the same like kind of like spiraling, yeah. like you know, uh, we were kind of like like where do we go? What do we do? And like um, the buddy of ours, uh, Blake Riccardi, he does like the C four energy stuff. So like at the time when I met him, oh, yeah. he was doing like C four with like Bianca Belair and Roman. They were shooting all those things there. So I met him there, and I was like, that was my only contact in LA, and I was like, hey. Um, I just gotta let go. I'm trying to do this, this, that, that, that. And he's like, "Well, come out to LA for a couple of weeks, and um, let's uh, get you meeting some people." So Based. came out there, met Flash, took him to a GCW show, and he met X Pac. Whoa! And he, and he marked out like instantly. He's like, "Oh my god!" I used to like, but I'm like, dude, you were in the studios with like, like Travis Scott it's, and yeah, like, it's like and Kanye West. And you don't like, think about it when you're already in that industry, yeah. but then you think about the people that it's like, like oh, I thought this guy was cool yeah. when I was a kid. I'm like, you go to Chris Brown's house like all the time, so like he's in that echelon of like just yeah. meeting all those people yeah. and knowing them. So, but like he marked out just like meeting X Pac in the back alley of like this building, this <laughs> like, and so ever since then we were just like, all right, I know exactly what to do. And then the next night we made big pressure with profit. And then, so that's so the Lucas brothers, they're two twin brothers that used to do comedy back in the day. They had a, a, um, 
a special on HBO. They had they done a couple stand ups. They they got they got two uh, they got Oscars for um, Judas and the Black Messiah. Oh, shit. Um, so they won, yeah. uh, so they won their Oscars and they kind of just like backed off of Hollywood for a while for like the last two three years. So Flash knows them guys. He brings them to see Full Gear. I bleed all over the place. They're like, this is cinema. Oh, man. This is cinema. This is We're cinema. back. Keith. So, <laughs> so Keith Lucas was like, yo, I want to do a documentary on y'all. And like, we haven't done a project in like two, three years. So like, we would love to do something on it. So like, that's crazy, um, so World's End, they came through with their camera crew. I got them clearance to shoot all this stuff. And then they're working with Mansuri. Shout out Mike Mansuri and like the rest of the They are working with me. <laughs> you know. Not yet. <laughs> So um, they're working with all these guys and getting footage, and then like we're shooting more stuff. Then we're shooting. The, I gotta go to the South by Southwest in March to the film documentary thing with them. And we're gonna walk the red carpet. We're gonna do. Hopefully, at some point when the really starts cooking and all that stuff, we'll do um, our late night Jimmy Fallon and stuff. It's like it's it's really tapped into like this other side. Dang, that's shit. crazy. You left the biggest yeah. wrestling company in the world. <laughs> And then you became a big star. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. And there's times I'm like, what is happening right now? I, did, I went to the Grammys with those guys, that's like, sick. like literally with Team Kanye. But like, that's what that's where I really started seeing like this other side of fame is really weird. I'm not I'm not talking about I'm famous, but like just seeing it in like a like in the backstage. The people of who like, are in that, yeah. But exactly. like the the thing is, it's like it's like you're seeing like oh. Everybody like who's dressed like that, and everybody's following around, mm-hmm. crowding, trying to get this like photo with this person, and it's like really you see the um, cloud it's of the clout game. Yeah, yeah. that's Ooh, why we're almost like, but this is such a different fucking. Vibe. It's a different world. There's like there's like a whole nother like echelon. So, but like I'm like, who is that? I'm like, oh, that's the that's the um so and so publicist to so and so. I'm like, well, here where's so and so? So it's like, where's the star? It's not the star that's like getting no, the fame. No, we want to talk it's to the, the publicist. It's, it's the level of below. Yeah. I'm like, that's a lot of power for someone that much fame to give other person that works for them that kind of power of fame. They have, I'm like, that's crazy to me. So seeing that, but like, it's just a whole nother thing. I'm that makes sense to me because I don't yeah. like to do work. Right. So I would rather just pay someone else to do it. You know what I mean? But like, but the person you're paying, they have fame now. Because mm-hmm. of you, because other people paying them to, to do yeah. your work. Yeah. I know what you that, mean. Like that extension of that kind of thing is really wild to I see. Just think it. It's cre- like you're delegating your power. I think yeah. <laughs> creative types are very lazy when it comes to anything they're not passionate about. For yeah. sure, you know what I mean. The like, very few. That's why it's very rare. It's very like interesting to see like a J Cole who's very just hands on on everything. That wants He's, to be involved in everything. He wants aspect that. He does it, the beat yeah. making. He does the writing. He does his own thing. Like I'm pretty sure he has like agents and all these other guys that like do those things like book a venue book of this a book of that or get a tour set up but it, but he has an agency to do that but he's the one that's on hand doing all that stuff not like the the extension of j cole it's like, gonna, no, be, it's it's gonna be exhausting yeah, <laughs> especially like at the level he's up because yeah he's, he's literally it's kind of like michael jackson because he would hear it in his mind and then <laughs> try to tell somebody over the phone yeah. exactly because he didn't know he didn't know how to write he doesn't music. know yeah. he couldn't play the guitar yeah so yeah. he was like alright so well, I went but the fact that he does it all himself and that's when I really started understanding like okay you gotta build a team you gotta make a machine oh yeah absolutely the machine is what powers like a Drake like it's not Drake hands on it's a company you become a company you're the CEO of a company it's a brand it's like Drake is Pepsi and all these other elements make up Pepsi and make up Drake. Uh, actually, Drake mm. is Sprite. Have you not seen the commercial? <laughs> His face came His apart. He comes apart like a fucking Gundam. Like it's, uh, <laughs> disassembling. So you can enter him and, and ride him around. Yeah, well, he's like, how do I make another album? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but that, co- like, that, um, so that documentary thing, like, like, Kid Cudi's getting a, they, they're writing something with Kid Cudi's horror movie. I, what? I have, yeah. The Kid he's Cudi. writing a movie? Yeah. It's a horror movie. Really? So it's been written about on like some of these forums and shit, but like they have an in on that. I'm their manager and their thing, their uh, guy at UTA is sending me like, oh, we have a script reading for you. You can send it in on three days. I'm like, okay. So it's like, funny how the. So now I, now I take a tripod and a light with me. Cause like I might have to just do an audition in my hotel. The room. turnaround for those yeah, things are so yeah, yeah. fast. They're fast. And so I'm like, oh, I've been wow. getting um, the same thing as you. As soon as I got fired, I'm like, well, let me try and do a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, so, yeah. Um, that's how I got into the voice acting thing. 
Right. And uh, when I get an audition for a voice acting thing, I got one last week. And uh, they were like, we need it Saturday. And I was like, well, I'm about to leave for Poland, like, right yeah. now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I, gotta, I had to come, I had to do TV. I'm like, there's no way I'm like. I, there's I, no I, way I can get this in. Learn, uh, and I had to get my dialogue for my promo live in the ring. I'm like, Jeez. I don't want to learn another, like, another page thing, of yeah. dialogue. Let me do this in the morning, like, before, like, whatever. So I'm learning that process. Which that also process. I'm learning you don't need to take every uh, audition basically like and they, this they say as much in the emails they're like don't worry if you can't do it this is just we, you know it's a word uh, scatter shot right but now but you want to because our you want to because you feel like it's especially to. as wrestlers who are so desperate for opportunities we want to take every fucking thing everything yeah so and, everything comes and up and in our DNA we're so used to like nailing it one time you know, yes like we, we have to get it right the first time, which you don't in Hollywood. You could just like, oh, I can just do yeah, it I can do this all day. <laughs> I can do it this way, this way, that way, this, this, that. Like, I just came off a set with um, doing Stiletto, which is coming out. They just started advertising that on social media. Um, now I'm working with Sam Gonzalez and Matt Hirsch. Matt Hirsch put me on from the movie I did, uh, um, uh, Night of the Missing, that just came out. Thanks, Miss Kate Fade. So, but like, now Sam Gonzalez booked uh, this dude Blackheart um, Steve Blackheart who's best friends with James Gunn so he's I'm working oh, shit. he's the, one of the so guys now you're gonna be in DC so, let's go dude, you need to take fucking you need to become the new Black Adam and finish the rock story oh I'm not shaving my head <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> but I will be I would love to if like if James Gunn hearing this and Blackheart if you can who's, who's your, your, uh, James Gunn watches our streams he's, yeah he's, he's a big fan tremendous he's a subscriber, he's a subscriber. Who, if, who, if you okay James Gunn would, is DC would, now right who would you be yes. in DC in DC I'm gonna be freaking um uh, static shock. No! Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah. you'd be static. You, you know, adult I static. Static shock. You know, static you shock. Be is, static static shock is a boy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be the young. You're too big I, now. <laughs> yeah, I'm. My, na- my name's Miles. I'm 17 yeah, years old. Yeah, freshman <laughs> in high school. <laughs> You see, like, well, look, look at Spider Man. Like, Toby, like, you see Flash Thompson in that? That was, that a, was a grown ago. ass man. That was a long That time was a ago. grown. He punched a locker and dented it. That's a grown man. I mean, <laughs> Toby was fucking 30 years old. Yeah, <laughs> That's he, what I'm saying. He looked it. He, he looked it. The new one, though. Donald Glover still looks like 20. That's true, actually. Yeah, no, he's starting to look his age a little bit. Hey, have no, you seen have I saw you seen, pictures from I, I just started Mr. Mr. Did you see the clips of that? No. It kind of looks really looks Kino, yeah. yeah. It's really no. It, 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 I feel like I'm watching Atlanta. Yeah, like uh, it, it's still shot. Like I, I I've only seen one scene, and it's like a really it's like a marriage story argument. Okay, it's like, actually pretty good. I, I watched the first episode. Is, it, yeah, it's good. It's, I, yeah, it's like 58 minutes every episode. I think I it's, think it's you really, might like it. Really, I it's, think it's actually like really it. good. I just hate that it's called Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It works though. I just I almost wish they just did their own. You thing. don't you don't hate that he booked himself with an Asian woman. <laughs> I was like, I was, <laughs> you listen to his music. <laughs> the signs uh, have been there. What is it? Uh, what the fuck is that line? I'm talking about uh, uh, each and every day. <laughs> Asian girls <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> UCLA. <laughs> um, I remember actually when I started each listening. Old. Greetings, Greetings from, from Poland. Poland. Were you at the show? Kurwa, kurwa. Yeah. Um, can you? Can you? I was you, there. You, oh can you, can I shouted at him. I was there. You ignored me, you bitch. Okay, so actually, uh, and before I get into this, I just want to disavow uh, Childish Gambino's uh, fucking fetish. <laughs> but let's move on to Poland. Um, people were so pissed at us that we charged for pictures. <laughs> they looked at us like we had three fucking heads. They looked at us like we were Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, you greedy how much, fucks. How much were you trying to charge? Um, um, so $10, which is 40 scoops. Sc- which Effie told, Effie told us this. Okay, so we were originally charging 25 for a shirt, um, 10, 15 for an 8x10, a signed autograph 8x10, and 5 for a picture. And oh, Effie's, you pigs. And, <laughs> <laughs> and Effie said, yeah, Effie bigger. said, you what are you doing, you idiots? You're cutting us. <laughs> You're trying to drive us out of business. Raise those fucking prices. You need to adjust for inflation. And I was like, oh yeah, true. Because I was going based on the prices I saw when I was on the Indies six years ago. <laughs> so we raised them up a little bit. And lo and behold, we raised them just in time to go to a nation with a much lower GDP than the United States. That's what it was like. Oh, shit. My death scenes. How long did it take? Uh, 40 minutes. Oh, sick. Can you show the... the I cannot. Oh, you you cannot. Oh, that's an NBA? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, well, you look like... Who's that guy in Mortal Kombat with, with one? Kano. 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 He yeah. looks like Kano. He looks like Black Kano. Of yeah. him with his face ripped 30, 40 off. minutes of doing the makeup. 
And then they like that's pretty fast. Honestly. Very. I was like, I thought I was gonna be here for like. Have hours. you ever have you ever watched? Um, I used she to could be, be a, money. Like she can be up to six hours. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, Ooh. I'm like, are we doing like uh, how, what's the makeup here? Are we doing like uh, Batista, like <laughs> like you know, full body drag. Yeah. yeah. Or are we doing, like, am I about to look like a robot or what? Black Kano. You hear horror stories from movies black where guys will have to fuck. Blano. Blano. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I drink Blano every night. Um, I don't know what that was supposed to be. <laughs> every night? I, I, if I did, I wouldn't be here. Um, you hear, what is that? Was it, are you showing us tea about your coworkers now? Oh, oh, ex-coworkers. Former coworker. <laughs> Good God. We can't, no, we, no comment. I'll but show, but show Jay, Jay, Jay Demo. I'll enjoy this. <laughs> You'll enjoy it. <laughs> We support all wrestlers here. That's awesome. Good work. Good work. Good, good, good. Good work. Honestly, good work. Good top good top good five work. wrestler actors. Oh. Batista's Roddy, number one. Roddy Piper. No. Batista's number Roddy one. Piper's number one. Batista's range. Batista's is really right good right now. Batista's right. in Dune. Shut up. You're done. Batista's really good. Terry Funk and Rudolph. Batista was really good in um, all what, of the, the, knock at the Knock at the Cat. Uh, what is it? Knock at the Cabin? I didn't watch that. It's a. Uh, it was okay. Just cool. But he was really good. He was good. He was really. I like good. him in. I liked him in a uh, Blade Runner. He was good. He was good. In Blade that Runner. that scene alone was like, uh, I'm sold. That Kurt Angle and Shark Native was uh, was pretty. Cool. <laughs> wait, here's the thing. Shawn Michaels. Jericho and, uh, in uh, uh, the Terrifier. Wait, do you count every wrestler that's ever been in a movie? Shawn Michaels <laughs> in that shitty Avengers parody movie. Have you seen that? Where he plays the Hulk, but they didn't do all of his makeup. It's just like smudges. Yeah, but you said Glass Onion was good. I didn't see Glass Onion. Glass Onion was really good. He was pretty good. I'm not a Peacemaker fan. I don't. Um, oh, I thought the, Peacemaker was. So I funny. thought Peacemaker was good. I don't get. They the caught humor. me at the dance. You know what I mean? I, was like, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't get the humor. Well, I don't, I don't, no. You know why I like it? Because I think the Peacemaker character is a lot like John. <laughs> Your close personal friend. My close personal friend who I've had a match with. with. Yeah, yeah, I've worked him. Who uh, who buried me to you? <laughs> 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 so me and uh, Dijak are calling our match with uh, John Cena. Uh, if you guys hold in the longest yard, that's, guys, how, that's how a white man runs the ball. <laughs> when, when he was racist. <laughs> so me and Dijak are calling our match with Cena in Riddle, and uh, Mansoor walks by and he like pops his head in and he's like, uh, no, "Sorry to interrupt. Like, excuse me, sir. Uh, Mansoor, nice to meet you. You know, shaking hands." Yeah. And uh, John's like, "John." And uh, he walks away. And then he looks at us having no idea our relationship to Van Sorn. He goes... <laughs> Did I do like, something wrong? We're like, yeah, what a scumbag. I hate that guy. I was in my gear. So it's not like he thought I was a fucking stagehand like uh, Shane probably did. <laughs> in Saudi when I pissed in his locker room. Oh, yeah. Shout out Alan Copeland on uh, Percy Jackson, too. What is it with you and uh, going into the wrong oh, yeah, bathroom yeah, before shows? You've never heard this story, have you? Mancer. You know, do you know about my Shane McMahon story? Yes, I have. Have you heard? You told it on my show. Have I? Have I? You did. Uh, yeah, that was the first have time. Have you told everybody the update have to I this? Have I told you the TNA story that just happened? Oh God, no. All right. So Shane McMahon's on TNA? No. <laughs> would be based. <laughs> 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 um, it's another. Okay, so I gotta take a shit at TNA. As he does. So I asked, "Where's the bathroom?" It's a long, a long, a long, long, a long, (laughs) it's a long, a long hallway where it's just pipe and drape, long curtains. Oh my God. And it's very dark. So I'm looking through the bathroom. I'm trying to find the opening and I see a door and I look and I see, is this, is this the bathroom? And there's a sign to the left and it says electrical closet. Okay. Not the bathroom. Keep walking. I find another room. There's light coming out of it. I say, this must be the bathroom. So I go in and sure enough. It's the bathroom. There's stalls. Same oh, bathroom. But there's no urinals. So it's like 15 stalls. I'm like, oh, this is a lot of stalls. This must be like, have you ever been to one of those gender neutral oh, bathrooms where people, men you're and West women. Coast, you're a West Coast guy. Men and women wash their hands oh, together. This isn't, this isn't Toronto. What are we doing? <laughs> no, it was Orlando, Florida. But I thought, you know, maybe this is a progressive. We're known. not there yet. You should have known. So um, I, 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 you know, I dump the contents of my breakfast. And then I wash my hands. And <laughs> as I'm washing my hands... Um, a female enters, a female who works in the company and is in a very important position in the company. Dixie! <laughs> That's what I said! <laughs> what it is. And she says, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, darling. And I'm like, no, 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 it's, it's like a gender neutral bathroom. And she leaves, comes back and says, no, this is the women's bathroom. <laughs> and I, I just sprint out. 
I'm like, I'm so sorry. Sure enough, I look, there's the sign. It says, women's restroom. And then I go, <laughs> <laughs> send me that. What? what? Send me that. Let me see, let me see. We've got side yeah, memes on the screen. Send me that. This is very bad radio, but. You're not, what are you trying not to show the camera? No, no, it's Jordan Grace, guys. Come on. <laughs> ah! She's in a very <laughs> high place right now. Very yeah. high position. Or Kelly Kelly. One of the two. It was, it was, it was actually Kelly Kelly. <laughs> Barbara Blank? Spoiler alert. Barbie Blank? Maybe the best. It's a great name. How is that not her man, name? That is, I'm like, yo, son. Barbie what Blank. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Yeah. Um, you know Richie, uh, Ricky the Dragon, and Steamboat's real name? Richie's the son. Uh, uh, Dick Blood. Dick Blood. What? Dick Blood. Yeah. Richard Dick Blood. Richard Dick Blood. Blood. Shout out to Dick Blood. Shout out to Dick That's Blood. That's beautiful. Um, speaking of the Divas, mm. guess who's in my DMs? Congratulating me on my (laughs) summer crush. Yes. Summer Ray hit me up in the DMs and says, this really made my day. Yeah. Thanks for this. And I was like, oh, no, thank you, queen. I want to try. Now we need to try. I was on the cruise with her. With Summer Ray? She was on the cruise? She was on the cruise. Oh, that's great. Shout out to Summer Ray. She just followed me back. Does she work at all? Or is she? Uh, She didn't work at Matt. She probably does signings, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely signings and stuff going on. I'm saying we should, like, pop more divas. Like, I should do fucking Oksana's moves. <laughs> Bring her What's on Oksana's, Oksana's fucking famous spine buster. She just did a spine buster. <laughs> you say shout out to Oksana. Shout dude. out to Oksana. Not Arn Anderson or anybody. So else. I had the perfect timing because I did it at Gay Brunch and I said shout out to Summer Rae. shouted it. And, and then, then uh, the commentator did the perfect job and knew exactly what it was. It was Summer Crush! Summer crush. And I was like, yes, this is perfect. Oh yeah, true. Northern Lights, Alicia Fox. Yeah, that's true. You do a Northern Lights. The problem is... Whenever you... you This is horrible radio. Wait, Can oh, you read this aloud? Yeah. Are you getting, are you? Give me some of that. What is, is there news? Is <laughs> <laughs> <What's> happening live? <laughs> and in the group chat, check, check the group chat. Talk while I read this. Sorry. Yeah. Talk it's about show, yourself. Show swirl. Show me. Um, just, just Manny, a, Manny does a, freaking out. I'm a dirt sheet guy. Manny does uh <laughs> put it out there. Manny does a Northern Lights, but um he always does it in um like in the heat. He does it in the same spot every time, <laughs> so he can't really say. That's good. It's so over. That's Looney Tunes. It's so over. Wait, is it? I can't say anything, obviously. Uh, yeah. No, it's mostly just this. It's because he'll never complain, but he'll moan to us for four hours. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is Stay huh? tuned. <laughs> 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 I just sidetracked by four different conversations. Are we looking at Looney Tunes porn? Yeah, we're looking at Looney Tunes porn. No, no, Manny, when you see Manny put on the goggles, he'll be, he'll be watching his Looney Tunes I'll be looking porn. at Lola Bunny. Why'd they make Lola Bunny hot? Uh, they unhotted her in the new Space Jam. No butt. Girl next door hot. She got no butt? No. But. This, is, this is what happened. Okay. She became more attractive to you because she has BPD. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Slow your fucking roll. <laughs> You're saying that she they gave her... Borderline personality disorder, <laughs> yes. and that makes her more attractive to me. Yes, that does make sense. I'm gonna start tracks. I haven't seen you for a while. Where's the lie? <laughs> Where's the lie, folks? <laughs> so, what movie do you think made every generation furries? Because I think it started with Robin Hood. Robin Hood. The Disney Robin. Definitely Hood. Robin Hood. You know what a furry is, obviously. Yeah, surely. No. No. <gasps> I'm not Luke. Wow. Oh, you didn't know? Okay. Oh, All right, chap. What are, how, do we even... how do we explain furries to swerve? This is my last story because I gotta get home. I gotta get yeah. ready to fly. Now. That's fine. Um, we have any questions that we need to swerve to answer before, <laughs> before we tell them about swerve? <laughs> we, we've spent a long time not asking them questions. We can't go all the way to the beginning. Okay, so furry is you know an anthropomorphic human animal like a uh, Fet- fetish. It is a fetish. Okay, so but it, it's also not a fetish. It's not bestiality. It's not bestiality because. They are people. <laughs> no, but they're not. They're they're animals with human physiology. But sometimes, you never, but you sometimes never a pig. They are some, just as smart. No, sometimes they have uh, the the penises and the genitals of the animal that they represent. But only when it's a gimmick, like cats barbed dicks yeah. or a ducks corkscrew penis. Yeah. Corkscrew penis or, or, a, or a pig's 
corkscrew so paint. Surely, paint surely you've seen people dressed up as animals, like a dog, smiling, right? Like, no. You know, like a mascot. You ne- I mean, at, uh, at a basketball game or whatever? No, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not what we mean. Hold on. Let me There's got to be furries in, Brennan in Seattle. Brennan Williams furries. Yeah, you can find it pretty easily. <laughs> why, this, are you, why, why are you searching? I'm going to do this. Is, yeah. Look at this. Yeah. This is what we're talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Right. I know what those are. This a is Atari Ray. Not like Jim Henson puppet? No. Okay. That's Brennan. Jesus, Brennan. What? The homies. They, they go to conventions. They're friendly. <laughs> They're friendly. Yes. Yeah, they really like Especially it. Especially to each other. Yeah. They like it when you rub behind their ears. <laughs> no, they're actually those ones are actually very famous furries because I post that picture often. And uh, whenever I post it, the uh, people on Twitter are like, hey, that's such and such. That's uh, that's Bad Wolf. Uh, <laughs> Bad Wolf 69. <laughs> 69. <laughs> Hold on. The O but their humanoid is on their 1,000-year-old dragon kind of coat. I disagree. I disagree with that. I completely disagree. No, it's, totally different. it's different. Because, because it's not... It, that would be like saying, oh, I'm masturbating to a por- pornographic depiction of an actual animal, but it's okay because in their soul, they're human. Yeah. That's different. This is CPT, animal, Joe, thank you for subscribing with Prime. Any of you can subscribe with Prime for free. Cock and penis torture Joe? Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is like... It, it, it's a human... In the, it, it's everything but like... How do I explain it's it? A, it's, well, no. Okay. If you're attracted... Like Rouge the Bat. Bats don't have titties. Yeah. But Rouge the Bat from Sonic has titties. If you're attracted to a dog, a dog that is a dog, it is completely different than being attracted to a me with a dog's face and <laughs> ears. <laughs> It's still pretty weird. It's so weird. Yes, but it's not. But average. it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same because the thousand-year-old dragon argument is still a little girl. Right. They look like a little girl. They still look like a little so girl. So you don't look like a dog. I don't look like a dog. You're I look just, like me. You're just, but with the dog's with face. With the dog's face. Right. And, and you're still you, as uh, a person. Yes, as a human being. You went to the toilet at the best possible time. So it's not. <laughs> I kind of fucking hate you. For All right, that. chat. We got to get Swerve out of here. Yeah, so Swerve. A, um, Effie. Effie. Hey. Thank you so much. Do you have any do you have any last minute questions for Swerve before he goes back to being a big star? If he forgives you. He forgives me for Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What does he forgive me do? for? What did we do? What I've given him the world. <laughs> Effie, you gave him everything. I gave him everything. Brennan gave you his anal virginity. <laughs> They've all just said multiple times. Effie for Well, that's probably what they told him. Uh, yeah. he, he probably told him to say, but I'm I'm confused. Because there's nothing to forgive. There's nothing to forgive. And certainly nothing to forget. <laughs> I'll never forget. He thinks about it every night. I think about it every night before I go to bed. I'm your butt's never been cleaner. Anthony Turtles, don't ever ask that again. <laughs> what was your favorite pet? <laughs> we want stupid questions. <laughs> Only dumb questions. Only dumb, oddly dumb. specific dumb. questions. Dumb, dumb. Dumb, Don't ask anything about... Um, uh, where do you get all your ideas from? <laughs> <laughs> While we're waiting for, for, for uh, the chat questions... Swerve, so any uh, things you're looking forward to this year? Oh, yeah. Inside the ring. We, we talked about outside the ring. Inside the ring. Inside the ring we're looking forward to. I mean, like, next month, man, like, it's going to be awesome. Huge. Um, Revolution's coming up, which is two years to the day that I signed with AEW. Woo! Two years. It's been like, two years. Two years since being in AEW. We're I've getting a lot. We're getting old. It's going to be, the next couple months is going to be interesting. Just Ooh. keep, just keep watching. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> sure. If the there's ever a time to start watching the product, or if you haven't, or if you've fallen out and you need, need to weave back in, whatever your the thing is, start now because the things are moving. The way the business is going right now is just everything's just like spinning right now. Every six months. Every, yeah, every, yeah, yeah, yeah. every six days. Something, <laughs> there's something new. Yeah, this last week's been a bit crazy. Yeah, yeah this weekend <laughs> has been nuts. Or so, shattering. Like it doesn't matter. Like if you like. Like the tribalism bullshit. No, like I watch everything, so y'all should watch everything. Like literally, stop go, with go the tribal. Me. I mean, we're not WWE yeah. you guys anymore. So Every everybody like go, we're we are not joined in unison because yeah, you go go to everything. Go I still, to everything. I still <laughs> get great uh, residuals, which is which has worked out great for me. For um, what your music? For the uh, well, a lot of the stuff that I featured in, but also the for some reason the little card game that was online. Oh, the card I still game. Still get like does. lots of money for that. Yeah. Oh, shit. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, the card game is fucking awesome. Well, it gives us a lot of money. Yeah, Gavin Zemo, thanks for subscribing. Swerve, I, stopped, I stopped getting money for that. Now. Swerve, what's your favorite Great Kali match? Asks one of our <laughs> that, That's a good question. Great question. That's what everybody wants to know. There's only one right answer. Oh. 
Incorrect. Punjabi is prison. Is that the one where he raises his I was about to say, I was about the one where he squeezes a uh, raise head. Oh, <laughs> when he pops, yeah, that's yeah, a good he one. He pops a raise head. <laughs> what's, what, what's your favorite stupid wrestling move? Stupid wrestling move? Yeah. Like something oh. probably that makes no sense. Oh, like the overdrive. Oh, man. There's a lot. Like the over- internet is really high on the overdrive. Would you mind hitting it on Hangman and Wednesday? I, t- <laughs> I, mean, I, t- I took it from MVP. I'm like, yes! This, yeah. this is the only guy that can do this well. Yes. <laughs> He's so big. Um, stupid, like... I just stupid Assassination. <laughs> Have you ever seen Byron Saxon's finish? Did he ever go over? Sort of, ever seen it? No. I'll show it to you right now. I want to get a live reaction. <laughs> it's called the sex sextination. <laughs> sextination. And it looks like this. Oh, baby. That's a finish. Let's go. You know what I hate? I hate tag matches finish when both guys are still standing in the corners. I'm like, you idiot! <laughs> it's Trend. like, no one will care. I, I remember being told this before. Hold on. Like, and it, it, by a WWE producer, no one will care. And then everybody got mad, especially Vince. Obviously, <laughs> obviously. Why wouldn't you do it? Obviously, none of, nobody else in that match thought that was going to be the finish. Yeah. <laughs> they saw him. They were like, surely he'll kick out. Oh, like, shit. We, like, like, look where we've got, gone to now. Like, Because that was NXT. Yeah. Like, Braun Breaker's throwing people in the air. Oh, catching on the cutter. In that cutter. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like that. <laughs> oh, man, the things they didn't let him do. Shriana, thanks for the bits. His Dijak is sub now because he got blindfolded. Oh. He's always been. He's always been. He's so. always been. <laughs> that might have been the stupidest move I've ever seen that I loved. <laughs> Which one? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 where did he this? go? <laughs> Renegade, his, thanks for his support. hands weren't trying to do this. You know, they, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, he couldn't uh, find he couldn't find his face because he couldn't he see. Couldn't find his face. I wish he would have put like the mitts on him too. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no! Uh, no! Uh, <laughs> Uh, Swerve, Dr. Ryan asked if you bought a zoo like they did in We Bought a Zoo, do you think you could keep it going? <laughs> oh, God, no. I couldn't, I couldn't keep my pig. Damn, Damn really? shit, you had a pig. I had a pig. Yeah, I remember the pig. How yeah. big did it get? He got like 150. They, 150 so they just turned into a real pig. So turned, I'm like, <laughs> micro pig. So it'd be a b- bill of goods. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> like, they turned into a pig. pig. Um, turned to a, uh, he turned into swine. Swine. A swine. A sow. A poor sow. <laughs> It turned into a hog. Swerve, do you think you could hit a shoot worm on someone? <laughs> hit someone with a shoot worm? With a yeah, shoot, yeah. shoot worm. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You think you got somebody out You think you can hit him with your worm? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Swerve. He's very uncomfortable right now. Swerve. I'm enjoying this a lot. You <laughs> must choose one of these shirts to wear at um, your... Uh, Let's say daughter's high school graduation. <laughs> hey yo. The the APA always pounding ass <laughs> shirt. The Rikishi put a little ass on it or back that ass up shirt where there's like a big picture of his ass on the back. <laughs> or the Val Venus, I am cocked, locked, and loaded shirt. Rikish all day. <laughs> back oh, that ass up. Put a little ass, ass on it. <laughs> That's like a beach shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I cut that shit to a tank tank. That's like a B shirt, dude. On that note, Swerve, thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you so much Where are you? Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to put yourself over any more than everybody already knows who you are, but go ahead. We always have everybody. Where can they find you? Where are you going Swerve to be? Swerve Confident at? on all social media. Uh, got an album out. Please listen to it. It's listen to dope. it. I got Benny the Butcher on it, man. That dude's like Grammy uh, nominated, I would say. Uh, Swerve the Realist, You Couldn't Be Me. I uh, just performed on... Uh, I just performed an hour set on the Jericho Cruise and, like, killed it. Which looks exhausting, by the way, because you were fucking going hard as shit. It was, yeah. it was sunny, right? It was Jesus 4 Christ. o'clock, so, like, sun yeah. is, like, so, oh, yeah. Not to tangent as we were about to let you go, yeah. but we went to a Death Grips concert um, okay. uh, a couple of months ago now, and we were, like, shocked yeah. by how MC Ride is able to just go yeah. for an hour straight no break, That's song hard. to song, screaming, screaming his screaming. freaking head off, like, like no ginger, <laughs> like no, no tea. Yeah, like, a, <laughs> like a, I did like some like, honey. Some nice, yeah. <laughs> so I like had like um, Teezy and like 
Flash. So I was like, oh, he got two songs. I can go back, change, and order <laughs> up, and like come back on stage with a new shirt, new pants, or whatever. Tease and can rotate. Taylor Swift. Like, no, like <laughs> that was and that was an hour set. I'm like, man, like, like so somebody like uh like I went to a Tyler Creator and he did like an hour That's and a half. Ooh. Yeah, and like. Was that uh, my, my F- song, no, no that features F- coming up and everything? Was that the Camp Plug No, no, it was Orlando. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. it was like kind of maybe a couple months after uh, "Call Me When You Get Lost." Oh, came out, so the set was amazing. But like, it's just just him. He's a one man show. Like yep. he had two stages too. Jeez. Like on the other side, and he's he, like he's big on production too. With huge, those shows too. amazing. Probably with the best like rap concert like show I've seen. Rap, like, making a lot a of rap is fucking like, tough. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. it's hard. Like yeah. like. Unless you have like a stage and like um, like set and lights and really like like a Travis Scott can just like make a spaceship appear, at the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> start shooting like, fire into yeah, the ground, yeah, like a, like a, a crater crash lands in the middle of SoFi <laughs> Stadium, and like you know now I wrap it in the crater of a moon. I'm like that, that yeah, like that's a rap. That's not even a, that's beyond rap show. That's like just like. That's just beyond that. That's so, a, yeah, that's but like, a, you're, it's just you on a stage with a microphone, and you have like some smoke, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> some smoke. <laughs> shit's, shit's our entrance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In Poland, they were giving guys pyro, and we we're like, we have pyro, right? And they were like, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. We've got the concussion noise. <laughs> Boom! Bah! <laughs> like, Thanks, guys. This guy going. Bah! <laughs> In Polish. Bushki. <laughs> Bushki. <laughs> But yeah, like that was a great show. But like uh, other than that, like man, uh, Swerve City Podcast, subscribe, man. We just uh, had Dominic Wilkins on. Oh, like NBA Hall of Famer oh, Dominic sick. Wilkins That's went sick. to his house in Atlanta, let us in. Oh, the Santa oh, race. Oh, Tell shit. us what his house was like. Oh, freaking huge! Oh, he has a like, golf course, pool next to a full basketball court in oh, the backyard. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, like on the way out, like he, he was super awesome. And I was like. Maybe next time I come to Atlanta, I'm gonna see you on that court. He's like, any day. <laughs> I'm like, and he was dead serious. <laughs> like one of the top 75 basketball players of all time. He's like, I will destroy you. He's like 15 you. in points scoring of all time. Let's I'm like, Jesus I'm like, yeah, let's go. But so we just had that. Um, Thursday we got uh, Mackenzie Mitchell coming on the podcast. Oh shit! Yeah, we got some big. We got a big one coming. Um, next couple months we're trying to lock it down. If that happens, oh my god. I'll mark out huge for that one. So things are popping, moving. Uh, check out Stiletto when it comes out. It just got announced the posters out there. Um, uh, check out Night of the Missing. That's on Amazon. You ran it for three dollars. Watch that. And three dollars. That's a that's it's a bargain. That's it's less a than bargain. a subscription, but and, you should subscribe anyway. Yeah. <laughs> And All you Santi writers, please subscribe. Yeah. It's my birthday. It's, it's my birthday. birthday subscribe. Santi. Subscribe Santi. for my birthday, Santi. It's Brennan's birthday. It's my birthday, Santi. Wish me a happy birthday. Wish me a happy birthday. I'm like, oh, that's why I'm here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this was your gift. This why was the my, my gift. Why is this your presence? Yeah, I'm like, oh, this is a good time to book me for you. Like, I, got, I, got, I got an hour. I got some hours. I got a couple hours. Yeah, a couple you get lots of happy birthdays. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we do. We do appreciate that you came. Dude, after the like the first. Whoa! Oh, thank you, Satchel. Twenty-two ones. Thank you. Thank you, dude. We appreciate that quite a bit. I didn't. I didn't mean it. But I watched the first stream y'all did when y'all like uh, got let go and all that. And oh, I was yeah. like, I was like, this is gold. I can't wait to come back. <laughs> thank you. See my guys. Thank you. Because I'm like, I didn't. I'm like, I do miss them so much. I miss you. <laughs> like, like, and you're right here. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's it is crazy because like we are like none of us move. Right, <laughs> but we, but well, we like, never we, we just never busy. see each other because yeah. we're just always on different. It's just travel and kids and like yeah, and it's hard because when you travel so much for work, it's hard to justify your family spending too much time not with them. You yeah. know what I mean? And I always feel kind of guilty. Somebody gets neglected somewhere. Exactly. Which is why he always just tries to take my kids. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm like, I'm begging his wife to get them Disney passes oh, so yeah. we can just all go to Disneyland together. You just want more excuses to go to Disneyland? Because, no, because he doesn't want to go to Disney with his wife and daughter. No, it's because like, <laughs> my daughter is like a year old, so we yeah, should not going to remember. She's not going to appreciate it for It doesn't matter if we go to Disney or the fucking local dump. She's going to have a good time. Yeah. So I want to yeah. go, but I want to make sure Mom somebody takes his kid to the yeah. local dump. Oh you heard God, that? Oh, wow. But it's true. <laughs> look it's at that wrong. garbage. Oh, wow. like, my kid, my, my oldest is 14. So Jeez, like, we're literally, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah, so I'm like, like we're getting into the driving stage of mm. life. And so like now I'm like, okay, I got you for a week in, uh, in Florida. We got to do stuff. We got to like, yeah. but she's like, yeah. but she also gets to teenage 
uh, angst where she's just like, I just want to just say. Uh, oh, she's going to start hitting you soon. I'm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm worried. I remember being yeah, there. Yeah, it's there. I'm there. But both of them, like, uh, I got 14 Well, they're time. actually teenagers. I'm pre teenagers yeah. because uh, yeah. my oldest is nine. And she's starting like to get a little, a little, yeah. a little sassy, and I'm like, yeah. I don't know how to deal with this because <laughs> I can, if I approach you with facts and logic, no, that's the worst thing. It doesn't do. work. That's the it worst does, thing. It doesn't do. work because oh. she's what just gonna that, cry and that, scream. What does that do about my feelings? <laughs> this is, yeah, it's like, listen, I, I can, like, I'll tell her, like, listen, you can't talk to your. You can't, can't be a robot with your children. No, uh, yeah, because I want to be, just, I want to be like Colby. You can't talk to mommy like that. That's not polite. You can't do that. She's just telling you what to do. This is not a conversation. <laughs> Daddy, you don't understand. <laughs> why is everybody? I heard. Why? Why are you all against me? <laughs> She's fucking Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> you turned him against me. Mother. If you're you not with turned me, him against me. You're my enemy. My youngest is at that now. Like she's twelve and she goes like, nobody nobody likes me. Nobody oh, likes me. She kicks she kicks she literally stomps. That's so And sad. I'm like I'm like, oh, ugh, ugh. so I gotta get I'm her. Like, what do you do with but that? Because I'm like, I, I wanna just be like Obviously, somebody likes you. Like, yeah. like, where is this coming I from? I got you an iPad. I like you. Shit. Daddy doesn't dislike you. I don't. <laughs> I don't well, you're really, you're, you're, you're really being dislike disliking you. right now. But like, uh, but he's getting to the point where like the hugs aren't working anymore. Damn. Like, oh come on, come on, that doesn't work anymore. The hugs so are for you, like, not for her. Yeah, you know, like, cause like, oh, oh, my heart, my, my bleeding heart. But like, sooner or later. That like just oh just sit on the lap it's it, no Go. we gotta we gotta we have to talk about feelings hormones and, are a hell of a yeah. drug. <laughs> the Something. cool thing about my girls though like like um we did we did we went kayaking. Oh sick! It was awesome. They all actually saw a gator in the water, which was like it just sat there and, like a water shark. Oh, that's Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> like I know. <laughs> that's that's yeah. Florida, yeah. So um yeah we came back. I was like oh okay so they got snacks. My daughter actually cooked spaghetti for us. Like in a pot, like she, I bought it in the ingredients. She cooked, and we ate. And so I like, need to get there. <laughs> you know, uh, but we uh, sit in the couch. I'm like, all right, so we're gonna watch some family movies. We're gonna like, what are we gonna watch? So we're like, let's watch Scream. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, okay. the original. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I love that movie. That's, oh, that's pretty basic. I'm like, but yeah, like. The, the, the it's not appropriate, but it's it not appropriate. Really good movie. But I was watching, I was watching Terminator: True that's Lies true. when I was that's nine true. years old. Those are like my favorite movies. It's hard to justify. The, like your own upbringing yeah and like no one is even gonna call you out on it because your kids don't know the way you were raised but no. in my mind I'm like what am I gonna do when she wants to go on the fucking internet I had internet access when I was like six years old and I turned out okay <laughs> yeah like I watched like Predator you know, like, <laughs> 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 looks at the camera <laughs> I did not turn out okay. <laughs> like, guys, I'm not alright. He's like, excuse me, I need to put on my goggles here. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was a good stream. I'm gonna check out. <laughs> cool, cool world. What are, what, are, what are those suggestions? Uh, let me text oh, wow. them all to you. Recommended videos. <laughs> oh, I have a bonner. Oh, pop ups. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> have you seen that fucking uh, the new Apple VR? Show? I heard about it. So there's people are running in the street. There's videos of people <laughs> have you seen? in the car and they're like doing Matrix shit. Like, have you seen the guy in the Cybertruck wearing the the Apple goggles? And he's sitting there. The car's driving itself. Somebody drives next to him. They're recording him, and he's just like he's in his seat like this. <laughs> like he's Doctor like Strange. Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise, <laughs> Minority Report. Yeah, just. Yeah, fuck. I'm like, are we at uh, Re Ready Player One already? We're like the part exactly. where they're like, running in the street playing the it's game. Coming. Yeah. It's coming. Like, we're, minute, we're pretty so much there. In that game, do you actually move, or in that movie or book or whatever the fuck? Well, that, that, I could, I don't know because you could be running was, or you could be sitting. There was both. Either. Well, then they, but, but you had the whole contraption. Had the big, yeah, the big. He was like uh, this thing, yeah. in the thing. To I'm me, the, I'm the guy who read the book. You know what I mean? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, like it's a fucking like Pacific Rim where you actually move and the robot moves. Yeah. To me, it's like more realistically, you would just sit in a fucking chair like a vegetable while there's shit in your brain going on, right? Well, that's because not, that doesn't appeal. Like, I guess, because, like, like, the suit where you can feel up the leg and shit. Like, is it, is it, like, I don't, I don't want that. But you don't need anything to feel up the leg, because it's all just signals to your brain. 
So you don't have yeah, to yeah. If, it, if you're jacked into the Matrix, then it can just pump your every brain. single. I don't body. like that idea. Of you don't want to jack into. You the want a full yeah, body. I don't want my stem. You want to be in a full body suit. And I want fucking s- lawnmower man, proper fucking. <laughs> <laughs> go, goat simulator. <laughs> <laughs> like, always wanted to be the goat, now I am. You want to be in a skin tight suit, and then every time, whenever, whenever somebody <laughs> touches going, your leg, you have to go. You have to walk <laughs> you around. Push, 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 push. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like yeah, the idea. Get in all like, okay, so these, motherfuck- maybe these motherfuckers did a gardening sim in, a, in their garden. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or just make a garden. Yeah. <laughs> There's a vest you can wear when you play the haps and shoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, I've you seen that. Shot. I was like, why the fuck would I want to do that? I don't want that. That's <laughs> I'd be, I'm so just bothered. Bothered. <laughs> I'd, I'd be so hurt by the end. Like, oh no, God. like the freaking, like, uh, me, me, uh, Meps is like right up the street. You can sign up and get to the army. You can go to the <laughs> <laughs> like, like, But, like, I don't know. Like, games, it's funny, like, I feel like games now, no, not, no, games before, like, when we grew up, there was so much more to do on a game. Now they kind of sacrifice that to make them look nicer and prettier, I and make like sure you all can play it with a hundred other people. And they make them, they but make there's them nothing bigger. to do. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing to do. Now it's this barren wasteland of shit. Yeah. And like, see, the game's bigger. Well, but no, it's you, empty. It's you know, you can climb, you can climb towers and dive off vantage points and all in every game. Why is this tower in here? every game? Assassin's Creed has a lot to fucking say. For that's, that but the first, it, it's the that's the well, problem. Well, the first time they did it, great, great. But every fucking open world game making you go to a tower so you can expand the map or whatever the fuck it like, drives me crazy it's insane now. like Red Dead doesn't do it so that's cool Red Dead was great because there was like lived in stuff like you, I can go into the shop you there's would a purpose but, but you can only, you can can only do that you can only do that with a game that takes 20 years to make yeah that's true <laughs> you can't do that with a game that's gonna come out in 3 years I yeah, Suicide Squad that. what's your problem Oh fuck! That game looks what's your wow. like all all like pretty rough. I haven't seen anything but just shooting. I'm like, this is Fortnite with this it does Harley Quinn. Look it looks like, like but you but you can just also play as uh, Harley Quinn in Fortnite. So what's the purpose of having Suicide Squad? So there's no purpose. There's no every difference. everybody's in Fortnite. There's a skin for everything. So I I can just get a skin for freaking uh, Captain Boomerang and play Fortnite. So but you you did you play the original Arkham games like the Batman? Oh yeah, games? oh yeah. they were good. I oh, can't believe incredible. it's the same fucking company yeah, yeah, yeah. that made those games. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Making and it's Rocksteady. Both the same universe. Yeah, yeah. Rocksteady's Rocksteady. ass right now. So people were really mad because of the way they treated Batman in this game, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Um, just like they treated the female employees who. Jeez! Oh! Well, I mean, I mean, maybe like he, he knows, yeah, he knows. Hey, hey, one of my friends wrote on it. He knows. Oh so, shit! Yeah, he knows. Yeah, she left. So that is snug. What? Just say it's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> if, uh, I can't disavow what is true. Can't, I guess we avow. <laughs> we avow. We should not be doing Man, that. Man, all joke about that check, bro. Stop. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, that? yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Does, yeah. He, he does, does very well. well. He's very good at it. He was good in Twisted Metal, too. Is, he was I, sick I, in yeah. Twisted Metal. Like, he was really He didn't fun. do... He just... Was he the... He was just the body. The body, yeah, right. But it wasn't his... Will Arnett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. Will Arnett? Will Arnett? Lego Batman. Lego Batman? Yeah. He was Sweet Tooth? Yeah. yeah. No shit. Yeah. He was, I thought he, it was... Well, like he's such a good... He's like such a prolific voice actor. He is. Yeah. That's he's so, so bizarre. Good. Because he's, he's good. Because he talks But he's like in this. so much stuff, though. That's what's so crazy as well. Good for him. Yeah. I'd rather him than Chris Pratt. Oh, yeah. Chris Pratt? Good. Who's in fucking everything? That's Mario. <laughs> he was in Mario. He did a terrible Mario accent, though. Well, no, I, I don't think you could. They, they the did their movie. best to try and like you know. I don't know. If would you would you have wanted? Would you have wanted? Would you have wanted an hour and a half of? Oh, 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 yes. Yes. Really? Yes. Just have so him would. talk less. So <laughs> did, <laughs> did he talk like that in the original Super Mario Bros. movie with the fucking um, with John Leguizamo? No. No. Well, just, Bob, Bob, Bob Hoskins no, refused to what to understand what the game was. Before he did the. What is there to understand? Well, he's just a New Yorker. He refused to make. He's just a New Yorker. Did he have a Brooklyn accent? Yeah, he's like, he's like, no, that's the echo, that's the pipes, man. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Like, no wonder I'm you're like, getting casted uh, in all these movies. <laughs> <laughs> but I die in all. Of them, so. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Oh, as a, as a wrestler, uh, it's very funny. You always put over movie stars. They jump yeah. up. It, so um, I'm in uh, Kenichi, the Mightiest Disciple, uh, which is announced. But uh, my role in that, I get into the stew, and I get into the stew, which was actually really cool because it was uh, Chris Sabat Studio, who is a okay. prolific uh, anime voice actor. Ooh. But um, Did I the studio give you like proper jealousy vibes of how proper nice a studio could be. Yeah. You're like, I need this. Yeah. Well, he, well, Bring basically. So the way it uh, the way it works with voice acting is like it was just like a 
it's like a small room that he's basically got on. He, he just pays rent for, oh, wow. and it's completely like sounded sound system and got a really nice mic. But uh, the role I'm playing is um, pro wrestler who gets beat. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm getting typecast. Oh, I can here totally a do bit. this. Yeah. You know, wrestlers get beat all the fucking yeah. time. So much so that um, you know, fucking The Rock has the thing in his contract where he's like. As Black Adam, I can't job. I, I got <laughs> Vin Diesel had that for that. Oh, wow. Vin Diesel had that. Um, and then they came blow, blow to blow. That's right. When they were in the same that movie. Vin Diesel rock feud at, in Fast and Furious was the closest thing to wrestling politics Hollywood ever got. Yeah, Should because it happened again with the, with the, uh, the table. <laughs> it's it's so similar to wrestling. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. Freaking um, Flash has uh, Steve Austin liking his stuff. God damn it, Flash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You, yeah. Yeah. you didn't watch it till I met you. I brought you to this world. Wait, I'll what? take what? you. Uh, the, the fucking uh, Fast and Furious feud between The Rock and Vin Diesel is so similar to wrestling yeah. uh, heat that they made a whole fucking collision for Yeah, life. that's what I was going to say. Gave him Hobbs they and gave Shaw, him a collision. A fucking spinoff movie. <laughs> they gave him his own... They, and, it they, did, and it did well. They had a roster collision. split. No, really, they gave him a fucking collision. <laughs> they, gave, they, they had a roster split where he, uh, uh, Dwayne only had to work with the guys that he liked they, because you had the Dwayne Tyrese stayed. Exactly, you had the Dwayne Axe. Tyrese stayed. And then you had the, the Vincels. The Vincels. <laughs> Anyway, on that note, we don't want to keep you any longer. Uh, yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. get out of here. Oh, uh, yeah. I want to say thank you. So oh, much. yes. Ready? Right. So uh, happy we got to see you. Happy oh, birthday, yes. Squire. Thank you. Squire. Talking. Good uh, to see you. Yes, good seeing you, uh, brother. Let's hang out again soon. Please. Uh, come to my place. I'm oh, I will. Kissimmee. Kissimmee. Please. I'm not Kissimmee. Oh, Kissimmee. Oh, shit. Yeah. Kissimmee. It's traffic is horrible. It's fucking huge. Oh, my God. It's huge. That thing bounces. It's working, brother. That thing bounces. Oh. Damn. I'm gonna pay for that. Hold on, let me get a shit for it. What? Let me, let me put on the goggles. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for, seriously. Uh, Goodbye. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not done. We're not done. We're not done. You guys can go. You guys should. Perfect. You go. Well, we're not done. Bye. Yeah, we, we do. <laughs> you guys can go. Bye, everybody. We do have we do have mad viewers right now. We can't be done. We're not done. They, they oh, no, ride that pop. It's yeah. like 2 a.m. or something like last time. Ride that pop. No, we got this. We got this Santi raid. Love and kisses. Bye bye. Smooches. See ya. We're not done. Have fun Wednesday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are not done, chat. We still have yeah. one more surprise. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Now it's just us. The way it all began. You may be wondering why I kept you here. Yeah, why did you keep here? That'll all become evident in due time. Okay. Until then, chat, why don't we do a little Q&A? You can ask I don't MXM. Know. This guy actually don't know what's going on. Uh, for those of you who missed it, this was supposed to be a stream where Swerve and I called in from our homes. Uh, you can go back watch the VOD. We ended up actually shoot surprising Brennan, who, by the way, was shoot pissed at me. I was pretty. <laughs> was so I, I could tell. I could tell by the way you were texting. I sent. I sent a text because I was like, "Are you gonna get Swerve set up on Discord? Are you gonna I, get him set up?" And he's just. He said, "Yeah, I'll get him set up." And I was like, "Okay, I need to set up for the stream." Um, no response. He was like, "Streams in five minutes." No response. Streams in three minutes. <laughs> I ignored his text. And then I was like, and then I, I, I remember this was my finest moment. I didn't respond. I thumbs up your text. <laughs> I didn't react. You were like, no, stream in three minutes, you know, thumbs up. You know what makes me hotter? Was that you were texting in the group chat. Because I was texting oh, no, no, you that. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. texting you that in the, uh, the, in live, the live chat. chat. Yeah. But he was, he was sending like Twitter links to the group <laughs> chat. And I I'm was like, like, yo, check out this guy. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> so it's not and a, this was our, this is our biggest stream, basically. Since this, yeah, this is our biggest stream. We get not, get, we're not gonna set up. We're just gonna, <laughs> just gonna do a live. Okay, All right, whatever, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. So uh, Swerve and I and Demo eventually were standing outside his house for like eight minutes, trying to get him to start the stream <laughs> because we wanted to make our run in while we were live. But Brennan. We watched the stream on my phone, and we were going to come in when he started, but then he was like, they want me to stall. I'm not doing it. I'm just going to repeat the intro. I was like, fuck no, he needs to start, or else it's not going to make any sense. But uh, I was tricked. Your wife also texted me. Um, he's really mad. 
<laughs> it's because she came in. I told you to start. She came in, and I'm sitting there like this. I'm looking, and I'm just like refreshing the page, and I'm like, okay. And she's like, uh, she's like, are you are you gonna start the stream soon? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I got tricked. I can't wait to go back and see Brennan's reaction to that because that was that was, was shoot surprise. That was a shoot yeah. genuine emotion. Yeah. Something that we don't see from Brennan often. <laughs> <laughs> we usually just see a robotic um, Shinji's dad. <laughs> like basically, fucking, did, uh, I, did I tell Genji. you about? Did I tell you about um, what was what were we were doing? Uh, me and the girls were doing a audition for like a modeling role. Mm -hmm. It's like a, they wanted like father and daughters, and uh, <laughs> um, so we're shooting it. They just wanted like footage of you playing Uno with your daughters. Basically. Okay. So we're sitting in the living room and we're playing Uno and uh, we had to do like, hi, I'm uh, Brennan Williams and these are my daughters. And they had to go down the list and say who they were. And uh, Sierra brings out the phone like a freaking Kris Jenner stage mom. Mm. And she's like, all right guys. And I go, because you know, it's the same thing with us when we do uh, like Bronami code and stuff. It's mm. like, I'll just like, all right, camera's rolling. Hi, I'm Brendan Williams, and these are my girls. And then the girls were like, the first time we did it, the girls were like, Who's this? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> no, Who Ari, are said, you? Ari was like, Why is Daddy talking like that? <laughs> it is funny when you have to turn it on. Um, God, like I, I, like you've seen me do media, not as our like model kind of character. Yes, right? like yes. You've seen me do media as Happy Go Lucky, Mansoor. Yes. Blue chipper Saudi uh, hero, right? Hi, I'm a uh, clean cut, happy yeah. to be here. Yeah, it's so different from who we are, just naturally. Like, actually, we, we did it. We did some interviews in Poland during the show with <laughs> Polish media, legit, like a Polish TV news station. Which might be our best interview we've ever and done. It, it, we are so fucking on. You guys have no idea, and that is the truest representation. I don't know when that's gonna come out, but we gotta find it when it does, because <laughs> that is the truest representation. If if the belief is that there are three masks yes one is you in public one is you to your friends and family and one is you to yourself that interview is the closest to <laughs> ourselves as Our true possible. selves yes my true self is uh in the group chat and uh that's that's the real me <laughs> yeah and hopefully no one ever has to see and that. nobody will ever see that face when that happens go full on goblin mode. Down. yeah that actually is what i call it goblin mode yeah it's it's the um, <laughs> the infernal creature hiding within our subconscious. The imp of the perverse. The imp, which is such a great expression. I love that word. Chad, can you help me out? Because um, in one of the Bronami Code episodes that we got cooking tomorrow, tomorrow, episode one of the Bronami Code goes up on YouTube, our channel, The Insiders with a Z T V. Make sure to check it out. I don't know what time. Probably when I wake up. I'll just actually. There's yeah. probably an ideal time. Chat. If you if there's any YouTube. Santi, if you're still here, uh, when when's the best time to upload to YouTube? Santi, you seem to be very successful and um, rich, considering how many subscriptions you just get to us. Thank you very much. What's the best time to put it on YouTube? He's probably not here. He probably left. Probably <laughs> what time do you guys watch YouTube videos? Noon. Noon. I think noon is good. EST. <laughs> I'm on my own. Have they taken away that theme yet? Because I'll be pissed if they do. I don't know anybody's fucking music. Oh, Aloha. Between two and four, he knows. Okay. He, he manages a bajillion subscriber channel. Really? Yeah. No shit. He's here! Santi stayed this whole time? Santi stayed? I'm actually shocked. 4 p.m. Eastern. UK people are still awake and you get lots of hours. That's good. Yeah, good okay. point. Good point. We four. have to consider our international audience. Two to four and four. Okay. Santi, and, you're number one. And you know what we noticed? Why don't we have you on, Santi? What? Do you want to come on the show? Yeah, Santi, you want to be on the show? Do you want to um, play 2K with us? You want to have a Royal Rumble? I would actually... A Royal Rumble, dude? There's a new one coming out. A new 2K, but yeah. we're not gonna get it for free. But we're not gonna get it. Oh, that sucks. Surely, sure, oh. he says he's down. Santi, it's locked in. Santi, can you get us a gift code <laughs> for 2K? Santi, can you give us a gift code Please, for WWE 2K? We know, we know you're getting that shit for free, bro. We Don't know lie. you get it for free. Don't lie. Why can't we get it for free as uh, internet we're influencers? influencers? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I just uh, I <laughs> He's gonna try. Can you say you have two cousins who really want the game, please? I did that for a friend once. Is that my cousin really wants the game? <laughs> I I would always. Oh, we can get it from Dijak. True. Dijak. Also, also, wait a minute. I was in a fucking two K game, not just as a wrestler, but as a performer. Yeah. 
So I should be able to pull some strings. Why don't you call John 2K and get us... I will call John 2K. Ramon. I'll call Ramon. For those of you who don't know, I... Uh, <clears throat> you did a cup of coffee the in the bed. Voice and motion capture for one Cole Quinn. Uh, known by many as the most greatest... The most greatest. As the greatest 2K career mode in any uh, WWE video game. 2K19, I believe it was. Yeah. Chad, one is that the, true? One of the worst 2K games. No, that wasn't 20. Oh. 20 was one of the worst. Okay. Right? 20 was the botch-filled one. Yeah. So they skipped 21. Yeah, that's true. Mr. CQ, 21. Black Hole Cole, Grassy Knoll Cole, Internet Gra- Troll Cole. call him Grassy Knoll Cole. Okay, so we filmed and uh, recorded all of the uh, lines for the season mode. And then they brought me back just to record lines for uh, like the in-game phone the phone calls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is something I would never engage in any game, by the way. But uh, for the diehards who wanted to hear shit... Cole Quinn would randomly send you voicemails throughout the uh, series, and yeah. it was all just him trying to Which do Which is new exactly games. what you complain about in that uh, um, X Men game Midnight Suns. Midnight Suns. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, well no, I hate talking to them on the phone and on Twitter. Different, because in Midnight Suns, you have to read fucking uh, superhero Twitter. At least here, you're getting a voice message. Yeah, so that's it's fair. like. But, um, which is only acceptable if you can listen as you play the game. I yes. hate when a if video you have game. To stop. Yes, when a video game fucking control did this and it really pissed. So me. why was uh, whoa whoa whoa, whoa. Was fucking bot? We got bot. Oh look at these bots! What is happening? What the fuck is happening? We are under attack. We're, there's a million fucking bots. Bots! Help! Help! Ah, oh, they're attacking! Oh. Oh. Stop! Oh. 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 We're being fucking attacked! Help! What, what? The what? Bots. what is going on? The bots are taking over. <laughs> Well, this has never happened it's before. Not, it's what the fuck is this? What do we do? What do At we least do? they're not saying the N word. Uh, everybody, robots are taking over the world. Our world. <laughs> is it over? Is it, is it it's over? It's over. Oh my god, that was legit scary. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Jay. Um, guys, I don't think you're gonna be able to ban all those people. <laughs> there were so many, and I use the word people loosely. I believe those are robots. Well, they'll get their rights in like 50 years. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And then, and then you'll get canceled. <laughs> For this, when, I say, when I say I use the term people loosely. I use, I use, you're going you're gonna to be running for president. And I'm going like, to lose all the robot voters. <laughs> what <laughs> what like, did you mean Mansour, by this? Mansour. Mansour. What did you mean by this clip? Mansour. I use you, the term people loosely. You say you support. And then everybody goes. Oh, <laughs> and then there's some people like, yeah, you know what? He tells it like it is. <laughs> well, well, I, I mean, I wouldn't want my daughter banging some clink clank, <laughs> some clanker, <laughs> some clanker. <laughs> Thanks for there's a billion people who subscribe that we just. Is there a way for us to like thank all the people who subscribe? Uh, well, the people who subscribed, uh, it was due to like Santi. So no, no, no. There was a bunch of people who subscribed earlier. Oh, are you yeah. able to look at everybody who subscribed? Um, I don't know. Probably. We wanna we wanna thank the people who support the uh, bro. Got that Dax Harwood? No, Dax. Is that what he sounds like? He wouldn't say that. He's very. Uh, he's not like that at all. That's fourteen days ago. Oh, that's for how many days? What? What does that mean, days, seven days? Yeah, that seems wrong. You don't get the recent ones? Um, It should have the recent ones. But they're not there. Well, you guys are actually legit going one by one on these bots. I don't think they'll be back, guys. I mean, yeah, maybe I don't think, yeah. I kind of, if it is, it was pretty short. So, uh, it's kind of a good bit. Yeah, let it happen. It was funny. <laughs> wow, you're really going through all of it. Remember when? Uh, remember that one time that there was a Russian guy that was posting in the chat, and then the one of the mods banned him because they thought he was a bot. That's that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> that's legit racist. I don't want to be robophobic. Yeah. Uh, like a dragon. Yeah, I was. I, I was. I played a lot of uh, Yakuza a lot. on the plane. A lot of Yakuza on the plane. Uh, cause yesterday my strategy was to avoid getting adjusted to the time zone. Um, we woke up, which, okay, let's tell them about the worst of all time travel day yesterday. This is the worst, worst flight I've ever known. 
So uh, we woke up in the hotel at uh, six. Feeling like P Diddy. Feeling like P Diddy. Somebody is somebody knocking at the door. Let me check. Is that? Are you expecting someone knocking no, at the door? I'll check for you. Okay. Um, we woke up in some place that I do not know. I think you're paranoid. Well, I've, I've already been so, uh, surprised today, so... It's like you're, like, on the edge. <laughs> like, you think, you think I'm going to surprise you for your birthday with a home invasion? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to get somebody to dress up I'm like a, a... I'm a little bit suspicious. I'm going to get somebody to dress up like a burger, like a burger? <laughs> the burger? <laughs> I'm going to get somebody to dress up like burger a hamburger <laughs> to break into your house to surprise you on your birthday. <laughs> oh, yeah, so when you're in uh, Europe and you're, you go to customs, there's two ways you can go in the line. And one is um, uh, if you're in the EU, and one is if you're anyone else. And it's like the sign says all all world travelers here, and the other sign says for the EU, burger burger, <laughs> burger travelers, burgers travelers or burger citizens. <laughs> and I was like, which one do Americans go to? <laughs> I can't tell which where which place do I belong. So we wake up at this hotel, feeling like P Diddy. Yes. Uh, we drive. Uh, what city were we in? A- Czechnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshnyshn
So we ended up playing for the first time a single player game and just watching somebody play. And since we weren't playing, we were able to engage in conversation and ask them about their fucking life and um, have them talk about their philosophy about wrestling and in general and their story. And that was really interesting. So I'm really curious to see when you guys watch what you kind of prefer. Would you like? And I don't think we're exclusive. Maybe we can we're not alternate. locked in. Yeah, yeah, we can have like more of like a we're all playing games episode, and we can have you know more of the because I, I, the longer ones are longer. Like I like it's funny we sat down with our guests from this week, and we were like, yeah, we usually record for like 30 minutes, and then you can we'll get out of your hair, and then the conversation just ends up going. Yeah. And we were there for an hour. It's very superstar save point ish. Which is something Which is that what we, we always, wanted to bring back. We wanted to bring it back for Up, Up, Down, right Down we when released, we were there. Yeah. Yeah. Right before we got released, we were like, we're going to do Superstar Save Point. And our plan was, we were going to have Austin be the first guest. Yes. And we were going to do it on him. Like a This Is Your Life. <laughs> yeah, like a This Is Your Life. Yeah. Um, no, but it, it's um, they're very cool. I think, they're, I think you guys are really going to like it. Um, but yeah, we're not completely locked into either format. But it's just funny how, I don't know. Because we didn't have any, we didn't know what we wanted to do when we started it. We just knew not we, at all. We just knew we had the materials and the skill set, thanks to Austin, to um, be able to record this stuff. So yeah, now we're doing it. So yeah. now you'll get to see it tomorrow, and we got a cool theme song made by Sneakernet. It's very cool. If you haven't seen it, uh, Brandon posted it on Twitter, and also it's on Discord. It's on Discord. So it's join on, the Discord yeah. if you have not joined the Discord. Uh, Jannies put up a link to the invite. We got a great community full of awesome people, and they're very, very sweet and nice. Sweet. And you can only talk about wrestling on the wrestling channel, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know else people get. Pissed. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. That is the other difference between um, Up Up Down Down and uh, our show. Is Up Up Down Down? I remember Woods always wanted to keep the conversation away from wrestling. Oh sure. It was more about uh, you know um, even the superstar save points were mm-hmm. more about your history with video games. Um, I wouldn't say that our stuff is all about wrestling, but there's much more just like in depth wrestling discussion, which I think is very interesting. I think it's interesting because I think that we people know a lot about wrestling, but really they've only scratched the surface about some of the deeper intricacies. Like I remember one of the streams we did with Dijak where he explained his like, philosophy about wrestling, and a lot of people were hearing that kind of stuff for the first time. And I, think, I truly think it's because there aren't enough books about wrestling as a concept. There are only autobiographies. That aren't about how you overcame addiction. Right, well, it's, it's, you know, there's a lot of autobiographies about wrestling, but there isn't a lot of books writing about... There's not some about wrestling. The art form, it's about your, exactly. your life in wrestling. Like it's dissecting not about, yeah. what is wrestling. Which everybody really dug this uh, when we were talking to... Um, now somebody's knocking at the door. What what is this? Who could who's it gonna be chat? Who's it gonna be chat? Who's surprising me? It's creepy. Oh, what? How? What the hell? It is. Oh yeah. He's here. I, mean, I guess I guess you gotta work tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot. Well, it's because you you're here. Well, no, because you're usually airplanes uh, exist. Usually what? Yeah, no, right here. They haven't seen your face. Yet. No, they haven't seen your Could face. Could be. It is. That's gotta be Kane. Usually, <laughs> usually after you have your pay per view match, you take a week off. <laughs> <laughs> Not by choice. <laughs> Not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> and the chat is ooking like crazy. They're ooking. Win, so I'm still so I still exist. Rare? What do you mean That's rare? underselling it. It's one of a kind! <laughs> <laughs> I like first one. One of a kind! What do you mean you won the first one? The war games. Oh, war games doesn't count. Fuck off. <laughs> that was a fucking eight man tag. Right. Look at this fed chill with this <laughs> We Are NX t shirt. Oh, what a loser. Cover that shit up. We are. <laughs> we are NXT. Remember that? We are NXT. We are not your kind. <laughs> we are <laughs> yeah, not your kind. Remember when you were like, we, we are, are not your kind. kind. <laughs> remember when um, after Survivor Series they made us pretend like we gave a fuck about uh, NXT winning even though we weren't in the show? <gasps> yeah. We are NXT. <laughs> we I are was NXT. There. I was physically present. I just was not on the show. 
You were almost done the show. I was almost done. Oh, your face is flowing around. I was the, I, w- I think I was like the one. reserve. I think I was like the backup. Like if one of those five guys went down, I think I was the next in line. And burgers and You were very pissed Before off. Before next, I was super pissed. You were very pissed <laughs> so off. Because you had just beat, you had just beaten Priest, right? Uh, I, don't, I think you did. I don't remember the timeline, but. Yeah, because I remember you being like, why the fuck would they put the loser on? I, I don't won. think I said I that. I, don't think, I think you're misquoting me. Or are you disavowing so that you could join the judgment thing one day? <laughs> no, I, just, I don't. We love Luis. We love Priest. We love yeah. Luis. Yeah. There you go. Why don't I do Scott Hall? <laughs> because he does Scott Hall. At the, t- at the time. <laughs> oh, yeah? No, because me and Priest were doing stuff on Raw, so that didn't. It, oh. it was all. That was all part of it. The part. I think the one. Weren't that, you in a triple threat with Daniel and in, Priest? In, in hindsight, people are going to laugh at this, but at the time, I was much angrier about Walter. Yeah, he yeah, wasn't really, oh. he wasn't even. He in wasn't NXT. really in NXT, and he just came in, and he was in that match, and I was like, okay, I'll just wait a minute. Were, back. <laughs> weren't you in a triple threat with Demo and uh, Priest? That does not sound correct. Who then? Who was it? Riddle. I, I was in a triple threat with. Keith What'd you do Priest? that takeover? That takeover. The takeover before Survivor Series. Was it War Games? That was War Games. That was the night before. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's why you were pissed because you were the only person. In war games to not be on survival. Yeah. Correct. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Which That's feels, why he was pissed that week. Which it's feels, it's very, hard to keep track of. It was very pointed at you. <laughs> <laughs> You're just I, not loud enough. I was physically present. I was there. Yeah. Well, good for you. Were you in the tank? I was next to the tank. Well, you're too tall to be in the tank. The tank. Obviously. Your your timeline is off. The tank was not Survivor Series. That was my was, last. That was my last day on commentary. The what? tank was a couple weeks before. Oh, that okay. was your last day on commentary. <laughs> I actually was. <laughs> we did. We I think we had already filmed the tank stuff, and we were waiting for it to air or something. And I was randomly standing next to the entrance way to Gorilla, and Hunter was there. And I just and we kind of exchanged a glance, and I was like, "I'm just good friends with Brett. And I'm waiting for Brock to f five. <laughs> 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 like, eh, that's pretty good." <laughs> you know with who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I call him Big Man. I call him Big Man. <laughs> you should have known all that time that when he was saying, hey, Big Man, it was like, <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> Dijak, thoughts on us getting booked in your uh, home promotion? Which one? Beyond. Beyond. Oh, that's announced? Yes. Yeah, you'll be working announced. there March 8th. In Boston. 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 At, at a very big show. At a Shamrock Shake uh, show. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's That's called a Shamrock it's Shake show. Ones, right? It's a St. Patrick's Day uh, thing. Which is like a high holy day in Boston. Wow. If you, know, if you don't know. Do you guys... Um, it's kind of like our... Uh, Santi's in your chat. Yeah. He gifted like That's 20... He gifted 20 subscribe. subs for my birthday. It blew up. Jen Jen, thanks again. for subscribing. Oh, your elbow? No joke. I went to go get sushi. And I picked up the sushi and I couldn't lift it. And yeah, I was like, oh, and I looked down right. and it was huge. Yeah, how Are you going to have to get it drained? I, I did it. It didn't hurt. You landed entirely yeah. on your elbow. I know. <laughs> I did it. It didn't hurt. Finished the match. Didn't hurt. Got to the back. Didn't hurt. It was just covered in blood. So I was like, oh, whatever, scratch. Fuck. I'm in catering, just watching the rest of the show. Because <laughs> I, sa- I said, your elbow's completely gone, right? Oh, thank you, Shane. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, no, it's fine. And, and I was like, no. And then I grabbed like... Cinnamon Toast Crunch because I hadn't eaten all day and I went to put it in my mouth and I couldn't go past here and I was like what the f-? and I looked and down looked at the freaking huge, huge John Cena elbow tip. John Cena elbow and I was like ah, how did that happen <laughs> your eyes came out of your head like Looney Tunes <laughs> <laughs> and then and then later in the night it, it decreased it never re-increased I woke up this morning it looked like this just totally fine and flat and not full of fluid and then I was in the car and I think I just like like rested on my armrest for like a second, and then I went to grab my sushi. And it was it was Holy huge again. Shit. I was like, "What's wrong with this thing?" So yeah, I'm, I might have to get that guy sucked. Yeah, you gotta get that. You gotta get that elbow tit sucked. Yeah, I have to do something. I've done that with my wife. Your elbow tit? No. Yo, when will we see the four insiders not named Dijak in the ring together? I don't think I'm an official insider. I think that's still Shane territory. Um, <laughs> well, okay, so you definitely stream more with us than Shane. According right. so, right. according to the lore, the ori- <laughs> the insiders as a unit were uh-huh. me, Manny, and Shane. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, it started with me and Manny. See, I never liked the addition to like the the NWO or DX. You're you're Virgil. <laughs> you're yeah, I, don't want, I, don't, I don't want to be that, so I don't include myself. So do we? In that. Do we need? No, a... that's not true. If we're Hogan, Nash, and Hall, you're Macho Man. Yeah, I don't like that. What? Did you ever look at Macho Man and go, "Oh, I loved him in the NWO"? I don't look at him and go. <laughs> I don't look at him and go, "Oh, like I remember him as an NWO guy." But I right. do say, "Oh, he's he's cool." Man. Or like when they throw Waltman in there. Like I I love Sean and he's a good always been wonderful to me but I never look at him and go NWO member even though he's like in the Hall of Fame for being in the I always think DX he's DX even though he's not original DX but like that was the more popular DX I don't know it's fun. pro wrestling stables are weird and stupid I think we should I think it's time to <laughs> do we need retire. a do we need a new like a new name for all of us oh Interesting. Like, are we the outsiders? That's the collective that, are we, that, like, are, are, are the three of us the outsiders? And then, and then now it's the end of the show. That action of, of stables, like, morphing over time used to happen all the time, and now it never happens. No. Like, what was the last stable? Probably branding. Like, Bullet Club. It's it's okay, it's right. a complete... What's it called? The Perseus ship? What the fuck is it called? The ship of Theseus. The ship of Theseus. It's, yeah. it's none of the members, except for, I think, Bad Luck Fale yeah. and Tama Tonga. Well, I don't know if Tama was an original... But um, it's had so many members. I was, I was referring more to WWE. So oh, WWE like, yeah. has any stable in WWE ever just shifted state like people? Well, completely? Judgment Day kind of did, oh, but yeah. not really. Um, well, they just shifted yeah, members. Okay, they when they've added people, so it's it looks nothing yeah, like well, Judgment Day. I guess did. Edge is gone. Yeah, and they added three guys. Cope. They added yeah several. The Cope. Um. No, that's pretty much it. MXM gang. I yeah, wanted I wanted to have a oh, I wanted, Nexus yeah Nexus is a good example I wanted us I to make a bullet Nexus, club but <laughs> just so that we could like uh, sell shirts well no well we could sell shirts but I thought um, because we have like good hype that we could just like Let convince people guys to join we're like hey up. we'll put your guy in our in our bullet club. And then uh, we'll do six men's. <laughs> and but he can he can represent us when we're not at the show. Okay, so here's a question, right? Because we do both the model gimmick and our regular gimmick. Yeah. And I f- I do feel like our regular gimmick needs something to spice it up a little, because like when we do the model shit, fuck, dude, people love or hate it, and it's like that they're very passionate about it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like when we do our regular gimmick, we've only done the regular gimmick once. Once. Yeah, uh, and we're gonna do it again at DPW uh, February. <laughs> Are you allowed to say it? Oh, wait. No, we were not. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, never mind. Well, we're not booked. We're not booked. I don't know. Keep, t- I just so. about. But the next time we do our regular gimmick, it's like, yeah, we're going to have badass matches. Thanks for subscribing, uh, Sam and Creek Southpaw. Our, our gimmick uh, when That's we're right. regular is that we're dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we drop guys in their heads. No, it's not. But I feel like you need is, something. And I do. <laughs> that is the biggest thing, isn't it? I do like the idea That's not a bad thing. that... We become a parody of the modern pro wrestling stable. Yes. And we just have a fucking hundred <laughs> men stable. Every promotion we that go could to, be, that could we just add be somebody our... to our stable. Just in this in the same and way then, that and the then we just give them, we give them an M name. Yes. Or what? Well, oh. Should it be? So or no, we give them X's. They become the X's. Yeah, they become the. X's. I like the, I like the idea of. It but we'll run out of X names. The full quick. stable name is however many M's we exactly. give them. So it's MX, 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 X, MX, 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 Yeah, so it's MX, MX, MX. So every time we add somebody, we're going to give them an M nickname. Uh, that would be great. And that way, it's just a, a fucking million M and M's and X. It's pretty good. Yeah. So we just have to act like we already have a huge stable immediately and we're the leader. Of it. Well, right now we're MXM. Yeah. But once somebody joins us, we'll be MXM, XM. Wait, MX, MX, X. No, but the way we get people to join us is by saying that we already have this great stable. In the They're going to want to join us that. because we're TV stars coming oh, yeah. to their it's shitty local time. promotion. We're not going to have to fucking convince them to put them over on the fucking internet and take a picture of them. We're going to go to an indie. We're going to find our favorite little shitty jobber. They're, 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 they're going to have the fake belt and they're going to be like, I don't, I don't no think shot. you're on my level. No shot. We've, no we've shot. had a favorite guy at like every show. Every too. show we go to, we go, oh, I like that little guy. And I want to pull him in. And take a picture of the video, just added a new member to our stable. We're dominating this shit. And we all do this. MXM, 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 MXM. Let's do it. I fucking want to do that. I like it. I like it because it's uh it's like yeah, a, it's like a polar says Xander. <laughs> You're the ex. Well it's like uh You're obviously my jack. <laughs> my jack. <laughs> oh, so uh jack. before you got here, we were talking with Swerve about you and Manny's future uh Meltzer esque. 
Oh porn yeah, podcast. We're gonna what do a, we're gonna do a porn review podcast, but yeah. in the in the form of Meltzer <laughs> and Alvarez, and I'm gonna be Alvarez. What was I think I missed it. I haven't seen it in like three years. What was his take on porn <laughs> reviews? Uh, he was he talking about insight? some of the great some he of the great workers. Yeah, some of, of the great workers. Everybody knows. Yeah. Anyone who says that they don't is just lying. Well, it's because no, he, no, no, no. I mean, he man. personally knows them. He yeah. had, oh, he, <laughs> that's right. Well, no, he, he had, he had uh, Lisa yeah. Ann. That's on right. I forgot. <laughs> Shout out to Free Lisa Ann. Free Lisa Ann. Free Lisa, Ann. Free Lisa, Lisa Ann. Ann. He knows them in the big biblical sense. Yeah. What, 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 um, what did she do? Did anyone find out? All I saw was she went to a her saying show. that she did nothing, which is obviously not true. <laughs> um, according <laughs> so according to her, nude or something, right? According to her, she was at a comedy show. I know what she screamed to the police as she was being arrested. I'm, I'm. She's apparently you're not allowed to have your phone out, and she had her phone out. You're not but allowed to have Dave Chappelle show phone out at a. No, it was the kid. The the. No, it was a comedy. The guy, guy who do, it's the guy who does the, the the. the what is it called? What's his name? Chat. What's his name? What's He's his name? All Santee. over Facebook. Is he not a comedian? He he shoots on the girls, the hot girls. He finds it. Matt, Matt Rife. Oh, she was at a Matt Rife show. What and is he th- does? He does. You guys have never seen this guy? No, he's like he's, super he's like the guy of the uh, of the moment. He's, he's like a handsome moment, yeah. a handsome boy. Handsome, uh, but everybody I mean, hates boy. Well, okay. I, I don't need People a personality like substitute, so I don't really follow guys. Like <laughs> <laughs> I, I have. It's pretty funny. It's his his comedy show is just an improv show where he works off the audience. Okay. They, they go back and forth, and he he buries hot chicks, and everyone's like, "Oh, he's handsome. He can do that." And you know they all try to have sex with him. And okay. That's basically that's basically what the. I see why is. you like him so much. <laughs> it's funny. It's it is he is funny and clever. Um, <laughs> he shoots on hot <laughs> girls. I didn't did say that. They're yeah. just I, like I can almost guarantee he does. <laughs> but um, I don't know how Lisa Ann got kicked out. I'm surprised. He she didn't. probably knew him. I, I, so I, I I would suspect that you're probably not allowed to like record the of show because that's like the yeah. so maybe that's but what she I don't was think doing. I don't think that's an arrestable I mean, offense. It I maybe, don't think so. And maybe she they tried to kick well, no, you out. Well, no, it becomes yeah. arrestable she, if they if try you, to kick you out. Right. You if they try to kick you out and you resist, then you resi- then you're not following law. I don't know. Thank you, officer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah shouldn't you, you know? Grab my book. <laughs> oh, let me look. You grab my baton. I left my baton at the fucking venue. What are you gonna do? do? Beat up Brennan? <laughs> would, be, would be on the ground. Stop resisting! <laughs> what is it? Your birthday? Stop resisting! Stop resisting, birthday bitch! <laughs> you know what I wanted to do in my fake uh, Dwayne tweet? Where he was like, hey brother, I'm That was forward. fake! <laughs> <laughs> I thought he DM'd you. Uh, the, the fake Twitter DM creator that I was, that I was using um, censors swear words. Oh. I was really pissed because I wanted to end his fake tweet with, all right, take it easy, a maximum male ass muncher. <laughs> I was like, what would Dwayne call I'm going to have this side of the crowd say maximum male and this side of the crowd say ass muncher. Maximum male ass muncher. Maximum male ass muncher. I don't know why that sounded a little bit more like LA Knight because than Dwayne. Because you know why. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you think but, they'd do that one? But I, I wonder I wonder what he would... You know how when he like did a segment with The New Day? He was like, you're fucking My Little Pony Jabronis, which is so good. <laughs> my Little Pony Jabronis is so good. What do you call that? New uh, Day. New Day. <laughs> Somebody hit us with a, shut up, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> which is my favorite rock quote of all time. You know what, also, what would he do with us? <laughs> well, you know what also would have been a good thing for him to have DM'd you? Is... Uh, <laughs> The power scale of the Polish independence <laughs> is about to change. It's about to change. <laughs> Chat, what would what would The Rock call us to roast him? Yeah. Maximum <laughs> male bitches. That's, I should have done that. Chat, give us a bunch. Give us a bunch. Give us a bunch, Chat. Ass muncher. Ass muncher. And the crowd is going crazy. <laughs> and Ass muncher is up his alley. Because like, that's a thing that you can say, but people are like, can you say that? Yeah, yeah right. but you can definitely say it's it. It's vaguely homophobic. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. right, right, it would right. imply that we're gay. Right, right. Yeah, well, of course you would imply insult. that we're gay. Yeah. 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 Max, minimum male models? No, it's horrible. You and your little boy, Max, right? That's your maximum male monkey asses. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. That's good. What does MMM stand for? <laughs> maximum <laughs> male Mark. monkey oh, asses. say Mark. Maximum Elf Candy and Al Tip Touching Jabronis. <laughs> tip Touching Jabronis. That would imply that he watched us. No, he would not know that we touch tips. <laughs> yeah. I like I like the auto mod. Yeah, 
starts trailing off. <laughs> we all don't want drugs. Maximum Mount Molester! <laughs> what the fuck? That's why they don't that allow you. Be, <laughs> that school. might be something he would dabble in. <laughs> <laughs> Pedophilia? Uh, I don't know if that's... You can... You can let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dijek, how was your acting class today? Yeah. What did you learn? Today... What was your soliloquy? Today was not... Uh, technically acting class today was the business of of acting this business uh, this, this particular I'm in three classes now and this particular class is basically just like um, like today we did headshots and resume of which I have neither so mm. that was a very ineffective day for me but I sent it like a oh. like a wrestling headshot that's why so whenever you take uh, eight by tens like whenever you take your wrestling photos yeah. just have them just that's go close it on your face or wear like a plain shirt. Yeah, that's, that's and I use that. I, I use like that I, for everything. I, I kind though. of did, and he made a bunch of great points. Like I could easily go out and get regular headshots. I'm, I'm nowhere close. To, first of all, like this I mean, you could probably a, get regular headshots. This, at was, work. this was more of like a, I can, and this was more of a day for like here's what I can do in the future moving forward. Because right now I'm not like like what am I gonna do? Go film a movie while I'm on fucking NX. No one's. It's not. There's no point for me having a headshot right now. I have no resume. I have no anything. So nobody's looking to hire me for movies. Yeah, but what if you real, only get what? uglier? <laughs> well, you, gotta keep, you, gotta keep them, you gotta keep them. That's good because yeah. Dijak's kind of filled Nathan Jones' spot when Nathan Jones retires yeah. of being big, vaguely Eastern European goon. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna love you in Mad Max I, I Furiosa yeah, Three. I, I think, I think we all know that the transition from WWE to acting is typically more of like a, uh, hey, you're in WWE, right? Want to be a fucking what want to be a it's, henchman? Do, be yeah, a yeah, do you want, want a be, job out to right. Tom Cruise? So I want, right. So I want to be... Which would be on brand for I you wanna, losing to a shorter guy. I yeah. want to be... Right. I want to be prepared from an acting standpoint to do something like that so I can eventually have more of a transition to acting and, and work my way into having... Shrian, no, work. not Australian because he's not ethnically Australian. He's just, <laughs> he's just a white guy. He's white. Yeah. Yeah. He's white. So yeah, I don't, I don't know that the... <laughs> Big European gooner. I don't, know that the, I don't know that the standard acting like things like a resume and a headshot are going to help me tremendously at this um, point. I, I mean, I don't actually, know that I can like build. Like he was telling me, I need to like build up my resume and stuff. I'm like, I don't think. That's how do you build be, up your acting resume? I don't, right, like I don't think that's acting. gonna be my path in the movies per se. I think I'm gonna. You're gonna do it. small indie projects, right? That's what he told me to do, and I'm like, I don't, I don't think that's what's happening. You're gonna be hired <laughs> as a goon. Yeah, and right. If, the right. If, if you're really, good and he said, I showed him the headshot. He's like, oh, you're you're gonna be. This headshot is good if you want to be typecast as just a movie movie villain, and I was like, "That's yeah, kind of what I want." Fine, yeah, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> I'm like, I'd be totally fine with it's that. It's a living. And then I can wait, if, once I start doing that, then you can start to be like, "Hey, I'm." David I mean, Tisa, Batista. I'm, Batista yeah. did the right, exactly. exact same. Right. Like he's a goon. That's like exactly. he was a like no line goon, and right. then he got another Correct. role, and then he gets yeah. a little bit more. And then they give him a line. And it's like, "Hey, you did that line pretty well." Wow, he did good line. line. Then he got some training, and it's that's now it's exactly like, now he gets to be a leader. So much like WWE. Exactly. And every class, all three classes, three in a row, every single time, the professor like stops the class and they're like, like, hang on, we got to talk about this guy. That's, this is super interesting. Look at your thing. Look at you're in the WWE and the, and they talk about me and I'm like, oh, this is what it feels like when a non wrestler comes into <laughs> WWE. Everyone's like, hey, you're so interesting. Fuck wrestling. Who cares? But, but they're this thing and, and you'll be a great actor one it, day. And that's it. It's it like us it when like we're that. talking to Logan Paul about fuck wrestling. It doesn't matter, but you'll be fucking great at it. You'll be a WrestleMania. We're, we can't wait to use you a million times. I'm like, you guys just like me because I'm not an actor. That's, yeah. what, yeah. that's what the, yeah. the appeal is, right? That's now. what it is, right? Just being different. Right. It's, it's just different. Because yeah. they see a six million actors. They're like, hey, one non-actor. Right. Well, I mean, we're we're basically actors. And can't a can't a good director like you know get what they want out of you anyway? <laughs> yeah, I guess. There, there's definitely I I can sense that like not so much with with the guy who who um who runs the I, I'm not like trying to see this. <laughs> somebody I'm, said I'm yo I dipped to take a shower did swerve change. <laughs> <laughs> he probably owns this show. He was in NXT. Um, no, the guy I'm taking classes with, his name's Howard Fine, and he's actually, if you, if any of you watched the uh, the Cody Rhodes document, documentary, documentary, documentary. <laughs> are you fucking stupid? <laughs> documentary, you're so documentary. you're so Eastern <laughs> European. What is wrong with you? My well, brain just so well, well, if you watch the Cody Rhodes documentary, documentary. documentary. yeah, documentary. Howard was in the Cody Rhodes documentary. He's, oh, sh- 
He's friends with uh, Diamond Dallas Page and Cody. Oh, and shit. He used to come. He was the guy who came. So he's the wrestling to, act, like coach? He, not really. Okay. He used to be, in a sense, in that he used to come to the PC occasionally, but not really anymore. He's. I think what happened, if I'm piecing it all together, I think what happened is they probably... WWE was doing the thing that they normally do, which is like, we're holier than thou. We can do anything we want. So they were like, find us the back best acting coach in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. So they did, and they brought him in. And I'm taking his classes now, and I'm like, oh, this is not very applicable to professional wrestling yeah. whatsoever. Like, you know, like you, you can't act in pro wrestling. There, there's an essence of acting, but it's almost closer to ad lib than it is to actual acting. Um, and WWE, when you get scripts and lines, I would say it's such an over the top theatrical performance. Though. And it's the like, lines are it's you got to project, like scream. You got to get people to notice you. It's way more important in pro wrestling to like make a scene than I, it is I actually to be believable. Would say that acting classes have helped me more in matches. Than yes. In yes. Yeah. I would 100% Because agree. the emotional beats of a match. And the psychology of it and everything yeah. making sense and believing what you're doing yeah. and believing in yourself and going out there and being like, this is real, I believe in my... That's all way closer Promos, to Promos, no. Promos is like, I just got to say no. as many catchphrases, I got to I gotta scream as loud as I can and make as many funny fucking faces so that... How's your, how's your one syllable like catchphrase one. going, by the way? <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Are you working on it? No. Be <laughs> jail! 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 jail. <laughs> I, I feel like every... Guess what, bitch? You're going to jail! <laughs> <laughs> jail! That's jail. the part where we jail. say the thing. Jail. We say that We too. say jail. We, we say, say jail. Oh, too we many say. words. Too many words. Too many words. <laughs> My favorite thing about the Cody thing was... Because uh, what was it? We want Cody. That was the hashtag. Yes. Hashtag and then um, a couple people were like, Cody, too many syllables. What if uh, just woe movement? <laughs> what if uh, and the whole crowd no, going, you, whoa, 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 as opposed to We Want Cody, which actually is kind of, like, you know, newish. The whole thing is terribly inorganic, which is peak 2023. Wait a I don't think that's true. How is no, it inorganic? It is. No, is, are you talking about the actual reaction or what? The, the reason that people are coming up like this for Cody is because it, it, it starts organic, but the reason it's snowballing as much as it yes. is is they because, are, it they feels, are forcing because it feels like Daniel Bryan. Yes. Because they're like, oh, that was so fun when we did the Daniel Bryan stuff. Let's keep doing it. I don't know keep... if that's true. Oh, well, I... Cody's... Uh, I'm going to get buried for this and everyone can clip it and whatever. Cody's not the underdog that Daniel Bryan was. <laughs> Is he? Cody okay. just main evented WrestleMania yes, but last year. Here's a counterpoint. He just won his Hold second on. Royal Rumble. Wait a minute. He's not climbing. From the, he's not trying. Like they put him in a huge program for the second biggest title in the whole thing, and people are angry because he's not getting his second WrestleMania. No, in a, no, no. Like, that's to not be fair, Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan at the time had beat John Cena clean in the main event of SummerSlam for the WWE Championship, the most prestigious title in the company and the biggest fucking title in the world. That's more, he won that's that more belt, of a... Had his run. Just, it what was, just it was happened right is before. they threw him in the Wyatt family or Summer something. SummerSlam <laughs> happened. He wins the belt. Yeah. He loses it. Yeah. Um, Nobody was down on him at that point. They got down on him when he, <laughs> when he wasn't in the Royal Rumble and he was in the, the, the Wyatt. Rumble. They threw him in a Wyatt family for some reason and it was doing this nonsense. I don't, I don't even People remember. People were like, what is happening? He lost it to Randy... They had a program. It ended. He was in the Wyatt family. That paid off with a great angle where he turned on Wyatt. Mm -hmm. They had a great match at the Rumble. He lost. He wasn't in the Rumble. And then the program, I think, was he was going to work Sheamus. And then the fans revolted. Right? Yeah. But But why did they? Why did they revolt, Manny? Because he was so fucking over. Because he was so over and the program he was in was what? Nothing. Nothing. It was nothing, right? Yeah. Cody's in a huge top pro. He's in tons of top and, and his other, was, and, okay, his, and his other option was to be in the other title match. Like but, just, but hear me out. Okay. This whole thing could have been avoided if Cody didn't win the Rumble. That's what people keep saying. And <laughs> my, it doesn't make any fucking My sense. brain goes, we can't be simultaneously angry with 
one decision that a Booker, because if we're if we're angry about Cody not being, in the, I don't even want to get into this stuff because I know it's going to come. I'm just saying that it's so. If shit. we're going to get angry about Cody not being booked in the main event of WrestleMania, then we're acknowledging that pro wrestling gets booked and that someone else is making these. Decisions. Yeah, of course. That they did that with then Brian. We're also getting angry at that person for making him win the Royal Rumble. <laughs> like, well, my... <laughs> honestly, yeah. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. No, you should have just. You not done yes, it. No, fuck that. Because uh, why would he win the Rumble and point at Roman and go? Word for word, I'm coming for you. Is that what he I said? I, I choose you. I see, and then the next week, <laughs> he fucking pulls up the cuck chair and he sits Ra- down. Did anyone watch Raw tonight? I didn't see Raw, but we were from, from the spatterings that I got, it sounds like maybe they alluded to this being a plan. Sure. Yeah. I can see them pivoting absolutely and doing a triple threat. No, 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 not even a pivot. Like it, like it's. I don't know. Somebody, I think that's cool. like the plan was to get Cody sympathy. I think that's cool. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. I mean. Yeah, People... they did. Did what? Tell me what. Someone write like a summary of Raw. <laughs> <laughs> in the chat. And it's I, gonna I, be I gone. usually scroll my phone. I was busy paying attention in class like a good student. I, <laughs> Somebody I pointed out how American Dream model employee gets screwed out of his big promotion. Is, Who's which, someone? <laughs> what, like Probably someone in the crowd? Ass like, Eater 69 <laughs> on Twitter. But it is, it is a good point. <laughs> is, okay, how do you make this guy... Ass Eater 69. Because people love... Is that name taken? People love... <laughs> Of course it is. People love Cody, <laughs> but he hasn't had like sympathy until now. And sympathy is what makes a great baby face. Of course. 100% so agree. It, it I'm this, just so confused about what I the But I don't think is. I don't believe that Rock would do it if he knew it made him the bad guy. The bad guy. The bad guy. Or do you think he would? Cuz historically he's been very generous and very giving as a as a performer. Maybe he he's, is. He's put maybe over, that's maybe that's you know, his board Hurricane of Jericho yeah. like there's been a bunch of people that Rock had no problem putting over and making This is this is my whole point. Is I don't think cuz if I'm trying to if I'm trying to put myself in the in the the fans shoes who feel this way right now, which I can cuz I'm a fan too. And I watch most I, I miss Rod and I, but I I follow the product pretty closely and I watch all of it. If I'm putting myself in their shoes, this feels like an opportunity to redo Daniel Bryan. That's what it feels like to me. It doesn't feel like, I'm so furious about Cody and I can't believe The Rock did this. Those feel like like stretches to get to what they want. Which is this whole thing that we've been doing for the past? Well, they want to be. They want to be involved. Of I, I want to refeel things that I felt yeah. ten or fifteen years ago. No, for whatever well, reason. And, but that, also, but also to that point, they have a formula of like, uh, like the movement thing, right? Yeah, they did that for LA Knight too. I wish I would get a movement. Yeah, thing. no, no, Absolutely. exactly. Like they Somebody know get a movement for me. They know with, that if they everybody trend, tells me how big of an underdog I am and how what I should the, be this what was the movement. Like, movement I the said, movement never yeah. happens. <laughs> people, I cut a promo and people go, ah, "I don't like his fucking face." And they, then, they, then the movement dies. <laughs> so, like, they know, they know if I get this many trending and if I get if I right. get people to comment on every WWE right. thing, it's like they gamify it. Right? Yeah, of course. Which, I, I think you're too big. That's what she said. <laughs> I think you're genuinely too big for anyone to feel sympathy for you. And Cody is the limit of And Cody's size. pretty much the limit because he's not small at all. You know? Uh, he's, he's big. Thank so you for subscribing, six, six Robbie Nill. 6'1", 220 is the With the Prime. Limit. It kind of is because, like, I, I, people are like, man, Dijak always fucking has match of the night every single time he wrestles. Drew, Drew kind of got it. Um, a little bit. When? The Rumble. They were going to do that. They were going to put him over anyway. I'm not saying they want... I, I'm not saying he was like... Uh, they are always pegged him as a future world champion. I agree. I would peg but him. like the crowd got behind him as like a, like a quasi underdog babyface. Like against Brock. He was it. more like a heel turning babyface like a diesel. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's more right. But he wasn't like, uh, oh, this guy's been mistreated for so long. Yeah. Um... It's just, it's weird because it's not Daniel Bryan enough to where it doesn't feel like Daniel Bryan to me because even though I did make the argument that yes, he had won the WWE title, he never felt like the guy, whereas Cody, even though he never won the belt, has felt like the guy for the past year. Yes. Right? As a oh, babyface? Sure, yeah. 100%. He's been the top babyface. Yeah. Whereas Bryan was not the top babyface because, you know, Cena was around and shit. Right. But, um, 
So yeah, I kind of see where you're coming from, but like it's different because Cody is. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe, yeah. And you, okay, you being six foot seven, and fucking whatever, and especially as a heel, no, it's, not the it's going to be. It's no one's gonna like. No normal person's gonna it's go. Not gonna poor be. guy. It's time. <laughs> They're gonna say that big cunt is fucking. Why is he complaining? There's no jail movement coming. Jail, <laughs> jail movement. Yeah, especially with your cop gimmick, it's just not. You well, know. yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm not like bitching. I'm not. <laughs> That, comes, I just with, think that it, comes later. I just think it'd be great if I could give, give cops a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd like to also make a bajillion dollars in main event WrestleMania, but like, I don't... The gel movement sounds my like... My story's not important to some people's story. <laughs> <laughs> we get to finish somebody else's story, because they're, don't, I they're don't, more important human beings than I am. <laughs> I don't think that this is just a Daniel Bryan retread, and I honestly also okay. think that because yeah, I mean, maybe, lot, maybe you convinced me. A lot of fans who no, are... No one's been a bigger supporter of Cody than me. I, th- I think he's done a fucking fantastic job in his role. A lot of fans who like, are... The commitment to it is unbelievable. Well, of course. Because I, kn- I know him as a person and he's... He, it, th- this, it's all encompassing. For him to continuously present the way that he has, it's... it's, it's exhausting. Exhausting, yes. That's the word. It's exhausting. I'm not going to say it's not him because it, it, it is him... But it's like to be a, on. He's it's always a on. He's always on. on. We were just talking about how when we're on, it's very different. Like when oh I'm, my god, yeah. yes. When you're talking to media and um, fans, Ugh. signing, it just um, drains you. It's very fucking draining. death. Like it, when you're when you have to not I be your never, truest self, I, it yeah. is never very I draining. Never. Even if it's a, even if it's a positive interaction, like really? I can have a great conversation with somebody that I respect. The, it, just just no, doing we couldn't this do this. Yeah. constantly. It would I, my brain would explode. I need I need. A day to sit in a hotel room and just stare at the wall. I, 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 just, <laughs> just, like just stare at the wall. <laughs> but you know what I'm substituting. Uh, speaking of that, Jack, you don't yeah. want to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to, I just need to stare at the wall. Really. Yes, you. Uh, it's a great wall. <laughs> nice walls. Nice wow, walls. Wow, look at those walls. Look at the walls. Wow. Look at the walls in this room. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a beautiful home. All right, so uh, let's circle back to the... Uh, our, our future endeavor as a uh, don't say that. I don't work for our our, <laughs> our our next uh, 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 assignment. Sir of, Nick, thanks for subscribing. Those are technically YouTube what's what's the name of our porn uh, review? <laughs> 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 yeah, we're. Starting I had a name. That. I had a name you for know? it a year ago, All right, what and it? I don't remember what it was. Oh, it was really clever. It was really it? good. What about um, the the sexing observer newsletter? <laughs> I don't. Re- I don't remember what it was. That's such a good name for it. It's probably. In, it's probably in the group chat somewhere. Find it for the porn podcast. Yeah, I, I remember you said it, and I it was exploded perfect. after. It I was said, that's it. That's the name. That's the. I don't remember what it was. I mean, we'll never, go back. And we're never gonna actually do it. So yeah, you are. <laughs> when you get fired, we'll do it. <laughs> when you get fired, we're gonna have so much fun. Well, I came out on Twitter that my contract's up in fucking three months or whatever. Inshallah, so. they will not remove it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your kids starve. <laughs> Inshallah. Inshallah. Inshallah, your kids go uh, homeless <laughs> so that we can, so that we can have fun at Bingo Halls and have fun together. Uh, <laughs> wrestling Voyeur newsletter. That's not bad. I said wrestling. I saw, I saw that, that somebody posted that and then I saw it a couple times. I'm like, oh, maybe it's one of those things because like every time someone's contract thing comes up, they start trending, and I was, I check the trending, and I'm like, nope, not good. <laughs> still nobody. No, you cares. know what's trending? <laughs> good. Nobody. <actually laughs> good. <laughs> ACAB. <laughs> Inshallah, digest to TPW. Would do this. We're trying to get. Uh, Dijak, we know you fed that story, little bro. Yeah. Damn, little bro. I, I taught the first. Per- tell them what I said. He yeah, said. He said that I didn't. I didn't even leak this. I yeah. said I didn't even leak this. Oh. I couldn't believe that it was buzzing. I didn't even leak it. Chat, little bros, you're not shocking. You feel about that? <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> we uh, we told him about how you pussied out of. Uh, I'm sorry, no gender language. We you were, uh, cocked out of. Cocked out of? Cocked. Cocked? Oh, cocked out of? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You dicked out of uh, re- trying to ratio the rock. I did. And and you know how over you would have been now because you did that no. before everybody? Imagine if you were the one that fired the first shot. You get, it's a, you gotta play, you gotta play the game correctly. You can't, once you try to ratio someone unsuccessfully, the whole gimmick goes out the window. I'm, a I'm, fan. I'm a, like 100 for 100 dude, on that ratio. a literal <laughs> nobody. A little nobody fan. I would not, I 
guarantee you, I just would not ratioed agree. the rock. Okay. Yeah, but that's different. Awkward gamer. Thank you. If I if I had d- if I had done it on Friday, I would have ratioed him badly. I also might get fired because that's my actual. Oh yeah, he's job. a board game. Yeah, that's my actual. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this digest? Plus, Actually, plus so. you guys know, and I've just explained for a hundred. I don't feel that way, so I wouldn't just say something just to. Um, when just I, to when get I posted the fake DM of The Rock talking about Poland and taking the titles, I got two DMs from active W wrestlers talking about how funny it was, and I responded, "That's your boss, little bro." <laughs> 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 you can't be talking shit. <laughs> I was not one of them. I've been I've been very Stop not very, but I've been I watched SmackDown and the pop for the rock was fucking enormous. Pop for the rock. To the point where I thought Twitter was completely overreacting. Yeah, but Because no. I've been telling these guys for months that Rock versus Roman is the money match. And I and I'm starting to see kind of the the, the turn and but WrestleMania is process. gonna make money regardless. And the it's Royal Rumble decision is obviously confusing. I was tweeting them the whole time. I don't think they were watching, but I was tweeting the whole time that I didn't think Cody was winning the Rumble. I thought that was a very odd decision. You thought the Rock was because I I thought I thought the Rock, I thought was, the Rock was coming back and he was gonna win the Rumble yeah. and go if, on. To if the Rock would have won the Rumble, we probably don't have it. This is what I'm. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's true. that's that's what made. And as we were as we started to question as the days went on, I started to think this feels more and more. By design, and if the people if the people find out it's by design, they might they might <laughs> totally <laughs> flip. We don't want we don't it. Want <laughs> if they find you out it's a pl- if they find out it's a plan, <laughs> I think they might double double turn, double like double back <laughs> turn. We want Rocky. We want Rocky. <laughs> like I don't yeah, know poor the, underdog. Except right? that'll be a double reverse psychology because he'll be the one who had a hand in planning yeah. it. So they'll be like, we want Die Jack, and uh, I'll made event. So what if okay so Thoughtful <laughs> has an interesting point yeah. what if making Cody win the Rumble was their attempt at diffusing the situation because uh, the Daniel Bryan situation was he wasn't even in the Rumble mm-hmm. and they chanted for Daniel Bryan the whole fucking Rumble dude wrestling can be a weird thing to, cause in hindsight it always looks super clear but when you're doing it you're never sure like what direction something is I going just I go. just don't give anybody like that winning much the product. Royal Rumble feels like a fucking great consolation <laughs> prize that anybody on this planet would take but like in this particular instance and in set of circumstances, it, it I guess it wasn't. Because in the mind of us as fans, who... Um, to me, it seemed very simple. Bring The Rock back in the Royal Rumble. Huge pop. He wins. You'd only have to do it for five game. seconds. Right, yeah, Number 30. Easy. Right. Yeah. Um, but maybe the philosophy was, oh, we want to save his first match for WrestleMania. When The Rock didn't come out, I think I immediately shifted to Punk. I said, oh, Punk, Punk must be winning. And facing Seth. And then it was Cody. And I was like, man, that's... What a weird... What an- Imagine if Punk won and then got hurt. Or rather, was hurt. Yeah. When he was supposed yeah, to. yeah. Would yeah. they have called an audible? That would have been interesting. Some people thought they did call an audible. I know they didn't, but... Well, I don't know. That, I well, F- Fightful says they didn't, but... You, you think maybe? We we respect <laughs> Fightful's uh, I think, source. I think source. Sean knows as well as anybody that he's been leaked... <laughs> lack of info many many times nobody told him about punk nobody told him about this bunch of <laughs> Twitter hates the rock <laughs> almost what? as much as South Koreans what, hate what is, solo what is that about what is yeah, that about what is that about I don't get that what is that uh, so they did a they did a poll of South Korean wrestling fans mm-hmm. and worst wrestler of the year was Solo Sokoa why and um, least improved Solo Sokoa <laughs> it was most like... overrated Solo Sokoa yeah. I have no fucking clue they hate him over there <laughs> And nobody knows why. Was it just one of those things where like only like seventeen South Koreans watch? Probably, Bond, yeah. Maybe. It's probably they all got they together and they're like, other. "Let's fucking." It's probably the most influential. Solo. The most influential of that fan group probably hates Solo. Everyone's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, that guy." Yeah. Right, right, yeah, I assume that's what the it was. taste, the Meltzer, the taste maker yeah, of South, South Korea. South Korean Meltzer. Yeah, dude, so the good. the taste makers on Twitter. You can almost. One of them's in your chat right now. <laughs> you can you can pin them down. Sante? I st- yeah, I start to yeah. <laughs> I start to to see the the trends, and I'm like, oh, there's like Sante, you there's like you don't understand people. the power that you have. There's you like hold the tremendous amount of power. There's like 45 people who use it to help us, <laughs> who collectively can like start to get things going. It's um because like one of them will say it to the other one, and then they'll all agree. Wait, fucking the rock put to... over Santi, put him he in. He did, his, uh... but he, he was right, he yeah. was wrong <laughs> because he was like, wow, the reactions have been so positive, and it was Santi, and he like it was like kind of like vaguely like what did he say? He said like, wow, this 
is a moment. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then immediately afterwards, yeah, he used you as propaganda. propaganda. He cut you off right before you said, I actually would prefer Cody, but... <laughs> I, 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 I think it's by design. What, what, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't watch that, but like, was it like a trolling thing or what? Let's or, watch it right now. If he was, if he was a, if he was a, if he'll rock... Went into Mania, would then based. everybody would love it. That would be big. Everybody would love it. But then him. that would also be very much a rehash. Of what if, no, no, no. But what if what if Heel Rock is like uh, is the fake Hollywood Rock that everybody thinks That's he fun. is? That would be fun. What if it was like it's a really, meta? It's all very like captivating. Like it, I, I I had something to do, but I really wanted to watch Rock. He knows you very well. <laughs> All right, Santi, you got chills. I can feel it. <laughs> you came. You, but you look conflicted. Because you're not marking out. This is it's the rock happening. space. It's happening is all he says. Oh my god, it's happening. They're doing it. This bitch is going to steal the main event. Sweet brothers in arms. They are doing the rock versus Roman freaking reign. <laughs> That's where it ends. <laughs> what, They're what doing the, it. Why? The, Why? It's, Why are they? Don't backtrack. That was a pop. That was a pop. Don't backtrack. <laughs> Don't even... try to rewrite history. Okay, we're not Mark. You can't, even pop. you can't swerve our opinion. <laughs> to figure Sonsi, I can, I can literally see the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. You went like this. You went. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking popped the half chuck. Don't like try to work. Okay, we're going to get three of the best workers in the way. You're going to work us, okay? Adi Save that for your marks online, all Thank right? Thank you for subscribing, Adi. Bound for Glory debut away. I used to get I used to get super jealous because, like, I would tweet about something and I'd try to make, like, a point about something. And then, like, one of these, like, influencer people online would do it and they'd get, like, twice as many. So, yeah. I'm like, how are they? I'm like, I'm talking about me. Yeah. And they get more reaction talking about when me we, than I get talking about me. Our last episode of Making It Now, Mansion. thankfully, it's the opposite because I'm just... I, You're over. Yeah, I'm fine. super over. I'm totally uh, <laughs> uh, we, when we posted our final episode of Making It Maximum, that's when, like, we, we would always post highlights or fucking funny jokes. And yeah. we'd be like, like, I don't know, 300, 400 likes. Right, yeah, exactly. And then on the last episode, like, Public Enemies podcast yeah, it was. <laughs> it was like... Like, this shit's hilarious. Fifteen thousand likes. And we're like, what the fuck? The, the, the series, episode? the series gets renewed. This is the last fucking episode, and, and just now, like, why? We had more followers. Like, how the fuck is this possible? Very bizarre. Uh, it's very bizarre. I think well, they're, just, they're, they're better at Twitter than us. Uh, well, okay, but let's see. Santi, and then um, you do, yeah, th there is who else? Who else? There uh, is. A, I can name some people. There is Public a enemies do it for uh, black people. There is right? a backup hangman. I, fo I follow most of them. Back, you follow backup <laughs> yeah, hangman. I follow all of them. Backup hangman. For for a while, I was super against him. Like I'm not following. And then I was no, like, no, but legit because why, like why it I, helps why, you. Why would I fight this? This fucking guy. Um, he just was a Twitter fan, and now he's in fucking punks texts, like legit talking to this to like wrestlers. Yeah. Just from from gaining goodwill of talking about AEW, which is it's 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 gotta be the dream, it's right? It's sort of like our version of uh of um, like a like a sports uh reporter. You know how you like kind of, but we have really? reporters. Yeah, but the, it's a little different. It's it really is a little different because you get do reporters. Start I don't. I don't like, get a lot out of like this. May come as a surprise to people, but I don't leak stuff to dirt sheets often. <laughs> it's happened occasionally, but not not. I'm not like shut up. <laughs> <laughs> It's, we just happened to be told that Dijak's contract is coming up in three months. I, oh, again, the janitor that wasn't, told us. It we, wasn't me. We found out immediately after his great match on the PLE. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. It's it's. This was not a strategic leak in the least. It wasn't. I, okay. I promise you that I did not tell anyone to do that. I did not feed that information intentionally. It's not it, nothing like that. Mm. Surprisingly, I'm surprised that I didn't. <laughs> but um. But yeah, like I'm not like. Are you the greatest? Are you the greatest? Who is it? The greatest. No, I, I have no burner. I have no. Uh, Come on. I don't. You used to. Shockingly, you used I, to. no, I do not. I've you never didn't had a used burner. to have a burner. I've never had a burner. I promise you. I swear to God, on my grandparents' graves, I've never had a burner. I had a burner. Which is fine. I I I I, I can usually. Scroll I said the, the N word. I can usually scroll comments and be like, "That's a wrestler. 
That's a wrestler, which is fine. I don't pronounce them for it. I, Remember that I, one? Time? I vanity search constantly, and I play it off like I don't, but I do. I, I, uh, I, um, I'm doing the thing where I where I follow people who I feel have a, a pragmatic influence over the audience. Oh, and Santi's explaining like how it works. A, Fan-driven content is pretty new in wrestling. It started getting popular with the pandemic. That makes sense. Before it was all news outlets or wrestler podcasts. Yeah, hundred percent agree. Yeah. And I'm I, I try to keep up with the times. I'm seeing that that's popular, and my for you page will be like, I'll I'll keep seeing the same names over and over again. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's true. I'm like, I need to. Yeah, yeah. Put these people over for what they're doing. They're what, doing a good like, job. So I'm going to put them over. I'm going to retweet them. And then they'll say good things about me because yeah. they're following because they're easily, easily is, swayed. Would it be a faux pas to like DM them and say, it's hey. not even It's not even easily swayed because almost, not almost, every single person that I follow and have some sort of positive relationship in that sense, they said something nice about me. And that's how it started. Right. So if someone says something nice about me, or they're like, hey, this guy's under rare, this guy had a great match, a cool move, or whatever, uh, thank you for putting me over. I'm going to put you over for putting me over. Now we're going to create I'm a gonna relationship. I'm going to put you over now, putting me now, over. Both as, each other over. As a fan content creator, now, because you have a, a relationship, You're in. they can't be honest about you. Yeah. If they don't like something. If, this if his is, job this is, is to be a sports, reporter, he's no longer how, biased. That's how sports reporting works. Pow, yeah. I followed Pow, because she was very nice to us. That's how sports reporting works. It really is. Um, I'm trying to find the Trust one. me, there's a Who's fucking, the guy? With there's the a Kevin? community of them that fucking hate my guts. Because I, I don't have a... It's because they're AW fans. They're, black. they're almost oh. lit up black. And, and, and four or five years ago, you The black insulted. community is very supportive of me. Really? <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. Because oh. you are We've come Keith's so far. Brother? Like, what? what? Oh, yeah, because you're... Because you're Keith? No, because he's Keith's sympathical. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I guess that made sense. Uh, I Beast. I think I Beast... Definitely. That sounds familiar. Yeah, Ivy's. Do I follow them? Yeah, Ivy's is Roman. This guy loves Roman Reigns. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, yes, I do follow Roman him. That guy loves uh, Roman Reigns. Hang him high, that sounds familiar. Hang him high sounds familiar. I'm trying to find the guy with the Kevin Owens cowboy hat. I see him all the time. You know that's what I'm talking him. about? That sounds familiar. Chad, who's I, do, I, don't, I don't know. Wrestling Humble. Yes, Wrestling Humble. Yeah, that's him. Wrestling yeah. Humble. 88,000 followers. Holy I can't, shit. I can't name one of them my off my tongue, but up. they're burned into my brain because I just see them so... We're constantly sending. They tweet clips nonstop. Yeah, I think that's part of it. Yeah, is is just a. Well, to be fair, like if I was a fan, it'd be much easier to follow these accounts than try and keep up with all the promotions. Like, oh, do I want to watch Raw tonight? I'll look at whoever. Oh, they're tweeting that this thing's good. Right, I'll check yeah. it out. What was the uh, the Japanese wrestling uh, gif? Thing that we posted <laughs> Dijak our, acting uh, like he ain't chronically our finish, online. which was big for us. <laughs> oh, uh, Dark Pearl. Dark Pearl Russell. Pearl Russell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yes, the I followed that. Yes, yeah. Dark Pearl. So, so we said Dijak acting like he ain't chronically online. Wow. I'm not yeah. acting like I'm not. Chron- okay, I, I am acting like I'm not. But in this form, in this format, here I'm, we know. I'm very we all know. Clear that I am, yes, chronically online. I'm not going to shit on any of these Twitter jabronis. Although I haven't logged on to Twitter in a while. We need them. We need them, especially as indie wrestlers. We fucking need these people. I'm not shitting on them at all. You know how big it is that we have Santi in our chat? I'm shitting on the ones who shit on me. Because there's a whole fucking... The slew of them that come out uh, like twice a year. If I say something remotely negative about like Okada, then like... That get flooded with fucking. <laughs> That's is, how I felt. That's how I felt is, when I joked about is, Cody. Which is obviously I like coming on these because I can. <laughs> which is obviously in fucking character, you morons! Like <laughs> you idiots! Well, like, you, I know Okada. I've met him. Like we I know him I better watched, than all of you. My, the first Ring of Honor <laughs> show I ever watched live had Dijak and Okada right, on the same like, card. Like you guys aren't sticking up for him on my behalf. Like that's me. Saying something funny about a guy I know, so you guys just were totally off base on the the. Six, there's there's been a couple times. The six million AEW fans who buried me for that were just totally off base. CM Punk fans murdered me. I now know CM Punk. I've met CM Punk. I know him better than you all do. So you guys think you have this wonderful relationship? They always, don't. yeah, they always feel like they need to defend them from they, their friends, right, from from their yeah, shoot right, friends, from other people that know them and actually like they know where they exist. Like I forgot, what, so, I said something about somebody and like everybody reacted. So and I was like, this is actually my good friend. This is a joke. I don't remember. The who Okada one was hilarious because I doubled back on it. The, next the picture of him and Chase you. <laughs> it's Chase. That's that was very funny. It popped. Dream. <laughs> it's very funny. 
I think I don't think anything has popped me personally more of my own work than today. Santi, I saw that you were feuding with uh, Liv Morgan fans. If, if why nobody, would you? Why would you shake that behind? Good luck. Yeah, that's. I'm not. I would never touch. Uh, oh my god. Uh, a, I need to. I, we need to I figure got, out. I got. I got the Diva smallest. Stand. Taste of it one time, completely unrelated. I got the smallest taste of it because one you time. complimented the wrong girl, right? Yes, that was the second taste of it I got. Um, no, that was the first taste of it I got because I said something really nice about Bianca and Trin's fans, like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, she's great too. Like, I promise, just putting over all this. women are great. <laughs> like, the, uh, every person ever is great. Like, please, <laughs> just wanted to say something nice. Um, but the second time, and I won't get into the details because I don't want to relive it or rehash it, but I said, <laughs> somebody did something negative and I responded in a negative fashion to them. This is a person we clearly don't like each other. And I made a comment uh, that involved another, I made a comment that involved Sasha Banks and her fans. Oh, it was fool. not negative about her. That's why you put a star in her name so that they can't find you. Her fans attacked me. <laughs> And I was like, this was like a second hit. Like, I said, like, I don't want to relive it or rebrand it up or anything, but like, I said, it's, hey, it's try, it. I said, hey, try not being a dickhead to her. And they were like, don't you bring her name into this. I'll fucking kill you. I like, like 16, like, million How people. dare you like, evoke don't you her name? And I was like, please, please, no, I didn't mean that. Like, please don't. Leave me like I, I promise. So, you, I know, you know what's insane? What's insane <laughs> is that reaction to like, like a, of a Sasha Banks stand. Yeah. Or like a Lib Morgan Stan is a microcosm of like uh, actual so like the big yeah, like Taylor, a, like a Taylor, Taylor Swift oh fan or um, a Beyonce fan or a Nicki like oh, Nicki Minaj yeah. is completely unhinged and is like downward spiraling right now and her stands are like doxing people and they're setting <laughs> places on fire Do like they're Grace, completely losing it. Grayson Waller must have a squeaky clean I was gonna around. say cause how did they <laughs> not he dabbled up? in the, the Taylor yeah. Swift thing. Uh, they, they will find whatever it is they, they're probably like showing up at his house with like guns and stuff <laughs> we, <laughs> we're we're actually very fortunate that Taylor Swift has no ambition outside of being maybe a maybe, singer maybe <laughs> I, she I, be bet, a yes. I bet yes. I bet <laughs> I bet because um I bet because Swifties are outside of the pro wrestling bubble that they would see a pro wrestler talking shit and be like, that's just a pro. He's, no, they were very he's... mad. Were they? They, they were, were legitimately crazy. mad that a fake fight, yeah. silly goose talk guy well, was, well, they talking, Taylor Taylor was fake fight, friend. silly goose talking to about fair, Taylor Swift. To be fair, they didn't know he was a wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't. Oh, so they no. just thought it was some fucking exactly. guy and they were like, let's, let's kill, let's him. kill him. Let's kill <laughs> him. Let's destroy his children yes. and make sure that <laughs> he never eats food ever again. <laughs> like imagine if Taylor Swift ever just said like vote for blank <laughs> um I think she might have no she's, uh, she's famously never, not never. which people also get upset about because they're like why don't you use your power to tell everybody to not vote for Trump I mean if you if you if the decision we did a, th we, we did a thing at the at the performance center where they did like I just happened to be there that day and we did like a like a a private show for like some woman and I had no idea who it was and like halfway through the a show customs? You, halfway you through thought the you were done with halfway customs. through the show someone was like that's Donna Kels Kelsey Kelchi and I was like I don't know who that is and like her son is Travis Kelsey and Jason Kelsey and I was like I don't know who those are either <laughs> how would you know who and they were like mom is? they were like they were like he's the he, he's a football player in the NFL he's dating Taylor Swift I'm like oh, oh that one. guy how the fuck do you know what someone's mom looks like? Because Taylor they, Swift because is they so put famous and so over that you can be three degrees of separation from her and still be super over in the realm of <laughs> professional wrestling. Yeah, she so should yeah. come and take the rock <laughs> spot and feud with Roman for me. Taylor? Yeah. I think I th I might be wrong in this, but I think either Kelsey or one of his teammates really likes pro wrestling a lot and wants to kind of be a pro wrestler after he's done being a football player. Don't do it. Well, I got bad news for you, pal. <laughs> he's going to do it. <laughs> if you're a super successful NFL player, <laughs> well, that's so, a much easier role. What's, what's, what's his name? George Kittle. 
Kittle's the one who that's I think I think they're both tight ends maybe and oh. and they're they're maybe both on the same team. I don't I don't That's what they call them? I used to be such a big NFL <laughs> fan. I used to be such a big NFL fan. Now the Patriots are fucking bad that I don't like I can't watch any of it anymore, so I have no idea who the football players My are. My father in law also stopped watching football. This must be like when Austin turned heel. <laughs> when the Patriots that was me. Watching, that yeah. was me. Yeah. I stopped watching wrestling when Austin turned heel. Yeah. I stopped watching football when, when the, the Patriots, Patriots started, started sucking. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Damn. It's so bad I can't watch it. How do you, how could you so quickly forget the Patriots used to suck all the time? So quickly. What was it before Belichick? When when my dad played for the Patriots, they sucked yeah, and I had to live with I that. <laughs> I remember it, but I was like six. What do you mean? How old? You're older than me, okay. and I remember it. It wasn't my father's job. <laughs> if my dad was living in a <laughs> sea of discomfort and, and passionate fan base being angry at him, that would impact my childhood a little more than, hey, local football team bad. It's kind of, it's kind of stressful for me. In 2001, my life didn't change because local football team good. I was just oh, like a I bigger fan. Else. <laughs> what? <laughs> I had to carry that weight. Right. <laughs> I had to go into school with my dad's jersey and be like, your dad sucks. Get out of here. Okay. Mad a villain. I stopped watching. And it's play. not because you're the only black kid here. It's because you're the only Patriots dad. Son. I, he says, I stopped watching wrestling when WWE put EC3 on TV. The first time or the second time? And, and why? What was the comment? He says, I stopped watching wrestling when WWE put EC3 on TV. Because they kind of for, barely for, featured for him? For five seconds every week? Maybe? Of silence? You must really hate him. That's like What a, did he do to you? That's a very strong that's amount of hate. One. That's like if you stopped watching WWE. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't even get sort of canceled until he was gone. After, yeah. WWE, right? I don't think he's actually canceled. I think he's just like crazy. Maybe. He had a feud with Ambrose. I don't even... Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you say so dude there was an era of WWE in 2019 maybe it was maybe one of the worst years where it was just life. like I don't think I want to go to the main roster <laughs> <laughs> was, and then we did <laughs> I'm convinced that like AW was born because of that oh 100% because WWE was so bad it was so, so bad, bad. Yeah, it was so bad in 2019 like every week was a different show and you never knew what show you were going to get you're making you're giving it too much credit because that sounds exciting <laughs> in in the no, worst, you in the worst way exactly what you were going in the worst was, way possible. Yeah, it somehow was unpredictable while being boring, which is like, yeah. how do you even do that? You know. And then in the pandemic, it it almost went in the opposite direction to like a staggeringly bad degree, where it became like it was Lynchian. The same match like forty six weeks because in a it row. Was the only people who weren't <laughs> Here's who didn't have say, COVID. Okay. Here's what like I say: Mace versus Ricochet, <laughs> T Bar versus Ricochet. <laughs> Slapjack versus Ricochet, and it's like the same segment. The yeah, same. But, but here's like, what, what I like about the pandemic. We all beat him. It We're gave fun. us some really like, like if you love the theater of the absurd, <laughs> it was the best time for wrestling because you had like a, a 15 he, minute segment where Shane McMahon would come out with a microphone and Braun would be in the ring, and Shane would go, Braun, what are you, uh, s -s -s stupid? <laughs> and for 15 minutes, because he forgot his lines, he'd be like, What I'm trying to say is, now hold on a second, Braun, no, take it easy. What I mean to say, and this is speaking from my heart. Hold on, Bron. Don't come any closer. Take it easy. Bron. Why is this so spot on? Bron, a person like me is different from a person like you. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to quickly. <laughs> it's the heavy breathing. And quickly. he goes, Bron, now help me understand. I'm going to quickly disavow. <laughs> Why? Because I, had, I, had, back. because I had drinks with Shane McMahon and he's really he's I love Shane he's he loves, we love nicest, Shane just one because he has people. one bad promo and I loved <laughs> it because it was very funny yeah I don't <laughs> him forgetting his life I wouldn't call it a bad promo I would call it a 4D promo hold on, hold on. <laughs> do you, do you think me. do you think maybe uh, in I remember enjoying years, that promo and the fact that I remember it for three years after the fact do you think maybe in 10 years it made a lasting impression this is, will like this is what I'm talking I'm about. I'm already there. This You're is what there. I'm talking about with the acting to professional wrestling dynamic. Like if he just did a believable <laughs> promo, I wouldn't remember it and care. <laughs> but he did. He didn't. It, that was not believable. It, could it was be, entertaining. It, it, I mean, it, it's WWE, so he very well could have gotten that script ten minutes. I don't think before. I ever believed that Vince McMahon was fucking. <laughs> yeah, you know, get out of here, you. <laughs> you know that thing. What was Retribution <laughs> doing on the show? 
Well, Ron, I guess I should. I guess I should get really get what's on my chest off. And <laughs> I should be talking. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I think I really should get what's, get what's on, my, on chest. my chest off. Face off. I think I should get what's on my chest off. Pro wrestling <laughs> is so stupid. That that's good. <laughs> Ron, I think Do you understand what I'm saying here? Do you guys understand what I'm saying here? Everyone in the chat's probably pro wrestling fans. We're all Ron, pro I guess I should. I guess I should get really get what's on my chest off. And this is good. I should be talking to you right now. And, and you know what else I love? This is good. I love the air of like meandering crowd noise. <sighs> it's like a hair dryer going on. Dude, I have PTSD from that. And do, I, you remember, do you remember how we would be standing you remember in the wrestling ring? In yeah, that? we'd wrestle. And we, all right, we're in break, and we're just break. standing in the ring, and the, Water. the fans like can't see us, so they're just like looking around, and the crowd, <laughs> the crowd noise going, <laughs> and we're just like, yeah. So the next spot's gonna be like tackle, drop down. And we're we're talking about how much time do we have left? Okay, we're two minutes. The cameramen are like, hey, you guys getting a good shot? We're all, all just, right, guys, come up and hold, like, please. Standing my stupid like mask. Yeah. And <laughs> Brennan's there, and I'm like, oh, we're gonna do the tag, and then this. All right, we got 15 coming back. All right, you grab the headlock on Cedric or whatever. Like, all right, start working. Okay, so we're, we're back in five. Four. Ah, you're fine. Run, run, run. <laughs> I'm like, this is the most soulless, stupid, The surreal. wrestling was awful. <laughs> the but the promos, was... <laughs> these promos were key. No, no, I didn't get any. Was... I got the one. Was like, we are here. Yeah, no. <laughs> Wars. 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 The crowd's like. <laughs> you can see their faces. They're like, oh, we said whore. Whores! You whores! I need to get. I have PTSD! Ron, I think I should get. I lose sleep at night over these things! I think I should get what's. On my chest. I want to listen to it one more time. Go ahead. Well, Ron, I guess I should. I guess I should get. Big shame. Really? Get what's. On my chest off. This is good. I should be talking to you. I, bet, I like, bet that clip has six million views. It's, um, well, this is the non WWE version, but the original. Get, get the WWE version. The WWE version is at 978,000. So. That's a good number. It's not a retribution. <laughs> it's, not a retribution. it's not a retribution. It's not a retribution. It's a good number. It's also because there's no crowd. People were talking more casually for yeah. the first time. Yeah. yeah. yeah like on a mic, on a mic, like, nobody's, Ron, nobody's I'm going to get something off my Ron. chest. No what? But what? she's like, um, Ron, I really think I need to get what's on my chest off. <laughs> So I guess I should say it. Well, face to face. Okay? So Ron, <laughs> Ron, I, Ron just went like this. Because he's, you know, he's talking walking. about the events that have transpired, and that has caused me to do a little, little self introspection, if you will. And hmm, what have I been doing? Did I, have I think they might have told him to kill can't, time. Uh, Did they can't. tell him to kill time? Because you this know, is a seven minutes. Ju- I was just, Ron, I was just gonna say we all lived this. We all know what wildly fascinating things can happen in Gorilla before they hand you a microphone yeah. and tell you to go out there. Yeah. And that's his father yeah. <laughs> standing. So, like, who the fuck knows what was told to this man before no, he walked true. out? I'd love to ask him. It, I would love to ask him too. I don't. We know now know it could literally be ever. anything. Can, we, can I call him and put him on? It, it's probably <laughs> hey, a segment for later in the show got cut because somebody got COVID. You need to do uh, this four minute segment now. It needs to be eight minutes, dude. And Vince would get, get tell the hope is is it you who has the Hogan's? Yeah, the Hogan's. Tell the Hogan's uh, for people who haven't heard it. Uh, this so, summarizes everything you will ever need to know about promos in WWE under Vince McMahon. Uh, I'm getting ready to have a match in Saudi. This is Hulk Hogan, and Hogan is in Gorilla. The- most legendary promo and wrestler of all time. He's opening the show with a promo, and um, the writer comes up and he's like, "Hey, sorry, like we haven't got the verbiage yet." He's like, "I was like, okay, brother." So he leaves, <laughs> and then it's like an hour before the show. He comes up to Hogan and he gives him a piece of paper. He's like, "Here's your promo, Mr. Hogan, sir." Hogan's like, "Got it, yeah, no problem." Fucking 45 minutes later, the writer runs back to Hogan and says, cut the promo. Uh, you're still cutting a promo, but th- we can't do that anymore. And Hogan's like, why? He's like, Vince doesn't want that. Vince doesn't want that. So those are not your going to be your lines. And Hogan was like, well, what does he want me to say? And the writer goes, hold on. And he leaves. <laughs> Comes back 10 minutes later. There's five minutes left to the show, to start the show. And the fucking, um, new, Hogan's music is about to hit. Right, the intro to the show happens, the the big opening um, highlight package, and the writer comes up, he's out of breath, and he's like, "Vince said, 
go out there and tell a story. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> Absolutely, I did. I mean, that's you what know, I do. Hold on, that's what I'm it, it really is that he's not talking you over. You know God. that Vince was like, just go. Like, what? Am, Shane's like, what are my lines? That, and he's like, blah, 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 this, this, and then they write down some things, and then like his music's playing. And he's like, just talk like you're talking to me, damn it! Yeah, and, and then yeah, he goes yeah, out yeah. there. He's like, all right, I'll talk like talk, I'm talking to talking him. He's like, you me. know, Dad. Like, I mean, Braun. Like, I, need to, I, I just to gotta get Facebook. something off my. T- you know, he's like, it's just relax a little bit. It's all in good fun here. But that's what I do in life. I have fun. You should too. <laughs> you know, do I have fun sometimes at others' expenses? Yeah, I totally do. Yeah. No yeah. problem. I have fun at others' expense. But that's okay. You know, it's okay in my book as long as it benefits me. You know, and I'm not the only one who thinks like that. No, there's many other people that do as well. I can tell that you're <laughs> This right. feels like when you have you have to go to school and do a presentation and you haven't prepared. It has, to be, it has to be five minutes. Five minutes. Awesome. That's probably exactly what happened. <laughs> it feels like it was due today. That's probably and you exactly forgot. what happened. I forgot to do it. He was and probably he, sitting around all day. You have one point that you, you have know. Slide you have one slide. In your slide show. He was probably sitting around all day like... Maybe he wrote a promo or something, and, they, and then Vince like tore that up and gave him another one. And then like f- f- while his music's playing, it's like just don't talk like you talk to me, damn it. And class, like, class, everybody. Dad, it's an eight minute promo, <laughs> and then it's, he's got to go out, and it's like wow, every uh, Braun. <laughs> everybody has a circulatory system, <laughs> and uh, when I think about and, the uh, circulatory so system, so, so do I. Dude. And uh, there's something in my chest. Uh, it's the center of my circulatory system. Uh, it's called. The, the heart. And uh, my heart pumps blood. <laughs> this, is, this, this, this is a prime example of why I'll, prime? after experience, prime. like b- before I came to WWE, I used to say like, sometimes these wrestlers, they have these terrible matches and they do that and they're not doing anything and they could have used their time to do this and even though they only have this much time, the promos, the, why are they saying this and that? Once you go there and experience it, you're like, oh. I get it, yeah. I'm never going to blame anyone for anything ever again because mm-hmm. it's just this fucking concoction of things and voices and different things happening. And by the time you go out there, it's just like, you have no idea. It could be anywhere. It could be 0% your creation or 100% your creation or literally any number in between. And it's like throwing fucking dice. Remember when you trying had, to guess what that number is. Remember when be. you had like that banger with Priest and you fucking took a choke slam up and <laughs> to a table. Never been angrier. And you were like, fuck, that's gonna be the match that makes my career. I just fucking had an absolute banger on TV with In Priest. New England. In, in Rhode And you go to the back and you're like, Vince, how'd I do? And what did he say? Him and Bruce just like cut a promo on me about <laughs> how uh I guess I didn't hit him hard enough or no, I didn't grab him aggressively enough during the break, which was a break, a commercial break. It wasn't live. It wasn't picture in picture, but we did a thing on the outside where we were just like fighting in front of the crowd because it was the, the commercial break and it wasn't on TV. And I guess they looked up from the monitor and I grabbed priest, like not aggressively Too enough. gingerly. And Vince just started burying me right there. Oh, it was exactly. the only thing in the match that he saw. Yeah. And that, right, I don't know, maybe he went to the bathroom after that or something, I don't know. But I had literally just, <laughs> uh, you can Google it, I had literally just taken a choke slam off the apron through a table to the floor. So I dropped 10 feet onto a solid floor and just totally ruined my body for these people. <laughs> and I got to the back and just got, didn't get like a thank you or anything, just got like, you gotta grab them more aggressively. And I'm like, oh, win. And they're like, during the commercial break. And I'm like, I'm going to go fucking kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm gonna, like I sh- you guys just told me that uh, everything I just did is meaningless and I, sh- I shouldn't even be a wrestler anymore. And I'm, man, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be here. <laughs> that was. <laughs> anyway, on to the Shin Ben promo. You know, it's okay, Braun. Just relax a little bit. Look at that. The breaths. I can tell that you're not one of them, though. It's okay, Braun. Just relax a little bit. <laughs> what if you got a direction? Braun, what if one it's thing. Just like you gotta, you gotta be breathing. Like, you have to get done. You gotta, 
Like, he told me to twitch like a dog. That's not out of the realm of possibility. That's what I'm saying. And then he changed his mind. Anything 0 to 100% yeah. it could be any number. That could have been 100% <laughs> somebody else's stuff. And that is well within the realm of possibility. Run, it sounds self. like it's not. It sounds like what I'm saying is made up. I'm telling you with two other people to confirm <laughs> that it is 100% within the realm of possibility that bro, someone bro, told him bro to sa- do exactly that. <laughs> bro sounds like he did 90 minutes on the Stairmaster. <laughs> it's just because he did his little dance before. <laughs> you can't, in a vacuum, take anything that ever happens in wrestling. Cut, cut out the crowd noise and it sounds like... shouldn't have done that. Or, <laughs> cut out the crowd noise and it sounds like Shane's gooning. We have to get done. I don't know if I can talk to you about this. <laughs> what are you doing out here then? <laughs> That's what are you doing out here then? What are you doing? Get out of here. get stuff done and, and talk to you. Oh, other people's. Where did he go? Uh, he's hurt. No, he's hurt. No, it was like bigger. It was like his back. Is it? Or something? I think. One thing I need to get done. Because I need to come to an understanding with you. One thing, Braun. James not having breakup sex. Did somebody call him Tom? That much breathing has to have been a direction. There's no way. That has to have been Vince. I want you to... When, okay, hold on. No, 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 no. He just fed him a line. He just fed him a line. It has to be he just forgot his line. Because there's a long pause, and Braun says, you think I'm stupid or something? And I promise you shit's about to, sh- about to say, oh, I don't think you're stupid. And then go on. Hold on, just wait. I would never, ever, ever, ever do is come out here and make you look stupid. No problem. See? I would never, ever do that. Actually, very professional of Bond. Stupid, I find as abhorrent. A, a, a great scene Terrible partner. Work. You know, I, I can tell you one of the too. things I, I, you're, you're pacing around. What was the payoff to this? They had a steel cage match at WrestleMania? Because yeah. he was stupid. And then Jackson Riker ran out for some reason. What? You don't remember that? No. Jackson Riker and maybe Elias ran out to like, help to Shane. Help Shane, yeah. I was very angry about that. Why? Because that easily could have been me. Because uh. they, they had no affiliation whatsoever. They, he just needed the big guys to run out and do something. And they were like, these two. We and we literally and we literally we, we literally just pitched, broken up with and we literally pitched like just two goons. Yeah. Like and then we were just two the goons. next night on the Raw after Mania, we had this like big angle where we beat up. Drew McIntyre for MVP, but then that got axed. <laughs> Dude, just a fucking mess. And you're all upset about <laughs> me, and, you know, quite frankly, Braun, you know, one of the things you have in there, I can tell by your nonverbal cues that I guess you're quite upset with me. You know? Yeah. I'm not playing games with you, Shane. I'm not playing games with you. You're trying to puppet me around like I'm one of your little pets. Again, going back, Braun, never ever want to make you feel stupid i would never ever say those words to you those are disgusting and cruel and abhorrent words that's wrong abhorrent yeah. words are, where were we when this was happening again never were we like make sitting in the arena i feel like there are memories we're probably in like a match like there are a few others that you, know, yeah. you you may say or may have heard specifically in your life just you know, actively such getting as, cut we're probably in gorilla Getting our match time cut, yeah. which each passing <laughs> minute. Stupid is, a stupid does. Or you fell out of the stupid tree and have, hit every branch on the way down. Or just quite simply, this guy is so stupid. Now, Braun, again, this end with him like charging in and running up the That's not me saying those things. And that... Dove's tails maybe into a little bit of a stereotype of, you know, big man, little brain. You know, kind of like the dinosaurs. 
That sounds like a Vince line. That's 100% a Vince line. Make sure you don't forget about the part about the dinosaurs. Again, Just I have never, never, names. specifically <laughs> call you Cats. stupid dogs. <laughs> Would I? Saber to Tiger. Saber to Tiger. <laughs> 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 Eternity. Was commentary just laying out that? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Don't say a fucking word, goddammit. No, but actually. Yeah, pretty much. Lay off. Did Vince have a like a kill button? Like, I don't want commentary to talk. <laughs> no, so his kill button like, was lay off. <laughs> that was me in friggin' Hell in a Cell. <laughs> Hell in a Cell, uh, Bray and Seth. Uh, the finish of the match was a disqualification, which made no sense. So it happens, and I'm sitting there like, this makes no sense. I gotta explain this. Maybe, I, I think I said, maybe the ref is worried about Bray Wyatt, the man, the human being beneath the mat. And then Vince is, I hear Vince in my ear. I'm like, because I'm like, that's pretty good. That's pretty smart. <laughs> and I hear Vince in my ear. Lay off. <laughs> Actually, what he was trying to tell you is that you're going to get laid off. <laughs> <laughs> you missed that you're going to get laid off. <laughs> and then Paul Heyman came over and promised you you weren't going to get laid off. And then I was like, okay, you're definitely going to get laid off. That was one somebody of two said, times. Somebody said, Die Jack, what's your heat with CM Punk? I, yeah, know, I have no heat with CM he's Punk. Got, no, he's got big heat. One time. Oh, he stole his finish. I'll tell the story. Since all of this is. Every time I think I can't talk about someone, they either get hired or fired in whatever capacity I need them to not. So, <laughs> um, I'm sitting, I'm in NXT at this point. I'm sitting over in the parking lot of the sushi restaurant where I just got sushi because it's my favorite sushi place in Orlando. I'm sitting there and I get a text from <laughs> Brennan that's there at Raw and it says, CM Punk is here. Ha! And I said, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> because they've been playing this fucking game where they like they say like oh I saw this person blah 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 and then they laugh they're like this person's coming out on Raw next because they're in their little like uh, their T-bar catering phase where they're just sitting there watching shit happen and like texting their buddies about it which one <laughs> right exactly. we all had it. long stretches where we're just flying to TV to just eat cake so they're in their phase of that on Raw before the Maximum Male Models started. Um, or maybe it's SmackDown. I don't remember the timeline. It's line. probably SmackDown. Maybe I'm on Raw and it happened to me in Orlando. I don't, I don't remember. But, um, so, it was the day where Punk did come to the locker room. He showed Chicago, up. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he's like, I don't care if you believe me or not. I see him Punk's here. And I'm like, what? I'm like, shut up. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm literally... I'm like, all right, I'll bite. So I search Twitter. I vanity search CM Punk. And I'm like, so, and it's like one tweet from like... Boozer666. Like, no, it's it's one tweet from like 12 minutes ago. of like, oh, they're in Chicago tonight. I wonder if CM Punk's there. And then I'm like scrolling. I'm like scrolling. I'm scrolling. And it, I'm refreshing and, and nothing's happening. So no one's talking about CM Punk. I'm like, CM Punk is not at fucking raw. And then I refresh one more time. It's just some random fucking nothing fan. No, no followers, no nothing. It's like... I just saw CM Punk go into the the, the arena at at the, the uh, it was the whatever the Rosemont Horizons called. It's like I just I just watched CM Punk walk through the parking lot and go into the arena. Zero likes, zero. <laughs> and I'm looking at it. I'm just staring at this one tweet. I'm like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> I'm like, there's no fucking way. It can't be. I'm like texting them. I'm like, what's he fucking doing? He's like, I don't know. I just saw him. No, I saw him go somewhere. He's but, talking to the Miz. And I'm like. And I'm refreshing, I'm refreshing, I'm refreshing. It's still just this one tweet. No one's liking it, no one's... I'm like, yeah. I'm like, there's no fucking... There's no way that CM Punk pulled up to the fucking Raw arena, got out of his car in plain daylight, and walked in the arena, and nobody saw it except one fucking guy. And no one cares. And, no, and, no, and the wrestlers all watched him walk through the door and walk and over it, yeah. and nobody leaked it or said anything. Well, somebody, somebody and I'm refreshing it. this and I'm like, there's no fucking way. And then all of a sudden I see like, I think like a picture pop up and then a dirt shoot story and I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding. And then all of a sudden Twitter just blows up, just trending, just this, that and the other. And in my head, I'm like, no. I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, 
my fucking friends <laughs> got to go to this fucking show every fucking week. They fly their asses out. They make them go sit in catering. They don't do shit. We pitch stuff to creative. Please use this here. Please do the please, please, please try this. Please. That. And these fucking fans don't give a shit. They don't give the slightest shit about anything we ever do. But the second that some dude from another company shows up and just says hello to everyone, everyone fucking blows up and melts down and fucking tweets and this, that, and the other thing. We got to get punk back and blah, 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 blah. And they're talking about, and I'm like, it was so much more of a condemnment, if that's a word, on the fans than it was of CM Punk himself. And I tweeted out something to the effect of, I don't remember. I'm, I'm totally paraphrasing, but it's like, boy, I wish people would get excited, as excited for the people that actually show up every week <laughs> to fucking rock. And the CM Punk fans fucking took out their pitchforks and torches and tried to eat me alive. I got my... Who the fuck is this? This guy fucking sucks. You should kill yourself down. You've never seen on a good fucking match. But I don't even know who you are. Who is this? Who are you, who? little bro? Who? 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 And I'm like, you guys are fu- out of your fucking minds. Like, And in a shocking turn of events, the second I met him, we got along great. And we had fine conversations. And we're, we're g- g- really good acquaintances right now. So every single right stupid now. thing. <laughs> right now. For now. <laughs> for now. Uh, Listen, he's he, I, I won't disclose what it is. I'll tell you in private. But no, no word of a joke. I, um, and you can go back and watch this. I did a, a segment where with Eddie Thorpe, where he fucking threw me into the steps, and I tried to do the John Cena thing where you push the steps up, and they go flying or whatever. And I did it. I've done it a hundred times successfully. This time I did it with my face for some reason and I was bleeding everywhere that's on brand and I was furious because we had some stuff in the ring and I and I knew that the second they saw this blood they were going to come out and rush yeah. out with their doctor gloves or whatever and the angle was I had to pick them up and drive them through the through the buckle and break the buckle to get to the business where I beat them up or cut a promo or whatever and I tried to do it it didn't happen I'm like fuck and I had to do it again and so I'm just doing this and the whole thing felt like like rushed and like uh um, what's the, I hate like going back to the same thing. It ended up coming out completely fine um, and being completely great. But in my head, I, with the adrenaline pumping and the blood coming out, I had screwed everything up. It was also a double taping because we did Tuesday and then we had the next day. And it was the first and the, one? And the, this was the first one. So the next one, I thought I was ruining that angle because I'm, I'm gashed. I thought medical was not going to clear me and I have all these stitches. So I come through the back, and I, I think I hit the curtain. I said, God damn it! Like, I, I was, somebody said, poor tree. Yeah, right. I whipped the tree. But I came through the back, and like, the the, the NXT gorilla area is kind of like this like fun, like friendly, positive thing. And I brought kind of an angry, like negative vibe to you it. You brought a very angry white guy vibe right, yeah. to this. Yeah, yeah. Um, excuse me, sir. This is a locker room full of underage, right, <laughs> right. multicultural teenagers. Right, right, exactly. And to his credit, the first guy who got up and came over to me and calmed me down was CM Punk. A kiss. He didn't give me a kiss, but he came down. He was like, "Hey, he's like, hey, what's what's going on? What's wrong?" I'm like, "I'm fucking bleeding. Medical's gonna." And he said, "Calm down. It's not that bad. They're gonna, you know, let's not even put that out into the ethos. Let's just get checked out and let's." And I was like, "All right, so." We went and we talked and I got it cleaned up and they didn't mention it and nothing came up of it and I talked to him after and I I we talked about the segment and the match and I got feedback from him and in that session I got one of the most useful things of feedback that anyone has ever said to me and I'll tell you guys after I'm not going to say it publicly but it was it's one of the most influential things that anybody has ever said to me so that's my current relationship with CM Punk. You're a collider. I'm a, well, I don't know what that means. I'm a collider. You're it a means collider. You're, you would be on collision. <laughs> <laughs> I was a, I'll say this publicly. I, when I did tune into to AEW, I would watch collision. That was my favorite show. You're so easily swayed. I, did I not tell you guys this? <laughs> As it was happening, I started watching the show. I was like, hey, this is more. No, you did, you did. You did. You did. Because it was like uh, WWE. <laughs> Was to you would not style. be banned from Collision. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
hand to God, I don't even know if Collision is still a show. <laughs> it is. To me, it, it seemed like they created a show just for CM Punk. They did. <laughs> and now he's not there. So he's the like, Dwayne. Oh, he's the you. Rock. That's, 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 that's the Hobbs and Shaw. And Shaw. Yeah. What is it? Ho- it's, that's the Hobbs and Shaw. Oh, did we not have this conversation? No, he wasn't here. What is oh, it? We, we're, we were talking about how the Vin Diesel and Rock feud mm-hmm. in Fast and the Furious, where they hated each other, yeah. is the closest to pro wrestling politics that Hollywood has ever gotten. Because they created a there's whole, there's no way they created a whole that's new. Ju- that's just the one that we know the most about. Sure, you know there's shitload sure. of politics. And but Hollywood. they created a whole new movie franchise set in the Fast and the Furious universe, where just The Rock got to be the main character, oh, yeah. and, and all of his friends there. from the, the Fast and Furious. Uh, but the, Listen, but all the guys that sides him. between The Rock and Vin Diesel, I'm going with The Rock. That's just a... Well, it's because wow. he's your boss. Yeah, I think you're politics. You're so easily swayed. Can you name a soccer player for an edit? All right, Messi. Let's Messi. Let's Messi. let's 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 paint a picture for everyone. Okay. So here we are in the performance center, the world world famous WWE performance center, and in comes the biggest superstar in all of entertainment, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yeah, and he's watching his daughter train, and he's helping, and he's doing these things, and he sits all of us down. He's talking to Zion Quinn. He's talking to. He's he, he gives us this Dapping wonderful up speech. Top dollar. He's giving us this wonderful speech. And while we're finishing up, I'm talking to someone else. And I turn back to see what the world-famous Rock is doing. And there's Brennan Williams. On his knees. Two cheeks in his hand. <laughs> this is this is not true. Wow! Holy shit! This is not true. Not I did not that. know about this. This is not true. What I didn't even talk to him. This is 100% true story. Goes up to him, shakes his hand. Hey, it's really nice to meet you. Blah, 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. I did not say two words to him. percent walked up to him and shook his hand. I might have said thank you. Yeah, I didn't hear what you said. But you went up to him. I did not say more than three words to him. You kissed the ring just like everybody else. Yes, you did. I think you had a dream. Yes, you did. you were dreaming. I saw you go up to him and kiss the ring. 100%. I don't think that I swear on everything I watched this happen. If you need to find that You've never record. shaken the rock's hand before? I think I did shake his hand. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I think everybody shook his hand. I didn't. <laughs> I have before, but I didn't there. Wow. <laughs> I don't He's remember. spiraling. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I just doxed old. you live yeah. from your own show. It was trick. We don't look alike. You're racist. <laughs> You're actually racist. Trick wasn't there. Anybody who says that me and Trick look alike are actually I racist. I just saw another comment. Where it was like it was on the highlight reel of us, and somebody was like, "I'm gonna tell my kids this was Trick and Mellow." <laughs> but I think that was probably one of our viewers <laughs> doing a rib. Was there was a there was thing? there was, I saw a picture of you as I was scrolling where you had big shades on and it was from the side, and I said, "What's Trick to?" Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was so first. It is, you, wow, it is a thing. I you was had, first. You had big glasses on. But like we know you're racist, so that's not. <laughs> that's not From news. the side with glasses this is on. Killing Brennan just right your now. head. This is killing. Brennan. It's you have the same hair and the same beard. Now you know how glasses. I feel about looking like fucking Ali. That's all it is. Finally, you get it. I've d- I've done the same thing with myself yeah. and Rob Gronkowski. Yeah. Or Messi. I'll be scrolling. Twitter. What did okay, I do? When did I play for the Patriot? Oh, that's Rob Gronkowski. <laughs> Where were you? Swear at? to God, my brain will say like, oh, "That's you." No, it's not. I see Messi, and I, I see you a lot. And as Messi as- too. I've have done it. Now that I have the beard, I've I've seen the Messi one. I'm like, what am I? Di- oh, that's not. Is that me from the Rebs? No, that's. that's- <laughs> It I just happens when you're scrolling quickly, your eye just goes, that's that person, that's that person, that's that person, that's trick. Oh, that's not trick, it's Brennan. Oh, we gotta get an MX, 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 MX. Yes, we will. That's a good yes, point. We will. It's, much, it's much, much worse if someone's like, hey, Trick Williams, great picture of you, and it's not, it, that, that's much worse. If you have time to analyze it and you just, you just don't know the difference. But like in a quick scroll, it's, you can do it with anyone. I gotta go home. <sighs> do ya. What a great birthday stream. What a great birthday stream. You guys can continue if you want. You want to continue? We're dead, Jack? It's, it's what? almost 1.30. It's almost 1.30. I gotta go to work. So. Okay. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta wrestle tomorrow. Um, we should raid somebody. Raid! Who's, who's still going? <laughs> who's, who's, who's streaming? <laughs> uh, what was that thing? Uh, we worship Thor and give him more. Viking Raiders. Raiders! Remember in the car? The yeah. Karaoke? Did, they, did they cancel that? You don't remember that, Dead Jack? Oh, what does writers like give them what to do and say? In the 
I don't know. Jesus Christ. I don't know whose idea that was. No, can, you, can you hold this for the uh, for the camera for the yeah. thumbnail, please? Yeah. Can it get me canceled? Nah. Oh, yeah. Nah. They and they actually sent you a plaque. Yeah. Wow, my phone does this. this. Big Dave. No, it's definitely Alvarez. Chat, give me somebody to write. I can't look up anybody you're on my ch- phone. You're in charge of the plaques, Brian. <laughs> I used to have fun with them. I think we follow each other. Yeah, you. Wouldn't you have a feud about ratings? <laughs> Two yeah, hours, one million. <laughs> <laughs> How do people not understand that that stuff's in? Guilt? And then you got you got hurt. People get you, so offended. I remember you getting hurt, and Alvarez was like, "No, but I hope T Bar is okay." <laughs> 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 I know we joke, but I hope T Bar is okay. <laughs> I would always get clips from his podcast where he'd be like, and then T-Bar tweeted me. <laughs> Hasn't anyone told this guy that, like, you're not supposed to do that? And I'm like, no, nobody tells me anything. Like, nobody <laughs> bothers to speak to me ever. What's uh, Mia's account? It's Mia if somebody, if somebody spoke to me, they would have to acknowledge that I'm sitting in Canada every fucking yeah. day. You know? Spell it out exactly. Dave just said something about how he thinks people tweeting, we want Cody as a work, but... I don't think it is. People tweeting? Uh, like well. wrestlers. Like has, Dave been, has Dave been right in about WWE since like... like people are being told the... Tw- 2018. Let, uh, let me put this on the record. No. No one in WWE has ever been told to... That's a lie. No, hang on. Let me finish the sentence. Nobody in WWE <laughs> has ever been told to tweet anything that isn't the most... Oh, tweet. Obvious. Obvious. Yep. Blatant. Yep. Thing that you've ever seen in your entire You guys life. know. When like half the roster yes. tweets out like, everyone watch the uh, Grammys tonight. Hashtag love the Grammys or yeah. whatever. Like, <laughs> and they're just like, the what? And it, it's so, <laughs> and everyone gets like four likes because it's like, how the whole, <laughs> yeah, how the they, whole yeah. roster say this at the exact that's when they told us to do so. You guys know when they tell you to tweet because you saw it when all the women in WWE tweeted, um, Saudi Arabia continues to break boundaries. <laughs> That's when they tell us that yeah. ne- it, it will never be like a subtle, like, hey, you guys should tune in. Maybe, yeah. maybe try saying hashtag we want Cody. We're trying to get this thing off the ground. But don't tell it. It'll never be that. No. Because then and that, that text will be leaked. That would get leaked. Yes. That would get leaked. Yes. And you would know immediately. It'll, it'll never happen. Yeah. It'll never happen. You put, put me on the record. Clip this. Clip that this. That will never happen. Bye. Bye. Boring. Boring. <laughs> oh, thanks for coming, Dad. Yeah. Well, did you have a pre-tape? No. Pretty bad about it, actually. Um, is he gonna punch you with a boxing glove on his hand, or is he gonna just bring you one? Like-